lovely jewellery makers. Good morning. Look who it is. It's me again. A vision of summer. This is getting quite regular, isn't I it? I know. It's me on a Wednesday morning. Well, you know what? I'm never going to yeah. complain about that. Oh, good. Gorgeous Gemma Crow, everyone. I can tell you what, her jewellery is apps like outstandingly clever. Incredible. Oh, I think so. Um, and you have been spoilt as well in terms of the I gemstones have. because, yes, you are looking at. So much granded, you're right. Granded, you're right. You know, that's not being mined anymore, anywhere mm. on the planet. Well, I'm glad I've stocked up then. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, for those of you that are collectors um, and connoisseurs, spin those earrings round, Gem, so we can see those. Yeah, they're not in the right place because everything was on the desk. So there we go. Look at those. Oh my goodness, they're amazing. Ah, oh, yes, this gemstone is no longer being mined. It was already when it was in production at one of the world's rarest gemstones. Mm. Um, right in the top 10 however i can imagine it literally just chipping its way back to the top uh, and i'm talking one two or three possibly because nowhere on this planet is actually mining grand didgerite anymore and you've got it in kits today and boy oh boy what amazing kits they are it's going to be a really really exciting show for you this morning because there's so much uh, and also we've got a gemstone launch so we've never ever ever in a 12 years um, and possibly actually across the entire partnership i don't believe that our sister channel has actually had uh, this gemstone oh wow so i think this is actually a partnership launch um and that is your kyanite ruby now if you've never heard of it before it's a, a very exciting discovery and you have um our gem emp expert expert i almost said then our gem expert dave troth stepping into the studio for a couple of hours to actually uh to, to well to educate us quite frankly um on this amazing launch so it is a fusion of natural kyanite and ruby in one amazing treasure. So that's coming up today at 10 o'clock as of course your deal of the day. But we've got so much um, other than that. We've got loads of sterling silver deals to bring you. Um, we've got these coming up as your early bird. I love them. It's a parcel of round, brilliant cut, colorless topaz. I mean, look at how flawless they are. Okay. You won't believe the deal on those, Gem. If I was to ask you to guess, You'd be, you'd be, I, I won't do that because I know guest designers hate I, it when I, I, I ask that question. That, but, yeah. um, but believe me, I, no, with, with the greatest respect, you'd guess wrong. Okay. Because they are going that low. Um, so trust me, shop ahead on those. Those are gorgeous. Yeah, they're gorgeous. They, they look like diamonds. Don't also, to go alongside, we've also got some amazing sapphire, very paparaccia-esque mm. um, in their colouring. You can shop ahead and pre-order on those as well. Um, they're both coming up within this hour. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be absolutely incredible. It really is. Um, and, and listen, I'm just telling the guys, you're lucky to have me this morning, frankly, because um, today is Willow's birthday. Willow's my, my, my eldest. She's almost six years old, and it's her sports day, and it was her sports day at two o'clock this afternoon. Now, the school, in all of their wisdom, and I totally understand why they've done this, have said, no, we've got to put it earlier because of the heat, basically. It means I can't be there. But Willow was last night trying desperately to encourage me to pull a sickie. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, oh. I know. Just pretend you're poorly. Oh, it's like, bless. bless her heart. Oh. Um, so think fast, Willow. Think fast. <laughs> but have fun. That's the most important thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's the parties and painting that counts. Shall we start this Wednesday morning with, as we you know, as we mean to go on? Yes. Let's do it. Um, we've got, uh, it's the Wall of Fame where you send your lovely entries in and we get to showcase your fabulous creations using Jewelry Maker products, of course. And on a Wednesday morning, we even give some Jewelry Maker money away. So um, we're going to do that. It's up next. <laughs> Starting us off this morning is number 14, and it's Caroline Brown. Good morning to you, Caroline. Oh, it's absolutely adorable. Um, hello, all at Jewelry Maker. This is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a seed bead B, adapted from one of Monica's designs, which, uh, which is uh, sat on a three-dimensional beaded hexagon. So it looks like the bee is sat on a honeycomb. Cool. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hope you like it. Best wishes from Caroline Brown. We love it, Caroline. Number 15 is from Julie Dudley. Good morning to you, Julie. Awesome. Another incredible piece. Okay. Hello again, everybody. This week, my entry to the Wall of Fame is a silver-plated copper wirework set using Mother of Pearl and Pearls. 
absolutely everything is from JM. Good luck to everybody entering the draw this week. Love and best wishes from Julie Dudley in the Isle of Wight. It's amazing. Love it. Number 16 is from Norma Cowie. Good morning to you, Norma. Oh, I love the colours. That's very cool, isn't it? Uh, hi all at Jewelry Maker. Can I please enter this suite of jewellery to the WAF this week? I've used black tubes and round turquoise beads and finished with sterling silver. The tubes came from a goodie bag when Lucy was still presenting, um, so a while ago. As always, good luck to all my fellow WAFers and a big thank you to all at Jewelry Maker. Thank you for sharing, Norma. That's absolutely gorgeous. Number 17 is from Olwyn Hurst. Good morning, Olwyn. Love that can't go wrong pearls i think i've got some Lovely. beautiful peacock pearls hi jm team my waff entry this week is an over the head necklace i made from a pearl scoop uh swarovski and a few lavender amethysts i strung and knotted it on pale lavender eslon it was uh, an easy one to make in front of the tv after a busy day fabulous good luck to all entrants love to watch the wall take care and that's from olwyn well we love your make olwyn number 18 is from sue thursfield morning sue uh, again, beautiful. Hi all, here is my entry to the Wall of Fame. Decided to dive into my JM Pearl stash after buying yet more, uh, more from you. Ah, uh, uh, I'm with you on that, Sue. Uh, this is a knotted white pearl necklace and earring set made from two sizes of Baroque pearls. I really enjoyed making them after a, a break trying other things. Um, and you have tempted... Uh, other things you have tempted me with, sorry. Um, I hope you like them. Thanks for the entertainment, choices and techniques from the designers. A win would help uh, tempt, me, uh, uh, tempt me into silversmithing. So here's hoping. Well, we'll keep everything crossed for you, Sue. Mm -hmm. Number 19 is by, uh, from Annette. Beautiful. Oh, I recognise that. That's lovely. Gorgeous. Um, hello, this is Annette Turner. She said, uh, I made the chakra bracelet uh, <coughs> with, a, a, with a box clasp. Uh, thought it was different. Um, it was different. All the goodies are, of course, from Jewelry Maker. We love it, Annette. Yeah, good luck, good gorgeous. luck. Right, I've got number 20 here from Graham Bruce uh, Bunt. Sorry, he says, here's my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. A knotted jadeite bracelet uh, made with 4mm jadeite strand recently bought from JM with macrame sliding not to finish. The photo does not show it at its best, unfortunately. Good luck to all. That is, it is lovely. Beautiful. A lovely way of um, making the bracelet. Yeah. Um, next is 21, and it's Gillian McKay. Um, oh, that's nice. Um, hi, all at Team JM. I hope you're all well. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame, and it's something very different from my usual makes. This week, I thought I would have a try at Mark's lovely macrame bracelet. Good luck to everyone in the draw. Wishing all the team at JM a great week and take care. Thanks, Gillian. That's lovely. Amazing. Yeah. And then number 22 is Kathleen. She says, morning to the whole team. I know that so many are fabulous sea beaders. However, I'm very proud of this bracelet. It's my first time completing a piece. Thanks, of course, to Mark for his great demo of this technique. It did take nearly five hours. Uh, yep, but I persevered and worked out where I kept going wrong. Yeah, it does take a long time, but that looks fantastic. Yeah, it's, well done on the perseverance yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah. It's all 80 seed beads and a gold-plated slider bracelet, all from your wonderful selves. That's us. I plan to try and make a necklace eventually. Thanks to Jen for the inspiration and the good humour. Good luck to all from across the pond. Love it. Thank you, Kath. That is lovely. Beautiful. And then, last but not least, I've got 23, and it's from Ka Karen Cowgirl. She says, morning, sparkly, shiny JM team. <laughs> this is one of my rare attempts at wire work, a pearl and champagne gold wire, um, heart-shaped brooch, all components from JM. Stuck at home with COVID, yeah. but thank you for cheering up my mornings. Unfortunately, that also means I'm tempted to spend, so a win would be good. Good luck to all from Karen. Well, good luck, Karen, and you should definitely do more... Uh, why work that's gorgeous it's lovely and get really well gorgeous. soon yeah. do get well soon yeah. bless you um keep those entries coming in well i tell you what Gemma. Mm -hmm. should we do it yes let's, let's do, do it. it i haven't done this in years oh well i tell you what for that for that reason then Gem. oh Ooh, get to pick one out you get to do the winner <gasps> okay so Go that on, give the it, winner the winner's first give it a good whirl last give time i did whirl. this it opened and they all fell out oh no we don't want that <laughs> okay right good whirl <laughs> Ooh, okay. The winner is. Oh, I got two here. Let me just. Just one. <gasps> Four nine two. Oh, maybe yesterday's. Julia uh, Tinsley. Julia Tinsley. Oh, well done, well done lovely. Julia. Congratulations. So you have. Um, 
£100 being credited to your wow. account. Right, OK, let me do the runner-up. So, yeah, I get to do the runner-up. Amazing. Here we go. I have one. The runner-up is... Oh, did we, didn't we? Don't think so. Number 499. That is uh, Maggie Allen. Maggie Allen, well done, Maggie. Yay. You're our runner-up receiving £50 credited to your jewellery maker account. Amazing! Yay. Make sure you send your photographs into the Wall of Fame, of course, in a ch uh, for a chance uh, to win. And we love seeing your pieces as well, all of but your beautiful. Uh, pop them, pop them safe, because I don't know, Dan, if you keep hold of those. Um, amazing, well done. Right then, should we get this incredible Wednesday morning show um, cracking? Now, you can shop ahead or you can pre-order on your early birds, your awesome topaz and that amazing sapphire. So they are going crazy low, but we have only 100 of them available. So um, yeah, it's only a limited, limited quantity. But I'm going to start with a gemstone we actually saw in amongst the Wall of Fame. Mm. Um, definitely, I'd say one of the backbone gemstones to Jewellery Maker. Amethyst, yeah. well, not just Jewellery Maker, the Jewellery World. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's so popular, Amethyst. When purple's a very popular colour, but people know Amethyst, don't they? Yeah, It's what you're do. brought up with, isn't it? Oh, totally. Yeah. yeah, you know its value straight away, much like yeah. pearls, I yeah. suppose. This would be lovely with pearls. Mm -hmm. uh, 9 99 look at the quality of that lovely colour. Am I happy? I'm more than happy. We're not stopping there, says Roscoe. He's back, by the way. Um, can I just say, boys in the gallery, I've missed you. Aww. You you haven't missed me because you've both been on holiday, and that's absolutely <laughs> fine. But I've missed you too. Aww. It's not be. It's not the same. It's lovely working with the others. It really is, but it's not the same. Not the same without you. So it's nice to have you back. Four pounds and ninety nine pence. How many do we have of these then, Roscoe? Um, only 10. Gosh, lots of you have shopped ahead and, uh, and checked out nice and early. That's exactly the way to play your early bird hour. It is a little bit frantic, a little bit frenzy. Yes. Um, but I quite like the fact that we... Oh, I've just noticed your earrings. They're lovely too. Um, yeah, we don't, we, don't, we, we don't ease gently into our, into our day. No. Not at all. So this could well be a sellout imminently. Well done. And don't be shy. Come and say hello to us. We'd love to hear from you. You've got an awesome masterclass coming up with our lovely Gemma a little bit later on in the show as well. Um, she is a queen of wire work, so if you want to master this wonderful medium, then she's your girl. Four ninety nine only to get hold of these. Uh, Ruby, Susan, Sue, Kim, Ella, new customer, Brendan, Karen, uh, Christine, you're all there, well done. Let's do what, sorry? Amazonite, now. Oh, I thought that was jadeite. It does, it is. Yeah, I, I did. I thought, that was the jadeite it's around doing in this hour. <laughs> Yes, it does. Look it like is jade actually. Eye. It does. I see, and I spotted you're wearing a bit of am, uh, a bit of. Oh yeah, I love my Amazonite. Gone blank Amazonite. Yeah, I love my Amazonite. Yeah, me too. Um, you'll see where Gemma's coming from. It has got that definite, almost like a spearmint bluey green. It would it be maybe the dove jadeite. Yeah. Um, and would have a hefty price tag if that was the case. <laughs> £19.99 uh, for your beautiful Amazonite, natural in its colour as well. It's a member of the Feldspar family. Um, not today. How many do we have, Roscoe? 26 of these available within the vault. So we're going to take it under £10 purely because it's last of stock. And we don't just mean by a penny. £7.99 pence only, meaning that if you want to make a, a really beautiful Amazonite Marla necklace... That would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Oh, that would be lovely. Mm. It'd be a, a, a statement look, because these yeah. are 10 mil rounds. Yeah. But at that kind of price tag, it's more than possible, isn't it? It is. It is, yeah, and it's very affordable. I've got, a, I, I love Amazonite. It's absolutely one of my favourites. It's just got this really beautiful tropical essence I, about it. I love it. I, I love it because it goes with everything. Mm. You can literally put it with any anything you pick out today on the bus. It will go with. Yeah. It's one of those one of those colours and internal textures that just works with everything. Yeah, totally agree. Totally agree. Good morning, Margaret. Good morning, all. What a lovely way to start a lovely sunny day with a runner-up win. Yay. Whoop whoop. <laughs> yes, Margaret. Well done, lovely. Well done. Well done. I'm so glad that you're watching as yeah. well. Yeah, because yeah, what a way to start your Wednesday morning. Nice little bit of money accredited to your account so you can treat yourself some beautiful gemstones. Thank you for messaging in and well done. 7 99 Christine, Ruby, Richard, Brenda. Make sure you check them out. We only have 26. It's not a massive quantity and I can see some Marlers um, on their way because there's multi buyers uh, getting involved on the web and on the phone lines. Morning to you, Susan, Mary, Maureen. Morning to you, Essex. Morning to you, London. 
Melbourne, uh, come and say hello to us. We'd love to hear from you. Um, the strand that you're about to see, I really, I love. I absolutely love this. And if I could, in fact, I don't know why I haven't had this conversation. We need more faceted cubes. But yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't they? <clears throat> Look at that, Jen. I mean, yes. it's oh. so gorgeous. It's like lapis. Yeah, lapis. Beautiful. I would literally just turn that into a stretchy bracelet with some spaces in between. Mm. Look how lovely this strand is. That is gorgeous. The quality of the lapis, that wonderful, I always describe it as an Arabian blue because mm. it, it kind of reminds me of like a, a, a wonderful midnight blue sky. It's mm. absolutely stunning, isn't it? They're going already. I'm not surprised. Um, I'll, I'm going to champion some more faceted cubes, see if we can get some in the bulk. Oh, $4.99. Wow. I hope we've got enough of these to go around. Not really. We're immediately down to the Beyonce numbers, you know. <laughs> what that basically means is all the single figures. <laughs> well done, well done, well done. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Should we do some Larimar? Ooh, you could tell Roscoe's back. Look at the gemstones. Ooh, Roscoe. He loves a, yeah, he loves a rare gemstone, does Roscoe. Um, Larimar, of course, from one location. If you love Amazonite, Night, I think you're going to love Larimar. Absolutely. They've got that similarity, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, they've got that lovely sort of bluey green tone. It's just gorgeous. Do you know, is that opals you've brought out onto the bus? Though? Fire opal, yeah. Do you know, I'm just thinking how nice those would look together. They're really oh. bohemian, quite casual. Oh, that sophisticated look. That would look great together. And you can see the heat, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. You can almost see, feel that summer vibe. Mm, absolutely. Love it. Well, this is coming up last in stock. And by the way, one of the few fire opals that we have within the entire business. Larimar comes from the Dominican Republic. The more exotic those blues, the more valuable the Larimar. And yet here we are bringing it to you at £6.99. Obviously, that is no reflection of the true value or worth. This is a one locational gemstone. And in terms of the mining operation, it is minute mm. in comparison you know we always talk about tanzanite and how small that mining uh setup is um particularly now however it, it's it, it you know it, it literally it stratospheres away from the scale of larimar larimar is literally just one little uh, one little area in the dominican republic many locals actually in the D dominican don't know where the larimar mine is mm. it's that small um and it will mine out at some point so uh, get stocked up whilst you get the chance especially when they're at a crazy 6 99 price tag. Um, when it comes to chips and nuggets, really mm. versatile, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're great for, you know, l nice textural pieces. They're great for um, just restranding mm -hmm. or, or, you know, sort of layering up. Lots of rows of gemstones look really great. Um, trees of life. There's so much you can do. With I them. love the idea, though, with the fire opal. I think that's yeah. the perfect combination. I can imagine sort of doubling up this strand and taking two strands through each fire opal. Just oh. a long line. Very casual, beautiful, easy. Go with your outfit. Yeah, just an easy sort of summer look. Love it. Well done. Well done. Well done. Moving on to. Are we doing the fire opal? Let's do it. It makes sense. Now, mm. I launched this strand along with a couple of others, and it was only a couple. Oh, God, Firstly, I need to say this is natural. Um, no treatment whatsoever. And you can, fire opal, they say, is actually born from volcanoes, and you can almost imagine that heat mm. and that intensity. Now, when it comes to fire opal, you still get beautiful uh, uh, play of colour, uh, but you have the most unbelievable natural body colours. Um, so that can be obviously from the warm reds that you're seeing just here to the more sort of tangerine oranges to the purest of whites. Fire opal is very much in the limelight at the moment. Um, I shared with you at the time an article written by, uh, actually a couple of articles that were written by the jewellery editor um, with design houses using fire opal as their centre stage. This is all natural. When you think fire opal, most of us will think about Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, how many do we have? Only 16 of these available. Four have already gone. Oh, let's take it under 50, shall we? One for the collectors and the connoisseurs, of course. And we're not even stopping there. Wayne, I know that you bought this parcel, and I have to say it's, one of the, it's some of the best fire opal I've seen here at Jewelry Maker. Stunning. Oh, my goodness me. Not even stopping here. 
That's an incredible price. It, it really is. A SRAM like this would have been triple figures yeah. not so long ago. Yeah, I've never seen Fire Opal in those sizes. Those big sizes. Big, yeah, Rondells normally, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah, smaller gemstones. But, I mean, that's they're absolutely humongous, those yeah. nuggets. And, and impeccable quality yeah. as well. I, I would make direct, and I, you know, I've shown you those articles, I've so shown you those pieces of jewellery um, in the past on PowerPoints, which will show usually actually faceted very similar to this strand, um, you know, these wonderful, quite uh, organic-like shapes. It is all about this beautiful, warm, natural colour. Co uh, again, if you value my recommendation, you have got it and then some. Mm -hmm. There are nine of these left. If you think Fire Opal, most of us will think Mexico, which is exactly where you're sourcing your fire opal from it does come from different locations we're over allocated check out those baskets um okie dokie let's now bring you oh mm. i don't see those no malachite yeah let's do the malachite gem that's gorgeous it's yeah. it's that and yeah. it's that how beautiful they are. Yeah. That, yeah, such gorgeous strength of colour. It's oh. just beautiful. I think this sold out the uh, lapis lazuli. Well done if you got hold of, uh, if you got hold of that. I adore malachite. Malachite is a, a, a wonderful, very distinctive gemstone. Mm -hmm. Forms in stalactites and stalagmites. Um, and it's absolutely uh, everywhere in terms of the um, big brands. Mm -hmm. All the big brands are throwing their weight behind malachite. I love it. I absolutely love it. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Very distinctive. You won't find any other gemstone that looks like malachite. Be mindful of imitation malachite that's actually out there. Um, this isn't imitation. It's natural um, and it's very, very rare. Under ten pounds for you all, jewelry makers. You get a full twenty-five centimeter strand gem. Again, just mm. just literally feeding that onto a stretchy bracelet. Absolutely, yeah. Lovely and stretchy bracelet. Lovely as little centers for for like your adjustable. Um, oh. Crammy bracelets yes. that we got today, or slider bracelets, something like that. Yeah, or just rosary linking them for a very delicate chain. Just so so pretty, really pretty. Oh yeah, that's a nice. I like that contrast. That's lovely. yeah. Just mix it up with some of the sliders that are coming yeah. in today's show. Um, I've got how many did you say? Four left. Oh, oh, we're over allocated. Gabrielle, Brenda, Ruby, Kim, new customer, Sean, Tracy, Diana, Maria. Um, Christine's also there. There's only four. There's only four. You gotta be quick. <laughs> you have to be quick to check out your baskets. Now guess how many's left? Dos. Mm. Or die if you, uh, uh, Welsh. In die on the verge of selling out. Well done. Have I got what, sorry? Mm. I do have some pearls. I have some amazing shell pearl. Look at this. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, oh my goodness me. Is that too Not these ones. Okay, they're coming up. Hang on, I, I haven't got them yet. <laughs> I haven't got them, Wayne. <laughs> Dan's on it. He's on it. Bless his heart. Where would we be without Dan? Okay, well, they're coming up. Wait a second. Yeah, let's... Oh, I've got these. They're lovely. All you need to do is just literally pop a little bit of your mm. uh, hypo cement or your E6000 onto the pegs. Pop your drops on. Yeah. And away you go. You've got, what, two two pairs of high-end earrings. Yeah. Yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't they? And if you're making for wedding fairs and, you know, um, bridal fairs and things like that, these are ideal because they're just... They're so giftable, aren't they? Yeah. So like a, as a gift from the bride to a bridesmaid... These are just gorgeous. And they, all Plastic. you need is a little bit of glue. Yeah. This is, you know, yeah. yeah, so easy to make. Even though, you know, when you, the finished article, you might think, oh, I couldn't do that. So easy to make. It's just literally a bit of glue, which you dab on the end of this peg that you can see just here. Um, and then your pearls are all half drilled. So leave it overnight to make that secure, uh, that bond. Um, the pegs also, this is attention to detail. I don't know if you can see there, they've got a natural burr. Um, they've got a natural burr to them. Uh, so they're really going to adhere. Look how, look at the quality of those cultured pearls. I mean, mm. the surface nacre is completely smooth. Blemish three, that's for two pairs of sterling silver and genuine cultured pearls earrings. There are what, 15? Did you say? 22 available, but immediately 
Oh, they're flying out the door. And we've got people multi-buying on them as well. Heather, well done to Carol. Hello to Karen. Hello to Maeve, Ruby, Liz. We've got to be up and at it this morning, haven't we, for, to grab these deals. They will sell out. I've got them. I put. I purchased these. Like you said, great gifts. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, 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 gift. perfect gifts. £7.50 for a pair of culture pearl earrings. That's amazing. And those pearls are such a lovely shape, aren't they? Yeah. You know, really gorgeous. And we've not really discussed the fact that you've got that almost like a Hawaiian flower. Yeah. Haven't yeah, you? Yeah, you've got that really yeah. beautiful Hawaiian flower. Like a hibiscus. A hibiscus, I think that's what it is. What it is. Check us yeah, out. It's gorgeous. Do you know, I love, I love the fact that it's a post as well through the ear. I do love a drop, you know, and a shepherd's hook, but there's something lovely about having that sort of, um, you know, that design right up. Onto, yeah, up onto close the on the earlobe. It's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, so you can see that here if you look. Um, yeah, that's what Gemma's referring to. So it's gonna, that flower is going to sit right against the um, the lobe of the ear. Really pretty. And, of course, you get that wonderful gentle movement from yeah. your cultured pearl. 925 sterling silver and cultured pearls. They're on the verge of selling out. Well done, savvy shoppers this morning. Again, don't forget to shop ahead and pre-order, of course, on your early bird. Um, we've got some amazing colourless topaz and also a very paparazzi-esque uh, sapphire opportunity mm. going to, frankly, a ridiculously low price tag. Um, so they're coming up. You can shop ahead on those. Let's do... Should we do the shell pearls now? I've teased you with them. Um, um, two metres? Yeah, it's got to be, hasn't it? Of shell pearl, I love the colour. It's it's yeah. it's a very akoya colour. I'm not yeah. saying they are akoya pearls, but do you yeah. see where I'm yeah. coming from? It's a classic look, isn't it? It's yeah. like, almost like a vintage akoya uh, yeah. gold. It's beautiful. I mean, I can imagine just literally joining that strand together and just having one long strand that you can wear in multiple ways. That's a really yeah, like a, a 1920s yeah. vibe, a rope. Yeah, wasn't it? Wasn't it Coco Chanel who said every woman deserves ropes and ropes of pearls? She mm. wasn't just talking about uh, your cultured pearl because Chanel is a brand which is you know quite famous really for uh, um, your costume uh, gemstones, if you like your imitation stones. This is an imitation; it's shell pearl, so reconstituted shell and pearl into that idyllic spherical shape 14 pounds and 99 pence that's for a two meter strand imagine this like six strands six strands that is roughly six strands isn't it or five and a half strands that's incredible what a deal sold out well done should we do some lovely fluorite <gasps> oh that's a pretty strand oh i tell you what what a lineup so far ross mm. oh look at the quality of this fluorite Beautiful ultraviolet purples, amazing blues, all, I mean, uh, fluorite comes in um, a, a wonderful palette of colours. It's actually referred to quite fondly as the most colourful mineral um, on our planet. And here's, a, here's an example of why. It's, it, it's just a beautiful gemstone. I always think, it always reminds me of chiffon fluorite. Yeah, yeah. It's got that floatiness about it. <laughs> Um, very distinctive, very, very, uh, um, like I said, we've had fluorite for many years, but the quality of our fluorite that we have within our vault, I just think, think is off the chart. What is that price tag? Oh, my goodness me. If that had a one in front of it, I would still say that was a mega deal. Seven ninety nine. Uh, how many do we have? 25 of these. You recognise top quality stones. That's why there's been such a reaction on the phone lines and on the web. Maria's got hers, Christine, Brenda and Ruby. I've also got Neathport Talbot, Hello to Yorkshire, Kim, Susan, London, Angela and East Sussex. Good morning to you all. It's lovely to have your company. Imagine this rosary linked. Yeah, that would be really pretty, wouldn't it? Just mm -hmm. give them a bit of space each. That would, I think that would um, really showcase each one. Because oh. every single one's got a character of its own, hasn't it? Yes, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I, I always look at fluorite as this wonderful, almost a gemstone that you just want to nurture. Mm. It's got that really beautiful, endearing vulnerability to it. But the colour of this strand, I think, is absolutely adorable. Um, because it's so intense, isn't it? So intense. It's going to sell out. We only had 25 of them, and we've got multi-buyers on this one too. Just really, really beautiful shapes, premium quality. Because fluorite is a gemstone that can actually be quite heavily included. It can almost become quite um, opaque, I suppose. Um, and yet, here I see amazing translucency. Um, well done. Stay where you are again. Very, very close to being an on-screen sellout. Don't forget, you can shop ahead and pre-order pre on your early birds. Let me just give you a little bit of a heads up again. Um, exquisitely round, brilliant cut facets 
you've got your white topaz and then you've got your sapphire again that's such a paparazzi color isn't it um these are coming up within this hour as your early bird frankly you will not believe how low they are going um but first let's now bring you some lovely turquoise in your rice beads i love this strand yeah i think i launched this strand actually it's gorgeous isn't it the shape is and with yeah. the slider bracelet yeah they're, they're lovely and they, they make great just you know um stretches they make great just little centers on wish bracelets yeah just such a lovely shape nice for delicate drop earrings beautiful and with, with you know with your wire work today as well mm. i think they're going to absolutely work um yeah, genuine turquoise, uh, of course, turquoise is a very shallow forming gemstone. It form if you imagine very arid, dry areas like the Arizona desert, which, are, which is where I imagine this is from, um, it being USA, that's where turquoise tends to be born. It's a very shallow forming gemstone um, and very expensive, very, very expensive, particularly the USA variety. $49.99 for 15 carats, really elegant. You've got the perfect balance of the greens and the blues. Um, for example, the reason why I say that is if you go to the Kingman mine in Arizona, it's blue on one side and it's green literally on the other. And, mm. and, and I like the fact that you've got a mixture of both in this strand. Um, now, again, very limited. fourteen ninety nine for turquoise. It again it makes no sense, does it? No, this is a 40, 50, and that's jewelry maker prices. Mm. Outside of our, our our little bubble that we always refer to, it's gonna be considerably more than that. Of course it is. Yeah, even one on its own, you know, you can probably pay that sort of price for. Y yes, yeah. that's a really good point. So if you mm. do your craft fairs, because people recognise turquoise, yeah. don't they, and know it's expensive. Yeah. If you put this on some Eslon, yeah. the little macrame, mm -hmm. you'd sell that for £15, or I'd hope, hope yeah. you would. You should, yeah, you shouldn't go any lower than that. Because maybe. otherwise people would doubt, question whether it is the, the actual gemstone. Works beautifully with pearls as well, I think. Yes, it does, it, it does. It, in fact, it's, it's another one, a lot like Amazonite that I was saying, you know, it goes with so many yep. different gemstones. You can make it quite classic with putting it with your pearls or um, you can sort of make it much more modern by putting it with, um, you know, contrasting colours like, like your pinks and your spinels and things like that. It looks lovely. Look at that. I'm just showing the drill holes too. So you could get some of your thicker cords, uh, wires mm. um, through there if you wanted to do things like your, uh, your wish style bracelets. 14.99. How many did I have then, Roscoe? Okay, we had 30, half the stock has gone already. Morning, everyone. Again, don't be shy, come and text in. I'd love to hear from you this Wednesday morning. I hope you're all well. And, and coping with this heat. What is going on? I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I, I, if it goes over 25, that's it. L doesn't, I, I function at half speed. <laughs> yeah. I'm all right yeah. in the studio because it's air conditioned in here, yeah. which is lovely. Yeah, it's when you go out and it just oh. Yeah, it's like going into a car, isn't it? When you I, leave can't, the I can't cope. My cats this morning, I woke up and the cats are both lay on the tiled floor in the bathroom. <laughs> just hot. Just, yeah, like just hot. Nice and cool. They just don't know what to do with themselves. Um, yeah, it's, I hate it. Hate it. Tiggy was asleep last night, of course. Window open in a nappy, literally like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, let's do some. Have I? Have I? No. No, mm -mm. I don't, but I like the sound of what you're, you're describing. Got some amazing pearls coming up. Now, uh, here at Jewelry Maker, and I've said it multiple times, I think one of our greatest strengths is our pearl buying. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> the fact that we can give a huge variety, we can bring you a shell pearl, we can bring you, you know, your, your potato pearls, we can bring you the finest quality of pearls, and this is that example. Now, everywhere at the moment in the industry when if you talk pearls they are looking for natural colors and that's exactly what this strand is all about dan sorry lovely can i bother you for a white bust is that okay um because like i said you can you can take a cultured pearl you can bleach it and you can dye it but when you actually have a uh, um a, an occurrence basically which is very rare where thank you lovely um where the pearl has migrated from if you like the body of the pearl to the circumference of the pearl and that's how it gets those beautiful colors imagine that on a strand i've shared with you lots of different powerpoints over over recent weeks certainly our suppliers talking about how the fact that these aren't impossible to get hold of but they are expensive to get hold of because it's mm -hmm. everywhere at the moment team that alongside a metallic beauty i know our graphics don't say it but would we all agree they are naturally metallic absolutely 
So there's another added rarity. Yeah. Team the fact that these are ripple pearls, again, so on trend at the moment. Now, I know I haven't got many of these available. I know that's the case. And, I, and we've had, I've shared conversations with our suppliers who have literally said that these we're not going to be they're not going to be able to offer us opportunities like this probably possibly for five years mm. how many do i have today 14 left not this with a silk put one of your high-end clasps absolutely yeah you yeah you you want to finish that as yeah or try and finish it as as, as exquisitely as the actual as you pearls yeah so i mean it's beautiful gem i mean you've got pistachio colors yeah. you've got beautiful purples you've got wonderful dusky pinks mm. i've shown you photo look at this recording seriously this is the exact same strand that i'm holding here in the studio just under differing light conditions and that's not that's not it's not dyed mm. that's all down to that one amazing well each amazing mollusk that has formed each incredible pearl so now we can see why they are referred to so fondly as the impossible pearl Mm. I've shown you PowerPoints. I've shown you lots of different price comparisons where pearls like this are fetching astronomically high prices. Even at trade, thousands of pounds. This is why I've started buying pearls more recently now. Um, sorry, more, more now than ever before. Mm. Because the quality that we offer and the value that we offer for the level of luxury, totally natural. Even if we were to stop here at 999, I would still say that's an amazing deal. That's not where we're stopping though, is it Ross? In fact, we're nowhere near. Naturally metallic. Hmm. We're gonna half that price tag and we're still not done. Here are the words that I showed you from a supplier talking about not just your papaya, not just your purple, just talking about naturally coloured pearls in general. And these are the words they said, to replace pearls like this in the current climate isn't impossible, but it is very expensive. Strands of this grade are likely to retail for around 10,000 US dollars today. Next year, we could be looking at double that uh, with the way uh, the farms have been affected. That's obviously with the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, there isn't many strands right now in the world um, as it is more valuable to sell these as single at this size. We yeah. won't be able to offer anything like this for maybe five years. And even then, it wouldn't be financially viable. You could literally just sell these as individual pendants. Yeah. Um, we were taking these to, the Hong uh, to Hong Kong, not just for the Asian market. Uh, there is a huge demand from the West after the biggest jewellery house in New York started buying these too. Everybody wants these pearls and the pearl farms can't provide them. Uh, these are all from the same source and this is obviously talking about a particular parcel. Um, so, I mean, this is the thing. If every single one of these pearls is an impossible pearl, meaning that we can't tell the mollusk to produce that colour. Mm -hmm. It's all done uh, as a freak of nature, if you like. So it's something we can't predict. We can initiate in culturing, but we cannot initiate the culture, uh, the, the actual colour itself. So to get a strand like this, yes, we should expect it to be expensive. £499, but we are not stopping there. In fact, we are no way near. We need to add to the five virtues, the fact that these are naturally metallic. Remember from a harvest of 10,000 pearls, less than 10 will be metallic. And yet you have an entire strand today for 149 pounds. Uh, for, I was gonna say 99 pence, not even 99 pence. You can get it home for 37 pounds 25 today. Make the most of that split pay. I mean, Jim. It's amazing, isn't it? It really it's is. Like... And I, I get why people actually say, well, why would you do that? If you can sell these for five figures, why wouldn't you sell them for five figures? You've got to remember our business model is very, very, very different to that of a jeweler's. Mm -hmm. um, we will have bought, uh, we would have bought uh, quantity, so as many as we possibly can. Um, and we do work off of smaller margins for quick sell throughs. Most jewelers will have pearls, and remember, I've worked at them, will have mm -hmm. pearls in their vault, the same pearls for decades. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. they don't sell volumes. No. 
you know, they'll sell them at a high price tag maybe once every couple of years or something yeah. like that. That's yeah. the difference. We work off an entirely different model. Minuscule margins. And by the way, you've heard it there. The biggest jewelry house in, in, in New York is, it has launched a collection. I've shown you lots of different, uh, lots of different jewelry houses that are selling high-end pearls for thousands upon thousands of pounds. I'm not going to do that today, just in the essence of time. And, and frankly, the fact I haven't got enough of these to go around. But 149 pounds, ugh, for naturally coloured pearls. And you haven't got to choose a favourite. Um, you, you haven't got, to, you know, it's purple, it's pistachio, it's yeah. papaya. You've got it all in this one strand. Look at how breathtaking. Well done, Brenda. Well done, Christine. Well done, Leslie. Well done, Maria. Well done, Karen. Well done, Jeannie. Hello, uh, well done to you, Heather. You've done it. Sit back and enjoy. I've only got three left within the vault. We've got people multi buying. Who's just got that one there? Leslie, well done, Leslie. Um, I can see, oh, and Agnes, well done to you, my darling. I've got two left within the vault, and that's it. And there's Margaret, uh, oh, Margaret, is that Margaret who won? I'm not sure. Gabrielle, Mary, Marion, um, I've got Angela. Gabrielle, you've got yours, well done, lovely. They're absolutely incredible quality. Yeah. And to have that whole bouquet of color in, in one strand. This is heirloom, and we talk, we talk about it a lot, don't we? This is, this is an heirloom opportunity, yeah. something that we absolutely could pass down to um, future generations, because the likelihood we, we saw it with Pareva Tourmaline, didn't we? Mm. We, we sold Pareva Tourmaline um, at inexpensive prices comparably. Um, your lovely Toby, uh, Toby's mum, bought a Pareva Tourmaline and then, so, uh, I don't know if she actually sold it, but had it valued literally for tens of thousands of pounds. <laughs> you know, it, just yeah. things change in the market and that's well done, well done, well done, well done, everybody that managed to get oh, hold beautiful. of that. Truly beautiful, yeah. um, amazing, well done. Okay. Now it's time. Should we should we melt the phone lines? Should we create an absolute frenzy? Um, because I'm about to bring you two very beautiful, top gem quality examples of both sapphire and then topaz in a classic round, brilliant cut. Firstly, with your sapphire. Um, we haven't labelled them as such, but these have got such a paparaccia-esque saturation. I'm surprised it isn't labelled as paparaccia. It's coming up next. There's a hundred of these available. Collectors amongst you might be thinking, OK, so I'm going to have to dig pretty deep to get hold of these. Oh, no, not in your early bird. <laughs> I almost choked on my tea. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> um, now, take a gemstone which is known by the entire globe, sapphire. Most people who think of sapphire will imagine the blue initially, but actually sapphire, I think most of our viewers know, come in a multitude of colours, don't they? You can get colourless sapphire, you can get pink, you can get orange, you can get green. You can get colour change, you can get purple sapphire, obviously your blues. Um, but the rarest sapphire colour of all is actually paparaccia. Now, for whatever reason, our graphics don't say it. And it's not location. It used to be a case of uh, paparaccia was, it was location. Um, that's not the case anymore. It is all about the specific tone. For whatever reason, we haven't labelled this as paparaccia. If you were to ask me, that's what I would have said. Because look at this. That's stunning. Look at this. Now, when we talk about paparaccia, it's a fusion of orange and pink, mm. like a sunset, just, just like gorgeous. a lotus flower. Is that my, probably my favourite colour in a clear gemstone is this like peachy. That's why I it's love beautiful. the morganite. Yeah. I love paparaccia. Well, yeah. the popula uh, popularity of paparaccia sapphire went through the roof when Princess uh, Eugene, mm. or Eugenie, sorry, um, was actually uh, proposed to with exactly this stone. It is stunningly beautiful. Absolutely. Now, you've got a little bit of diffusion. That's fine. To be honest, 95% of the world's sapphires will undergo some form of, of treatment. Look at the quality of the stones. Yeah. No, other no other jewellery house 
frankly, if you were to walk in to most of your jewellery houses, whether they're selling this grade, you know, top grade, or whether they're selling the more, uh, the more sort of high street grade, mm -hmm. if you went in and said, excuse me, can you tell me what treatment that sapphire's had? They wouldn't know. No. They wouldn't know because they don't get they don't get told that kind of mm. thing, um, uh, you know. Uh, as assistants, I know because I was one of those assistants. We're very transparent. Look at the quality of the stone. Do they look anywhere near twenty pounds no. for a genuine sapphire? Oh, there's already that price tag's already in. Wow. <laughs> We're not stopping there, Gem. Oh, I've just been mesmerised by the stones. I didn't even see the price tag. That's ridiculous already. I. Did you hear what Ross just said? No, I didn't. Okay. Or, right. Who would love to own today? Me. Top quality sapphire. I've got a hundred available. A hundred of them. I'm going to open these up because they're too beautiful oh. to show. Through. Look at the quality. I mean, sapphire can be included, can't it? It can be quite an opaque stone. Definitely not the case here. Um, you've got amazing clarity. Look how cl we're under magnification. That's exactly the stones that I have before me. Um, we're under magnification, and you can literally see how flawless and how beautiful the colour actually is. Bear with me. I'm just wrestling with this box for a second to open it up. Um, so those of you that do, hey, those of you that do uh, your gemstone setting, those of you... Aren't they amazing? Is that Tobes? Tobes, uh, can, you, can you understand why these aren't listed as paparazzi? So, <laughs> he said, probably a lack of something on our part. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Go figure. Look at this. Do you know what? Even if you've never done a single bit of gemstone setting, they're like, yeah, absolutely like Argyle diamonds. Totally agree. That's just absolutely gorgeous. No, we're not stopping there, Toby. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. If you've got a big, beautiful Baroque pearl, can you imagine setting one of those in there? Exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking oh. about the colours in the pearls that we've just sold. Look, at the colours are just work so beautifully with those peachy pink um, tones. You know, again, if you go into any jeweler, even the highest end jeweler and say to them, um, we're so transparent to a fault, I actually think. You know, if you go to a high end jewelers and say, excuse me, what's the treatment of that sapphire? They probably wouldn't know. Mm. And it should, but they would, you know, the, the reality is we should assume every single sapphire is actually treated. It's not a negative. The number one priority for us all should be how beautiful is the stone? Mm. How beautiful is that gemstone? How these haven't sold out already, I am, my ghast is flabbered <laughs> already. If you don't buy them, I'm all over these. Yeah. And I'm not just going to buy one or two. I'll be buying a parcel of them. I mean, you could literally just set them into, um, you could set them into pearls. You could set them into most of your mounts. Mm. 25 points. Again, I don't know why we haven't labeled these as paparazzi, but I'm looking at them thinking it's definitely got that wonderful fusion um, of orange and yellow. 6.99, Gem. Oh, it's, um, that's unbelievable, isn't it? I mean... Six ninety. I mean, what can you buy for six ninety nine? You can't even buy a magazine, uh, some magazines at that price. True. I mean, you know, that's not, the magazine isn't going to go up in value or, you know, last as an heirloom piece, is it? You no. Know, this is this is something you can pass down, and maybe you know, this is something that perhaps you can set into, you know, into a custom designed ring, or obviously you can set it yourself into your own designs. But you know, it's just they're just so beautiful. <laughs> that's how good this deal is we don't know what's going on we literally don't know what's going on look at the quality do you see that flash of pink running through it's just absolutely beautiful. i'm trying to put my finger on what the color reminds me of it reminds me of something really specific and it's escaping me but they're just paparaccia it, it must just be that yeah <laughs> Gemma, mm. we're not stopping at 6.99 don't be ridiculous i i, I know how on earth I just, I uh, do you know, I've, I've said this so many times before. It's not, if you're sat thinking, oh, I just don't know what I do with them as of yet. That doesn't matter. It's about sourcing the stones. That's what's important right now because you, there will come a time when you're going to look back and think, oh my goodness, did I really get hold of those Paparaccia colours for 
or less. Well, we are bringing a clock onto your screen because it's going even lower. We had a hundred of these. Um, the quantity is apps. I'm, I'm putting them back in there just so I can tilt it forward towards you. Look at that beautiful colour, um, all completely and utterly natural. Listen, we don't know what's going on. Ah. What's going on? <laughs> it's all down to the deal. Let's, do, let's go straight down to it. Well done, Susan. Uh, you've got yours. Karen, you've got yours. Pretty much, what, 95% of you have actually chosen to multi-buy. I don't yeah. blame you. I'd be doing exactly the same. Yeah. And if you love this deal, make sure you're with me for the Topaz, which is coming up in a few moments. Uh, hello, Nina, Susan, another Susan. Well done to you. Maria, you've got yours. Power, Sunita, Brenda, Anne, Dumfries and Galloway, Richard, well done. Suzanne, Melanie, Heather, threes, twos, fours. I don't blame you. It, it's literally a case of... Can I be one of those very, very, very lucky um, and successful collectors getting involved? Because there's, there's only a hundred of them. That might sound like a massive quantity. It definitely, definitely is not. Um, because we have considerably more than 100 people watching, all of which know the rarity and how beautiful this deal mm. is. Did you think today, when you woke up on this Wednesday morning, that you'd be able to source sapphire of this grade, of this rarity, for a fiver? I, I mean, sometimes we make our own jobs difficult. <laughs> Genuinely, we do. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just an unbelievable value. I just... it, it, Toby, and he's one of the people that brings some of the best gemstones for the best possible deals. He was shocked. Yeah, it's, it's, it is incredible. It's, <laughs> it's, 4 .99. I mean, it's sapphire. It's, it's sapphire. sapphire. I mean, when did you ever think that Not you included. could... Like, I used to get a £5 pocket penny a week, you know, going back. And I would never have thought I could. Oh, I know, I could buy some sapphires. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You just you just go and get a pick and mix, wouldn't you? Maybe yeah. even a cinema ticket back then. But uh -uh. you know, you would never think you could get a sapphire. No, no, absolutely <laughs> not. Not just one sapphire. Two. Two sapphires. Two sapphires with one of the rarest colours. Yeah. Goodness amazing. me. Again, very, very, very limited. Now, um, well done. Stay. We are. Keep dialing through. Good luck. I'll keep everything crossed for you all. That's amazing. Now, this next opportunity is definitely going to melt the phone lines because these are big stones. Take, when we think colourless stones, most of us will go, okay, diamonds. Then they'll probably say topaz. Mm -hmm. Then you might say quartz. Mm -hmm. Then you might start talking about zircons mm -hmm. and maybe your petalites. Because for me, <sighs> topaz is one of the most popular uh, gemstones, particularly in the colours, mm -hmm. uh, colourless. It's a great substitute to a diamond mm. because you get flawless clarity and you can have the most amazing brilliance. It's a naturally brilliant forming gemstone. Um, so what I mean uh, by that is actually, did you know this, that topaz, you can facet topaz more times than you can a diamond mm. in smaller sizes. So you will get more brilliance from a topaz than you will do in a diamond in certain sizes. Now these are beautiful uh, round brilliant cuts, which means they have been faceted some at 56 seven stroke 58 times i mean so usable gem as a jewelry maker yeah yeah again we're talking i'm talking about that that baroque pearl again aren't i yeah i mean yeah you could just embed these nicely use one of the burr cups you know to drill into your pearl but you know they're also great for prong settings and things like that because they've got that lovely um is it the pavilion yeah you know so it, it they're a great shape to be able to grab a hold of um, so, you know, even on the small scale like this, prong settings will work really well. Oh, my goodness and then me. And the tube settings. I mean, we have calibrated tube settings that we sell regularly here now at JM. So, you know, really easy to incorporate if you, you know, you're doing your own, um, having to go at your own sort of settings. And at the prices that we're going to, I mean, it is practice prices, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it doesn't, what, it's not the end of the world if you, if the, you know, one doesn't work or you don't get it quite right. Look at that, Jane. I mean, look at that next to your diamonds. Not, you know, not saying anything no, no, about your diamonds. But, no, you, know, no, you can, it's, Gemma, because really my hard they, they are absolutely disgustingly dirty. But look, look at that topaz. Yeah. You, wouldn't, you, you would never question, would you? You would never, ever, ever question no. the gemstone. And it's natural. Now, you don't just get one, you get four three and a half millimeters the average engagement ring size is three mil so you've got a bigger stone times four, four. it's just about i mean it's like a pound just over a pound each 
for genuine topaz, a birthstone. So if you're a November baby, then topaz is one of your birthstones. And, I, and I'm very envious because I adore topaz mm. as a gemstone. I this do. is why. It's, of course, it's going to sell out. Ross, it should, if we'd have kept that price tag, I don't know, four times what's on your screen, there'd have been a sellout. Imagine those in a Keshi. Imagine those in a Baroque. Imagine those in your tube settings. Imagine those in your prong settings. Yeah. Imagine those in simple snap settings. We yeah. do those too, yeah. don't we? Yeah, yeah. Just, they're just gorgeous. If you don't have the budget for diamonds to add to your jewellery making, here's a fabulous alternative. Mm. But topaz, make no doubt about it, topaz can be an expensive stone, especially when they are of this quality. In three seconds, as if we're taking it lower than what is already a crazy price tag. Everybody cool. pays that final low. There are precisely 100 of these within the vault. They are not going to hang around. Oh, what? <laughs> I thought I thought okay, you're going to go three ninety nine, and that makes it a pound a stone. But that's what's that? Seventy, eighty, some, seventy something pence a stone. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it is ridiculous. This is unreal. It's you know two ninety nine. Oh, I hope there's some of these left. I so oh, there's not going to be. Is there? I've just seen not. the call screens. Two two ninety nine. Literally, what I what I'm thinking. I, I've got a Dremel, but I'll be honest, I'm quite frightened of it. Um, I'm I'm just going to use my burr and actually then try and set these yeah. into a pearl, if I was lucky enough to get hold of them. But but you you know the deal, and it's gone crazy again. People getting packs of fours, threes, twos, fives. I don't blame you, I would be as well at 2 99 Frankly, that is ridiculous. A parcel of natural gem quality topaz. I d <coughs> what do you say? What, what no do we words. say? It's just, I, don't, I really don't know what to say. <laughs> Again, it, it, it makes you kind of think of, um, you know, yeah, po that's pocket money prices. It is pocket money. I mean, that is, and you, you know, you actually can't buy what, you can't buy a sandwich for 2 99 <laughs> Not or, a nice one, anyway. No, the yogurt in the service station this morning was two seventy-five for a yogurt with a bit of muesli on. I was like, I, I wouldn't, you know, you just can't. Could pay have it. got your parcel of topaz. Could for have got that, a parcel of you? topaz. Oh my word! <laughs> you know, not not even rough out of the ground. It's been cut, polished. Yeah. You know, I clean. I clean. It's it's been presented for us in little, the box. little case. The box. You know, yeah, could the you, little box yeah. itself. Could you get that for fifty p? Probably you know, not. You no, know? <laughs> you could literally buy this, and I, you know, it's entirely up to you what you do with your topaz. You could literally buy this parcel and sell it on at a profit. Absolutely, of course you. Without could. doing anything to yeah, it. Of course you could. You take that straight to the jewellers. They buy it off you. Yeah, at I'm a sure. Price. I've got no doubt, no doubt yeah. at all. Um, well done. It's. Yeah, very close to selling out. Well done, everybody. Absolutely awesome. Um, okay. Gosh, where did that hour go? Blimey, is it already nine? Time flies when you're having fun and all that. Now, don't go anywhere because we've got some absolutely amazing kits all about the lovely slider bracelets, the trend that is the slider bracelets um, with gorgeous Gemma coming up after a very short break. I mean, take a little look. look that's, that's amazing. So do I spot in amongst those gemstones, Gemma, some mm. opal? The opal is exquisite. Honestly, I, I couldn't Tanzanite? stop going on, on about it. Tanzanite, I think. Ruby? Um, Ooh. Maybe sapphire? Might be sapphire. And is that also grounded, you right? I believe so. Oh. I believe so. You know where you got to be coming up after this. Guest designer Alison Tarry here. Just to give you the heads up of what's coming up on this Saturday, we've got in the nine o'clock hour, going back to my roots, we've got some cabochons and wire. I can't wait, it's going to be fabulous. Tune in and see what I do. And then in the 12 o'clock, we've got some pearls and the most amazing class. So tune in on Saturday to see what I make.
Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Now, amazing, amazing kits coming your way and, of course, beautiful jewellery and demonstrations. But just before I get into that, I need to give you a heads up. Now, set your clock, set an alarm, set a reminder, because we have a brand new gemstone being launched today. And that's not just launched here at Jewellery Maker, that's across the entire partnership. And I've never seen it anywhere else in existence, so I'm really excited. It's a, a wonderful fusion of two amazing gemstones that are kyanite and ruby two gems that don't often form alongside one another um, have occurred completely naturally and that's been launched in 55 minutes time so not too long to wait for that within this hour we've got some amazing kits bang on trend as well gem yes. aren't they yeah very but everywhere it's all about the slider bracelets yeah and these lovely bright colors as well yeah yeah they're gorgeous it's nice to have them ready made. Um, isn't it? And when you think slider bracelets, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be working with, you know, sort of just beads. You're not going to necessarily no. work them uh, with solely your uh, your onyx or maybe your jaspers or maybe your quartzes. Oh, no, because these kits include some very, very, very high end they gemstones. Do. They do. Um, yeah, I mean, of Gemma's beautiful creations, yes, you are looking at Granted, you're right. Yes, you are looking at Opal. Mm. Yes, you are looking at Peridot. Yes, you are looking at Tanzanite. And yes, you are looking at Sapphire. I, I didn't know if it was pink spinel or pink sapphire. I mean, they're just gorgeous. I think, I think sapphire, but I'll double check that in a second. Let's start with that. Isn't it pretty? Amazing, amazing, amazing. Let's bring in your next incredible gems. I know the deal that's coming your way on this kit, and it is mega. I have no idea, but the, do you know just the quality of the strands are? The opal is some of the best I've ever seen. Well, let's just say each of these strands so far should be the price of the kit. That tanzanite yeah. should be the price of the kit. The grand digerite should absolutely be the price of the kit. 
Look at that peridot. I know. It's stunning, that. And look, oh, you have to move that around, Al, because you've got to see it. You, and you oh, have to take it. On. I worked outside in the garden, and, and I'm so glad I did because it just comes alive. I kept saying to Chris, no, have another look at it. Look at it over here. Look at it over here. Look, you're, like, you're not wrong. Like, yeah, I can see. It's lovely. <laughs> for, the stra for this strand on its own, the price of this it's, kit is mega. It, it's beautiful. It's not doing it justice in these no. studio never lights. Never does here in the studio. You have to. I never, mean, ever does. I just want to wear that outside. I just want to... Oh. Natural Ethiopian opal, and I'm going to say that's like a honey body colour as well. So really rare, very beautiful. And of course, Eddie Levion announced to the world that this is the gemstone of 2022. So you can expect the prices of Ethiopian opal to go through the roof. So you are getting one, two, three, four. Five high-end gemstones, but we're still not done because your kit is topped off with five sterling silver macrame slider bracelets. Yeah, that is grounded. You're right. You're right. Yes, Neary New has just pot, uh, spotted it. Hi, Neary. You're right, lovely. You're right. Uh, we've done a little swap because poor Roscoe's not feeling very well this morning. So what a trooper you are, Neary. Yeah. <laughs> Pop it in on his day off. Thank you. Thank you for joining me, darling. Um, and get well soon, Roscoe. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. He did look ever so poorly this morning. So, oh, do you know what? Both of our guesses on that pink, on the pink strand, mm. totally wrong. <gasps> what is it? It's not spinel. Yeah, it's not. It's not sapphire. What is it? It's pink tourmaline. Oh, oh, of course. Of course it's tourmaline. Natural, <laughs> natural, natural, natural. The only gemstone that is not natural, and, and it never is, is your tanzanite, which has had a little bit of heat treatment. Mm. Um, now, Gemma is completely... I, I'm completely in the dark. In the dark, doesn't know what this kit is going to. No. So can I, just, can I just ask the question? Um, I, you know, I'm asking a question, um, kind of knowing the answer, but it's mm. just, is, can we get Grand Did You Right at the moment? Everybody, can we get it? Can we get Grand Did You Right at the moment? No. Is it being mined at the moment? No. So how is this kit, how is this kit inclusive of Grand Did You Right when mm. it's no longer being mined? Mm. And then remember the price that we're about to bring this to is mental. Okay, uh, so commercial, so on trend. You've got a massive collector. Well, you're an instant collector if you get involved with this kit. We've mm. got, what, 76, is that right? Have we got 76 of these available? Yes? Yeah. We're going to take it under £100 straight away. That means that that's, you could make sterling silver, high-end gemstone slider mm -hmm. bracelets. £20 what, each. £20 each. Yeah. £20 yeah. each. Then we're not stopping there. No, I know. No. I just had a good gas. Uh, yeah, for the Grand Digi, that's an awesome deal already. For the gemstone I'm holding, I'm ready. Well, the slider bracelets have sterling silver on, you know that. They've got little sterling silver embellishments as well. So you're actually getting five, five high-end gemstones plus the precious metal. Not stopping there. In fact, hang on a minute, just for kicks. I'm going to show Gemma and I want you to see the reaction. 76 of these are in existence. Are you ready for this, Gem? Oh, I don't know. Oh, wow. Now, oh, that, is, that is amazing. Do you see why I said for any, any one of these, <laughs> any one of these strands, that's an awesome price that is tag. Amazing. Yeah. But you're actually getting five I mean. of them. Okay. Um, it's going to create a frenzy. Brenda, well done for shopping ahead. Susan, well done for shopping ahead. Ruby, well done for shopping ahead. So if you were to buy these, this collection of gemstones, it's £50, which is absolutely amazing. Absolutely mm. amazing. But they're not £50. And that's minus, of course, your sterling silver slider yeah. bracelets as well. That tanzanite, can we, could, could you ever imagine me bringing in tanzanite at 49 Yes. Can you imagine me bringing you granted you're right at 49 Yes. 
or tourmaline or, or, or your opal or your peridot, they would all justify that price tag. Together, most definitely. The last day of July 2021, we launched that bundle of gemstones for what, sorry? Did we? We launched this, this, this collection for £29.99. Just the gemstones? Just the gemstones. Okay. Over 300 sold out. Well, there are, because they're amazing examples of each Grand gemstone. Grand digerite for £29.99. Yeah, I know. But for me, the love is all for the opal like, and the peridot. I, yeah. love, I love that. And I, but I know, also know, you know, I know Grand digerite is just so valuable. You know, it's just such a valuable gemstone and it's gorgeous as well. Gemma, we're going to do the whole kit with the sterling silver stylers. Mm. And we're going to match that price tag. Twenty nine ninety nine gets you Incredible. the five collectible gemstones. Plus, it gets you your slider bracelets with your nine two five sterling silver. You'd have to pay more than that for any one of these gemstone strands, don't we agree? Mm. Look at that pink tourmaline. Oh my goodness me! Again, how that hasn't been? Uh, uh, yeah, have uh, have these sliders? They're beautiful quality, aren't they? Just look at the quality of the opal. You've got tanzanite grandidurite, rubellite pink tourmaline. You've got opal and you've got peridot five hugely collectible gemstones for 29.99 and then you get the slider bracelets with precious metal for free yeah. uh, this is what this is not only do you get exactly lincolnshire unbelievable exactly and and the beauty of our kits is not only do we you haven't got to shop around looking for different components so we put it all there it's like a one-stop shop you get the inspiration you get the education from um, from our designer um but also we give you mega deals yeah absolutely absolutely amazing deals you know it is wholesale prices isn't it and you know being able to buy at this price does give you the opportunity to you know um, sell on at a profit if you if you're doing it for business, but also sell sell on you know at low prices just to fund what you love doing. You know, yeah. so and and also great gifts. I mean, these would cost you then six pounds each to make, and you're going to have gemstones left over. That's madness. Um, and people know tanzanite, people know tourmaline, people yeah. know oh, opal, they know yeah. peridot. They might not know about granted, right? But that's where your knowledge and you can share yeah. it with your lovely uh, customers or, or, or friends. And family, I, I need to point out that what we're looking at right now is no longer coming out of the ground anywhere in the world. Yeah. Anywhere in the world. So purely for your grand digirite, that's an absolutely awesome deal. There were there were uh, seventy six of this kit, of this collection available. Yes, you're getting your beautiful sterling silver um, slider bracelets, which is mega. But it, it is all about the gemstones for me. I mean, that's that's madness that we are talking about. I'm rubbish at maths. Mm. So hang on a minute. What's that? Each six pounds per gemstone strand, and then your sterling silver sliders for free. For free, yeah. You'd never get you'd never get tanzanite for six pounds. Could bring any one of those on for six pounds, and the the screens would just break, wouldn't they? The the phone lines would break. At any one of those strands for six pounds. Yeah, six quid. Yeah, six quid. It's unbelievable. Seriously, well done. Um, there's literally single figure quantities now. Single figure quantities, well done, Karen, Irene, Maria, Christine, West Midlands, uh, I, oh, I can't keep up with you. Anyway, si uh, single figures left. Let's bring you the next kit. This, this is- I've got, I've got a problem, I have got a problem. I've got a bit of an issue with this. Oh, it makes me feel a little bit Can I see the sheet for this one? Yeah, it makes me uncomfortable, this does. It makes me, it makes me uncomfortable. <gasps> I know, I know. This is even more ridiculous. This is worse. This lovely jewelry maker viewers. I think, I think we need to have a conversation with our kit team together. Right? Okay. So, kit team, I love you all. I really do. But I have a massive problem with this kit. I think somebody, obviously, somebody didn't realise that, that what that stone. And I'm going to go. And, and lovely Alice, a beautiful Alice. Um, Alice, she's beautiful. I've got a problem with this kit. Alice, Grand Digirite is not being mined anywhere in the entire world. Can you tell her then? Nowhere in the world. How have I got five strands of Grand Digirite in one kit? 
Uh, at the price that we're taking it to, and I, again, I'm going to say it shouldn't be with base metal. shouldn't be with base metal. It's my, it doesn't get any rarer than Grand Digerite right now. Look, jadeite is more abundant than Grand Digerite, and that's saying something. I, I, I've, got a, I've got beef with this kit. Yeah, it's... Uh, how many have we got? Oh my goodness me, how, how to absolutely obliterate our Grand Digirite vault. I don't understand. Any quantity that we have in, our Grand, Digi uh, in Grand Digirite in our vault is in this kit, basically, pretty much. Look at the quality of the Grand Digirite. Seriously, look at the quality of the colour. It's all about, don't forget, it's not about eye clean clarity when it comes to Grand Digirite. It is about colour. Um, it's a really beautiful, rare fusion of teal, bluey greens. Check those out. Then you get your Grand Digirite drops. Then uh, let's put some more drops in, shall we? Let's now. Look at those. I mean, oh. those are, those are like the pictures that we show with the $20,000 uh, carrot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, On the I couldn't list. believe it when I saw those. I just, and the, the drops uh, are so gorgeous. I love these slider bracelets. I really do. But they're, they're, they're base metal, so I wouldn't use them with the Grand Digerite. That's me personally. Well, but that's a little extra bonus for you. I thought I had, a, I, there's no way I thought these were in a kit. So I thought I had a bundle of Grand Digirite because, and I, I just assumed these sliders were a doubles because sometimes we get doubles. So I've worked them with wire, which I would, I would recommend being sterling silver wire because it's Grand Digirite. Right. right. Uh, but yeah, just. Hold up, Gem. I thought I was working This kit is so awesome. Hundreds of pounds worth. <laughs> this, yeah, this should be a deal of the day. Yeah. Let's make it a star buy at the very least. At least. Um, and let's just say this is jewelry maker a little bit broken right now because mm. it's madness what's about to happen. But let's do it up next. There are times when uh, I love Jewelry Maker, I really do. I'm so proud to work for this wonderful company, but there are times when I go, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? It, it's not wild, it's madness. Yeah. Absolute madness, because this is a gemstone. Listen, let's talk about Grand Digirite for one second, because seriously, that, I mean, that recording, Ben, that you just had, look at the quality of the Grand Digirite. Yeah, look at that. Grand Digirite is not, listen, we should never expect, we should never expect complete eye clean clarity. In fact, look at these. Take a little look at these pieces. And that's, that's massively underpriced, by the way, this necklace. Yeah. Massively underpriced, 242 pounds. It's, uh, yeah, lovely, lovely color. Um, but uh, I've got this, this. Let's show that photograph that you were referencing on the Forbes list, where there's yeah. one single Grand Digirite. Right? There it is. Nice. Here we go. Number three, Grand Digirite, right? number three. And they're talking about the rarest gemstones. This is prior to it being mined out, by the way, so it probably had jumped up. $20,000 per carat. But the reason I'm showing you this is not just because of, uh, of the price. I mean, that's an added bonus, isn't it? It's about the opacity that you get within this gemstone. Look at it on the back of my hand. You've got that wonderful, it's actually a deeper color um, than that stone that you just saw on the Forbes list. Look how amazing they are. This is jewelry maker. At, uh, we, we're broken, frankly, with this with this auction opportunity. I don't know what's going on. I genuinely don't know what's going on because honestly, the, the Madagascar deposit, which is somewhere in that article, um, the Madagascar deposit, which was discovered, I think, around 2014, um, that was the only other location of source. It's gone. It has gone now. Entirely gone. So this is a gemstone, which is mined out effectively and highly highly unlikely to be found never never say never
Yeah, uh, let's start making our way because this is ridiculous, actually. I don't know. If these don't sell out, I, w I frankly, I need to have a strongly worded conversation with myself because I haven't, I haven't, <laughs> grand, not one of these strands should be anywhere near the price that you're about to see. When, oh, we're not even stopping there. No, but we're not even stopping there. That's not it. I mean, that is now £10 a strand free, free um, sliders, like. I don't, we, the sliders are just a, a bonus, like, a, like a, a bonus opportunity, aren't they? <laughs> but, you know. Don't tell Kit Team off, we love them. I love them too, I, mean, I, love, I love them too. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell them off. Um, yeah, it is romantic. Although I did say, I d yeah, I did say that, Richard, didn't I? I wouldn't actually tell them off. <laughs> <laughs> but do you see where I'm coming from? Seriously, Grand did you right? Not one of these strands should be forty nine ninety nine. I don't think maybe they don't know that this gemstone's not being mined anymore. Look, a gemstone that was rediscovered in Madagascar. I'm gonna. Here we go. Let me read it to you. Let me just read this out to you from my from my tatty notes. Rediscovered art. Oh, bless you. I love that you've you've stuck up for the kit team. They are awesome. <laughs> Here we go. Many collectors would only dream of owning Grand Digirite because it's almost impossible to find. First discovered in 1902 in Madagascar by Alfred Lacroix, a French mineralogist. Lacroix named the gem in honour of French explorer and naturalist Alfred Grandidier. Um, rediscovered. Where does it say? It's 2014. Um, but that deposit is now gone. Come on, let's, Le Neary, let's just do it. There he is, Alfred Grandadier. I mean, if you ha imagine having a gemstone named after you, but furthermore, imagine having the, one of the world's rarest. Mm. It said it was previously number three on the Forbes list. It's probably even less than that now. We have a staggering 130 quantity. Let's do it. I tell you what, our kit team, they're everyone's friend today because you're getting one of the world's rarest gemstones. Literally, jadeite pales into uh, into the background in terms of rarity alongside grand uh, grand digirite hello to you deborah i've never owned it wanted to but i had to get this thank you uh, uh, J, uh jm team oh you're very very uh, listen don't thank me don't thank me don't even thank uh, neary no this is all down to your amazing kit team bringing this uh, bringing this opportunity um to uh, to fruition Although, yeah, uh, Tom Neary's saying, no, you can thank me if you want to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did come in on his day off, after all. Angie Ben, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think Alice has to take all credit for this. <laughs> can you believe it? I love these. They are base metal, hence why I said I love them. I love them. I wouldn't personally use them with your grand digirite because of the rarity of the gemstone, but that's a little uh, Brucey bonus. Frankly, you shouldn't be getting your grand digirite at £34.99, no. frankly, um, but it has happened. Not one of the strands should be £39.99. No, not, no. <laughs> Are you as shocked as me? I am. I'm, I'm amazed. Like I said, I, I didn't, when I got this bundle, I thought, oh, I'm working with one of our high-end bundles Highest. that's going to be like 150 140 pounds and i thought well i'll show it you know in wire and in use sort of them individually because they are that precious that's how i assumed or you know went about working with them i i would never i would never in a million years put this at 34.99 no maybe per strand yes per but, strand but, absolutely you know. well no 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 stop it al no Even this that. should not be at that price tag <laughs> per strand of grand did you right I mean, it's her weight on that on those, I mean, what what do you think the carat weight on each of those? What one and one point five? Uh, yeah, probably, yeah. That's 
Uh, it's massive. Yeah. It's absolutely massive. All natural, all certified genuine grand digerite, and we're at thirty-four ninety-nine. I am not surprised that when looking at the call screen, I've got people saying, "I'll have a couple of those." Thank you very much. You know what? Even if you've got no idea of what you're going to do with it, even if you think, um, even if you, if, you, if you're thinking, right, I'm just going to keep this and put it under lock and key for future years. Very savvy. That's precisely what I'm going to be doing. If there's any of them left, I'll be all over this. I'm Oh, Neri. Neri is saying in my uh, yes, but listen like I said, they're lovely slider bracelets, but you can they're for another project, aren't they? <laughs> Neri saying to me in my ear. I'm um I'm not meant to be here today. It's my day off. He says, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Okay. And listen, I have to tell you, Alice, I was perhaps a little bit too hard on you. Although that is ridiculous, isn't it? But frankly, don't worry now, darling, because do you know, do you know who is now in the spotlight for, for, for dressing down? And that's producer Tom because he's responsible for this price reduction, nobody else. Bought three, one to use, two to set aside, and get a set, uh, sell on the sliders. Totally. You know the, oh. the sliders, I mean, we haven't looked at them at all. They're, they're not a macrame, they've got like a snake knot. They're yeah. really, really, really lovely. They're lovely sliders, yeah, yeah they're slight, really lovely. Stretch, so they're gonna be very comfy. I really like these ones. Yeah. Look, they're, they're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, but do you see why I wouldn't, Richard? Gifts. Do you see why I wouldn't use them together? Because they're base metal, and at the end of the day, this yeah. is grand digerite. Grand digerite should be with precious metal. Liz, oh my goodness, what a price! Thank you, JM Lovelies. Yeah. What on earth is going on, Liz? What's going on? We're broken, aren't we? We're absolutely broken. Hang on a minute. One sec. I mean, has anyone got a phone, a direct line to our gemstone buyer, Wayne? Wayne, can you get some more grandage right? No, will be his answer. And it would absolutely be the uh, answer, expecting prices like this. He's, look, he's not impressed. Mm. <laughs> livid. Absolutely <laughs> livid. I know. Sorry, Alfred. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's, he's, he's not happy, is he? Just whilst you're demoing, mm. just remember he's watching. Oh, uh, yeah, he looks, yeah. It's, it's a fine moustache, isn't gonna it? going to follow me as well. Yeah. I think he's got... My he's dad got had nice eyebrows face. like that as well. I love those kind of he's eyebrows. He's got a nice face, yeah. Yeah, he's got a nice yes. face. <laughs> um, May I have the... Opal? No, um, I'm going to go for the Peridot, please because I want to just show you one very simple um, technique. So what I've tried to do with these sliders is just set each one slightly differently. So I've kept it really simple with the tourmaline, which is tourmaline. Yes. Yes. And the um, uh, oh, tanzanite. Yeah. <laughs> kept it really simple with those. It's just literally a wire going through. And because this is sterling silver um, on these sliders, you want to keep this wire as sterling silver or... For this technique, you can just use beading thread and a sterling silver crimp um, to, to attach those. For these ones, I've just I've used three different techniques to just show you a, a, a bit of a variety um, on how you can you know use the gemstones in the centre. So this one is a basic macrame um, with with silver wire. So that's nice because it sort of frames those grandidiorites. This one is is like um, a technique I'm gonna gonna. Um, show you um, in just a minute and then this one is more of like modern um, quite popular at the moment this sort of um, sort of rough wrapping then it's sort of um, and I thought it really suited the peridot so that's what I'm going to show you now so you will need a 0.4 wire I'm working with the base metal so I don't mind working with um, which way shall I go we need, yeah let's I'll scooch these the thing is I do have to move because there's a, a bar in the way. Yes. So, there we go. Right. So, I'm going to get some 0.4 wire. Oh, we have this wire as well. We'll yeah. be bringing it. We, uh, um, yeah, we'll pop it on the screens. Make sure you check out on your Grand right deals. That's madness. Um, yeah, and again, with these kind of stones, you would need it. 
wouldn't you? Yeah. Precious yeah, I, I'd say I'd say you know I like using precious metal with these with these lovely stones. These, but these are base metals, so you know I probably wouldn't mix no. base metal with um, sterling silver. But certainly with the sterling silver sliders, I would use sterling silver. Yeah, definitely. So that you you can say then authentically that it's sterling silver all the way through. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got these spaces in between my peridot, and I'm going to keep those because they're going to help keep the gems separate for me so that I can um, create the look that I'm that I'm going for. So I'm just going to trim the um, tassels off of the strand. And what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to attach. So the wire I've cut is about 35 centimeters in length. OK, and I'm going to go a they go along about a third of the way along the wire, so about 10 centimetres along, and I'm going to start to create a little wrapped loop, okay, so before I do anything else. So I create my little loop with my pliers first, and then slide this end onto the slider bracelet, okay. So slide that one in, and once that's in place, I can then wrap a few wraps around just to hold that where I want it. Okay, so hold across the, the little circle, a little loop you've made, then take that tail of wire and wrap it round just a couple of times to get you started. Okay, so now I've got that attached, I can then add on my gemstones. So it's up to you how many you add. I'm going to say um, go for an odd number. It's always nice. I always find it's nice to have, with, especially with these larger stones, it's nice to have a middle. Um, so just for the sake of the demo, I'm just going to use three of my strand of my stones. So what I'm going to do is, you know, try and graduate them, have a larger one at the centre and a smaller one either side. So mem remember to use your spaces with this. And if you are going all stone and silver, remember those spaces need to be stone and silver as well. And because we're going to cover these with wire work, um, they could be a crimp tube or they could even be a seed bead just an element in there just to give you a bit of space, okay? Right, and then at this end, I'm then going to repeat what I did the other end so I've got that attached into my slider bracelet. So first off, I'm going to give myself a bit of space. So pop your um, the tip of your um, pliers, your flat pliers, uh, or chain those pliers into position above the, you know, on top of that last bead, and then bend that wire over um, to about a 90 degree angle and then start to create your loop from there. So I'm then going to create my loop. Now I always do this before I put it in into, start that loop off before I put it into the connector the other side because then I can keep that nice round shape. Okay, and it just, it's little things like that that really help everything um, stay sort of cohesive and, and look professional. So start the loop first, then pop that into the connection point on the other side of the bracelet. Then take your flat nose pliers uh, or chain nose pliers, hold across where the, the loop sort of crosses itself and then wrap a couple of wraps to give that, that neck again on that side. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, I'm gonna open this bracelet right out so I've got plenty of room to work. And then I'm just going to sort of zigzag or wrap these um, wires around and in between each of my peridot. So I'm gonna take this one first, I'm gonna go over, and I'm not pulling too tight, no tension, just taking it over the stone and in between, over the top of those spacer beads, okay? So I've gone that way with that one. I'm gonna take the other, the other one from the other side, and I'm gonna go along again the same. So these may be going in the same direction, they may cross over, it doesn't matter. Um, because one way they'll go one direction, when you come back the other, it'll go the other direction, so you get this lovely crisscrossing. So these are sort of running parallel to the previous wraps. So wrapping round, again, no tension, you see I'm just placing it round, okay? So that's one's wrapped around to that way now. So then we're gonna go back to this side, and we're gonna come back along, and I'm gonna try and get those wires to all sit sort of on top so that they cross over the gemstone, over the wires that came before. So wrapping this around, again, placing it over, not pulling it, just placing it over in between each, each bead. And you'll find that those little spaces sort of disappear underneath 
but they're just giving you that access to go round and round. Okay, so cross that one, and then we'll take the other strand from the other side, and we'll come back along again. So placing it round, trying to get those crosses to sit sort of all sort of on one side of the gem, so it looks kind of even. Back to the other side, and then we're just going to finish these 0.4 wires off by taking it around just underneath that wrap loop you created and snipping off the tails. So we just snip off. Now these look great, you know, I've used the gemstones individually, but the ones I've got left, I've put all in a bag and it's like a little tiny high-end bead scoop now. Oh my gosh, so, you know, what I could a collection, do yeah. A multi-gem um, sliders as well. You don't need to, you don't need to have, um, you know, them all the same. So that is just um, one nice, simple little technique. It makes it a bit, bit of a modern edge, you know, with that, that sort of wire. Yeah, it's lovely. Top. And then, of course, you just pull the ends, and that's an adjustable bracelet. An adjustable sterling silver natural genuine gemstone bracelet. Look, I mean, look at that gem. That's it's just really pretty and really wearable, isn't it? Very giftable. Love that, absolutely love that. And you could do that with all, obviously all the stones. Yeah, all the stones. And you don't need to be a wire worker to do that. You know, it's, it's, a, very, it's a very nice, simple, it's a great introduction to using wire, actually. Yeah, look, yeah. look at them. You almost get a braid across the top yeah, of those. it's just crisscrosses, you know, little kisses even. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. Um, they are getting quite limited now, those kits. Are we surprised? Are we surprised? No. Unbelievable. I can't there's any left. No, well, there's only a handful of them left now. And again, with the with, with the quality of the stones, both kits now, and I'm not just talking about the Grand Digerite exclusive kit, I'm talking about the kit with the opal and, and the tourmaline and the tanzanite and the Grand Digerite, um, of course. Because of the nature, the calibre of those gemstones, that's going straight on your straight wrist. On straight wrist. on your wrist. Um, most of us would would say yeah it needs to have a precious metal mm -hmm. well i've got the most beautiful chain to show you is that rose gold yes plated chain yes on a reel yes have we My, ever done that um i think this is the first we've had it for a, a little for a little while not long oh, wow it's box chain in rose gold 925 sterling silver oh yeah we've done rose gold necklaces I've, I've never seen I it. I think this the is the first time we've actually had it on a on a reel. Oh. Isn't it beautiful? It is absolutely gorgeous. Why do you get excited over the fact that this is on a reel? Go on, tell. It's because I can create the whatever length uh, piece I want, or I can have wraparound pieces. I love long line necklaces. Yeah. Um, and it, you know, you might as well have a meter because you can then chop it into two necklaces and a bracelet. One long necklace, just versatile and useful well you'd have to buy to make a suite of exclusive all of the same yeah you have to be watching pretty much every single day to make sure that you can get the say the, the rose bracelet. gold bracelet rose gold necklace yeah. the rose gold you do you know what i mean yeah um you've got a meter length that you could make that suite of jewelry straight and and still have surplus yes um and by the way we've also got the silver color mm. coming up how many do we have of these then, Neary? 150. A box chain is incredibly strong. Yeah, solid 925 sterling silver. Not, talking, not, not base metal. Mm. 2.4 grams. Box chains are very strong and you get this really lovely movement from it as well. Um, but because you've got, instead of actually having just a tiny area, um, which is sort of in contact, link to link, you've actually got almost this. Yeah. Do you see where I'm coming from? Instead of that, you've got this. So very, very strong. You get wonderful fluidity from them as well. Let me just open and, this and, up. And luster, because it creates like a sheet, um, because it's such flat sides. So you get a lovely luster from it too. So it's great for like cascade earrings, um, you know, anything oh, where you can create a tassel that is absolutely gorgeous for that. Amazing. Oh, we've got a question saying, I don't know if you know the answer to this, Gemma. Is, is it bead chain? What does that, I don't know that. As in, can you thread beads directly onto it? Or I don't know what that means. No, I, I think I know. I think I know what you mean. I think bead chain is like a very flat, almost like a braid, 
rather than a, than a link. It, it, is a, it is a link, but it's flat and it does go through beads. Oh, okay. Some, some beads, you could take you that can't... through because it would be fine enough if the drill hole's big enough. But no, it's, I don't think it's specifically a bead chain. No, um, thank you, Gem. I'm glad you knew the answer. 19.99. Goodness me, not your price. Oh, wow. Not your price. We've got 150 of these available. And again, I have also got the silver colour in that same box chain. So we'll be doing that back to back. Um, in 24 seconds, we're going even lower, and it's not just by a little bit either. Uh, you could, uh, I've seen okay. rose gold. In fact, look at the, you know the, this ring that Claire made me. You yeah. can solder it. Yeah. You can solder it, and you can't see the solder. Um, it's t I mean, you, yes, if you went under magnification. It's such that it's the tight. You would need the tiniest, tiniest like amount of silver, so you you don't see it. You can, you know. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's not, not just because it's a great prize, but because it's it's rose, it's it's unusual to to see it like this. Um, you can solder this with a box yeah. chain. You could probably use things like your featherweights. Yeah, I, can, I mean, can I have a closer look? Yeah, I, well, if I pass you that yeah, one, I can have a look yeah, at the size um, of it. Because the... you do, uh, you are, uh, those people are asking, how am I going to finish this? It's a good question. Um, if you do soldering, not a problem whatsoever. Yeah. If you want to do cold, uh, cold soldering, then um, yeah, you can possibly get some of your finer gauges of wire running through the actual box chain That's itself. Funny your featherweights, etc. cetera. 9 99 I've got 150 of these and people are all over it. Well done, lovely jewelry maker viewers. Uh, Lavinia, Hilda, hello to you, Beverly, Gabrielle, hello to you, Nicolette, Liz, Margaret, London, Isle of Man, uh, Fife, hello to you, Linda, hello to you, Karen in Georgia, Pam in County Atrium, Carolyn in Durham. Hello to you all. 9 99 yes, it is precious 925 sterling silver. We're not talking about your base metal here and you get a full metre long length. So um, let's do the silver. Sorry. That's okay. Um, I think you can get a 0 0.25, but you'll probably want um, one of the handy andies, you know, um, to, to really have get in and have a look. Handy andy. So, yeah, a handy andy. He look, yeah, he, he looks a little bit like uh, Johnny Five, he's alive. He does. He looks a little bit like him. I'm going to go straight down to it. It's like an extra pair of hands, basically. How are we going even lower? Do you know what I would do with these? Tassels. Do you know a bead cord, a bead ends, a uh, ribbon cord ends yeah. that print, pinch like little, yeah. like little crocodiles? I would cut lots of lengths of this, <gasps> crimp it all into the top of one of those and have some really lush earrings. Well, what about like the bead caps? Yeah, you could just glue a load of it just glue a load in a bead yeah. cap? Ma amazing for tassels. Oh, yes. that would be absolutely beautiful. I hope I've got quantity of these then. <clears throat> No, 30 left. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. I'm going to leave that with you because I've still got lots to squeeze in. You are 15 minutes away from a gemstone launch, and that's across the entire partnership. Very excited about that. Your gem expert, uh, Dave Troth, is going to be stepping into the studio for that. So the launch of Kyanite Ruby, which is just incredible. Um, okay, I love this make. I believe, I might be wrong, was this kit put together as part of the Tucson event? Oh, look at that, little, little part. Oh, it's cute. gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So, I know, I know. I was going to say, Neri, I've never seen this. Did, were you about to complain that you didn't, you didn't, you don't get, you don't get these new goodies? You're the only one that's played. <laughs> oh my goodness, Neary, they're lovely, aren't they? Seriously? That's a beautiful amount of sterling silver, genuine 925 sterling silver. I mean, you've got enough within the actual, I don't know what to call this. Oh, and it comes with a big, uh, with a beautiful pochette. Mm. So what would we call that? But basically, you do this. You do that. You secure your turquoise into your heart. Bezel cup, is that probably yeah, the best description? Yeah, I'd say it was a bezel. You've got your 925 slider bracelet. Right, wait, do you, know, do you know, something's just dawned on me. How much do we, how much did we launch slider bracelets for? 22.99. 24.95. Back in 2017. 
£24.95. Mm. I know that because I launched them. We're about to beat that price tag and you've got a bigger amount of sterling silver and you've got genuine turquoise. Uh, and a specialist cut. I mean, that's, yeah. that's a very specialist cut, isn't it? It's not, you know, you, you can see cabochons and rounds and ovals, pear drops, but a heart shape. It's so Tiffany's. Mm, it's so awesome. Tiffany's and Co. Literally glue, you, glue your turquoise into the sterling silver heart uh, bezel cup. You've got a slider bracelet there as well of sterling silver, all for £20. And you also get the sterling silver jump rings alongside. Mm. That's madness. It's actual madness. So the finished piece of jewellery is going to look... I mean, you can imagine it with the jump rings, can't you? Yeah. Something like that. What a deal. Look how gorgeous that is. It's so Tiffany's and co. £20. Mate, it's amazing. Amazing value. Should you just say, mate? Is that what you just said? <laughs> no, I mate. didn't. I didn't. It's amazing. I think I no, forgot like, to say mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. It's amazing. It is amazing, though, <laughs> isn't it, mate? Stay where you are um, on the phone lines, mate. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, I now let's say, bring mate. you. Okay, I really didn't. Mate. <laughs> Got where I was. <sighs> Mate, do you know what is amazing? <laughs> Nil Amani. Yeah. I've got Nil Amani up next. Um, Neary oh, wow. News. So I, I do have a PowerPoint for this, which I'm just going to sort of show alongside in the background. I, our, web, our sister channel um, wrote, did a write-up on Nil Amani, only because it causes a bit of confusion what is Nil Amani. Um, so are you able to find that for me? He's going to have a little look. Um, it's a very rare form of kyanite. Nilamani is a rare form of kyanite found in the, uh, in, in the heights of uh, the ne uh, Nepalese mountains. Completely and utterly natural. Totally and utterly natural. Now, the actual colour itself, um, here we go. Let's read that. He goes, what is Nilamani? Sapphire is the most valuable and significant blue gemstone. I think most of us would agree with that. Um, it mostly comprises of aluminum oxide with follow, uh, with follow measures um, of components. For example, iron, titanium, chromium, chromium, vanadium, or magnesium. It is an entirely alluring gemstone because of the phenomenal shading, hardness, toughness, and shine. In the gem trade, sapphire with no color prefix alludes to the blue variety of the mineral corundum. Blue sapphire is otherwise called Nilamani gemstones or Nilam stone. Its name originates from uh, Greek sapphiros, um, got from the Hebrew sapphire, which signifies blue. It is a precious blue hue gemstone um, of the corundum mineral. Now, this is not sapphire. However, locals refer to this as Nilamani, uh, Nilamani which literally translates um, to the blue stone. And what they're alluding to is the fact that it rivals the finest blue sapphires that have ever existed, it existed the Kashmir sapphire. So it's the heir to the Kashmir sapphire. Now, this, again, is no longer being mined. So what Nilamani we actually have within, uh, within our vault, that's not just here at Jewelry Maker, that's across the entire Gemporia partnership. That's it. There won't be any more. One of the most... A treacherous and also exciting, I should imagine, um, trips that our, our, our team ever embarked on was to source this beautiful gemstone that they heard on the grapevine in the background in the background, um, that there was this new uh, new kid on the block that had some of the most exemplary of colour. It's a very rare form of kyanite that locals refer to. Not us. I need to point that out because it's been mentioned a couple of different times. It's not Gemporia that have named this Nilamani. It's the locals that have named this Nilamani. 49.99. Here he is. Hi, Dave. We have exciting news for Nilamani. Uh, Krishna and team have resumed mining operations for Nilamani. It wasn't financially viable. Oh, OK. This is news to me as well. It wasn't financially viable uh, before because the yields were so low. But we are going to launch the trade world at Tucson in 2022. As you know, this material has never reached the trade. That's because we bought the entire quantity. Um, it was sent... Um, 
it was sent uh, to Singapore in the 90s and sold as Sapphire, but this has never been seen at trade shows. We are hoping to show the footage to your team filmed on plasma around our booth. How amazing is that? So, now, I didn't see Neil Amani, but bear in mind that would, it would be only that person that would be bringing Neil Amani. It may well have completely sold out. I don't know. There were empty booths for that reason, sold out on the first day. But we purchased that first parcel, and that's how you get Nilamani deals with us. £20, 19.99. Again, that's the price of your Nilamani at a, at a reduction, or that's the price of your 925 sterling silver slider bracelet. The fact that you're getting both, £10 each, Jen. That, that is amazing, isn't it? I mean, that's such a long strand. Like, you can do the slider bracelet and still have pretty much a strand left. Yeah, of Nilamani. <laughs> yes. Of I mean, Nilamani. That's such a beautiful colour, that. And the silver, the silver in it, you know, that it almost looks like there's silver inside twinkling out of the Nilamani. That's what I love about... Um, it's such a beautiful I blue. Kyanite. I do love kyanite. Well, it's one of my favourite of blue gemstones yeah, out there. Nilamani has got that. Like I said, it's, it's, it is that cashmere air. Yeah. Um, if you go on to our Gemporia Learning Library, there's a wonderful write-up which kind of explains what Nilamani is or so tells the story of its discovery when uh, Dave went uh, alongside with Steve Bennett and it was uh, literally in the, in, 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 the, in the mountains, the Nepalese mountains. They had... Uh, it's a fabulous story about... Uh, a sort of a goat and a, a dog that literally used to protect the, the the community mining this gemstone because there's a very real risk of things like tigers yeah. um unbelievable that you're getting that level of rarity for 19.99 the final six that we have in the entire vault now no um eight o'clock we didn't have the chance to play everything so should we do some more beautiful chains shall we it's 20, 20 <laughs> sterling silver oh, chains. Wow. Should we do it now? So how often do we run out of chains? As jewellery makers, you know, you might do sea beaded pendants. Mm. You might do one like, like, like Gemma, a, a beautiful yeah. little wire work pendant. You might be creating, you might buy fully fledged pendants and just want something to suspend it from. We yeah. need chains. It's, it's bread and butter. And guess what? It's also a star bike. If you have a little look somewhere under, maybe it's probably under Ross's name. Mm. I've done some price comparisons of sterling silver chains in the past. Because the bullion market is the bullion market, right? We don't have a huge amount of influence to that. We can't, um, we, we can negotiate with gemstones. That's different. We can buy uh, parcels of this, 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 mm. and this. Um, but... Silver or gold or platinum, the price is the price. And it changes on a daily, if not hourly, if not minute, a minute uh, uh, basis. But so the only thing that I've put together in the past is like, if you were to pop along, never mind your Gucci, never mind your, your, your Tiffany's and Co. Never mind none of those. That's it, Ross. If you were to pop along to um, literally our high street jewelers. Now, ones that are on most high streets, like Samuel's, for example. And you were to look for like for like so here it is 925 sterling silver this is 20 inches me not much difference um this isn't diamond cut ours is but um curb chain 34 pounds and 99 pence now i'm obviously not making a direct comparison because they are slightly different but would we all agree 34.99 is something that yeah. should be our expectations shouldn't yeah, it that's yeah that's about right isn't it for well for and this is it that's a high street you know price let's price. go to another uh, another um retailer argos yeah how awesome is that argos delivering on the savings 11 pounds wow. 99 for a lovely sterling silver chain almost ex exactly the same as what you're about to see or maybe, and I thought, right, okay, see if I can beat that. Wow. Here we go, online. This is online, sterling silver. Again, very similar to what you're about to see, £9.45. I was like, that's good. That's really good. It's a really good deal. I found one other. I found another. eBay. £6.05. 
And yeah, you can select whichever length you want, but for the 20 inch, which is what I was researching at the time, six pound and five pence. All amazing. Yes, that is amazing. So let's take the lowest price tag that I could find, times it by, how many chains do you get? 20. So that means this, this T-bar, if I was to buy the equivalent quantity, would be... 120 pounds. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? It's not bad. But that's still a lot of money. How about we beat that price tag? Not just buy a little bit. Look at the split pay as well. You've got split pay on it. How about if we, we took your sterling silver chains under five pounds? Under five pounds. The bullion market is the bullion market. You know, if you, were to, if you want to buy, get wholesale prices, more often than not, you have to buy quantities. More often than not, you might have to buy, a, I don't know, 50, 100. I'm not entirely sure. But we are bringing you sterling silver, precious sterling silver, diamond cut no less at wholesale prices for this amazing pack of 20. When... When you say, yeah, uh, uh, you know, one pound five pence per chain, but when it's 20 chains, that's, that's 20 quid. That's 20 pounds, that's a big reduction. Now I know we've done sterling silver deals before, and I can't remember what we're taking this to. There are 57 of these available. If, 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 we were to stop at 79.99 we should and get it home for 39.99 that's working out at what four pounds mm. per diamond cut chain diamond cut dc as it says on our graphics that makes a difference because it is quite literally cut with a diamond cutting wheel which means you get amazing luster you know there's such a difference between one chain and the next isn't it i mean if you want if if i said never mind gucci never mind tiffany's and cope you can't deny they do amazing quality designs yeah. um incredible but you pay for it you pay for it you're getting that level of luxury not even at four pounds per chain this frankly is absolutely ridiculous it's something Something that we absolutely need. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, especially got, I've got fairs and things coming up. And, you know, oh, gem and uh, stalls. And I, yeah, this would definitely be something. Twenty I do. inch. Do you find a twenty inch is more popular than eighteen? Um, I prefer twenty inch. Um, I, I don't know. I prefer shorter, so I prefer sixteen or eighteen. I prefer I prefer eighteen or twenty. Isn't yeah, that funny? Yeah. Um, because it kind of sits mid decolletage. Yeah. What are these? That these, these are, are 18, 18 which is the most most requested of I all the sizes. For me, that's if I ask somebody, they say, oh, about an 18 inch. Yes, yeah, 18 inches, which will sit about here. Yours is yeah. an 18 inch, for example, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that you're wearing right now. 69 pounds and 99 pence, which is working out at what? Three pounds 50 per diamond cut. 925 sterling silver chain. Next time that you're in your local uh, sort of uh, shopping mall or centre or high street, pop a look. Exactly. That's exactly what I was about to say there, Tom. If you pop into H&M, you pop into Topshop, you pop into Marks and Spencers, you pop into any of those brands, Dorothy Perkins, try and find a base metal chain at £3.50. You're, you're probably not going to. It's, no. no. 925 sterling silver. So eBay, we found a lovely sterling silver chain, six pound five p. Awesome deal. Three pound fifty for you today. For the the selection of twenty, and it's something that you will use time and time and time again. Um, stay where you are. Make sure you do check out those. Check out those baskets, Lorna, Kim, Hampshire, uh, Karen, Pat, ha and, uh, maker in, another maker in Hampshire, Leslie, Beverly, Liz, new customer, Hazel. You're all there on those phone lines. Make sure you check them out. It's a no-brainer. It's bread and butter, isn't it, to yeah, us? Absolutely. It's like your head pins and your jump rings. Yeah, these are things you just need to have in your stash. And, you know, even if you've got them to offer, like you sell pendants, would you like a chain to go with it? It will yeah. cost you. I mean, you can pass on those savings. You can Even say, if you said £10. You say it's £10 to add a, add a sterling silver or £6 for a leather cord. or yeah. You know, they can take, take their pick, but having the option is brilliant. 
Amazing. Um, Gemma, thank you. You're popping back though, aren't yes, you, for the I'll masterclass? Yes, I'll be back at 12. So you're yeah. going to have a lovely, a lovely uh, meeting I'm right going to have now. a meeting about a few tickets. Wow, very okay. exciting. But do not go anywhere because we have a very, very, very exciting gemstone launch happening this morning. It's, it's never been seen across the entire partnership. And of course, your gem expert, Dave Troth, is stepping in this, to the studio um, to bring this to you. What an opportunity for collectors and connoisseurs. We'll return after this. guest designer Alison Sarri here just to give you the heads up of what's coming up on this Saturday we've got in the nine o'clock hour going back to my roots we've got some cabochons and wire I can't wait it's going to be fabulous tune in and see what I do and then in the 12 o'clock we've got some pearls and the most amazing class so tune in on Saturday to see what I make Jewelrymaker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelrymaker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelrymaker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hi, guest designer Alison Sarri here. Just to give you the heads up of what's coming up on this Saturday, we've got in the nine o'clock hour, going back to my roots, we've got some cabochons and wire. I can't wait, it's gonna be fabulous. Tune in and see what I do. And then in the 12 o'clock, we've got some pearls and the most amazing class. So tune in on Saturday to see what I make.
Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. What an opportunity for the collectors amongst us. A brand new gemstone opportunity that we've never seen before. And I can think of no better person to launch us to us today than Dave Troth. Thank you so much, Al. This is something that I'm really, really excited about. You know, we've, uh, myself and Jake have been on a real journey with this gemstone. It's an acquisition that we made not too long ago. Um, and we've done essentially kind of like detective work to find out where this material is from. Now, um, in, in the gallery there, where you've got all the information for the gemstones, it'll tell us that it's either from Brazil or Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. What we're about to divulge to everyone who's tuned in this morning, and I'm going to let you know before we bring any graphics in where these are from, we're going to go through it, is because once you hear this, now the quantities are tiny, they're minute, we're not talking like 200s, we're talking 70s and 80s. Uh, so how, many, how, many, how many strands do we have? Like six, uh, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes. Right, okay. Seven. And you asked me before we came live, have we done this next door on Gemporia? Yeah. No, this is a one parcel, very small, extremely limited. Wow. Th this is material now. I'm not talking about value or price. I'm talking about the locality. I'm talking about I'm talking to collectors right now. Mm -hmm. what, what you're about to find out, there will be collectors that I know 100% that will tune in that will buy seven or eight to 10 strands of each of these because of the price that we're able to do, which is incredible. But this material that I am bringing you is mined out. It's a one locality discovery. And you only find this material, re and I've done my research, is the likes of Bonhams now. Wow. So it is okay. that kind of material. I'm okay. gonna show you, look, you know, we look at these, these, these Bonhams, sorry guys, we look at these Bonhams catalogs. This is where you go to find this material today. Okay. It has been mined for, for 10 or 15 years. It was a new locality in the early 2000s, new discovery, right. um, that, that found a combination of ruby growing in Kainai, and then it's completely disappeared. Now, a lot of it was carved into ornate carvings, ornate kind of decorative bowls to, to get the ruby running through it. Um, a lot of it was actually removed from the Kainai because of how important this ruby is historically. I mean, the, the actual ruby deposit where this location comes from goes back over a thousand years wow. and is in the equivalent of crown jewels. Okay, so um, we are going to get this change before it comes out. Yeah, you can show me that if you want, Tom. This is the, the, the locations on these, okay? This is what came through and this is why we did some digging. Now, because it was mined so long ago, the, the details are, you know, really, really wavy. Okay? Yes, yeah, yeah. The, the, the gentleman that we dealt with, didn't have 100% knowledge. And I said, look, I need to know where these are from. I need to know where these are from. So I went back to him and he had to go back to his father. And I've got a document here, okay? I've got a document here because this is how important we take it that tells us exactly where it's from. It tells wow. us exactly where it's from. We're gonna have it all changed so you get the, the correct information. All certified. All certified. And this is, you know, the, the, he's had to go to his father, who's retired, by the way, uh -huh. and ask him where he got this from. This changes everything. And we don't, I wish we had enough to do next door, yeah. but we don't. So you've got everything. So if, yeah, he, he, Tom's telling me they're all Brazilian, but they're not. I just want you to know that. Now, if you give me back my, um, my presentation, I'll show you, and I know it's not Brazilian because you don't get ruby from Brazil. Okay, there's been like mineral occurrences in Mato Grosso, which is on the border with Bolivia, um, of, of rubies that look like this. That's the only location for ruby in the whole of Brazil. It's the only location. Right. What you've actually got, and this is the document that is signed 
by the gentleman. It's really specific. Usually we just have an origin like that, like Brazil, yeah. Sri Lanka, you know. That is literally a full document. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. Right, South India, okay? Now, to you right now, oh, it might not be that important. You might think, okay, cool. Right, now, I'm going to close this up. I'm going to show you why this is important. Before we open the graphics, nothing's available for pre-order, is it, Tom? No. Because genuinely, like I said, the quantities we have today are really small. Yes. We bring you 200 jades, 300 jades, same with turquoise, laramar, aquapraise, 70 or 80 of these strands. And by the way, there is no more that exists. And I'm not, uh, like I said, again, I'm not talking about price. You know, if you said, okay, well, if you had $10,000, can we get it? It's the only guy I've ever met who has it. Well, I've and never he has even nothing, heard of it before. But he has nothing now. He has nothing. I reached out to him. Wow. Because I said, look, now we know this information, how important this is. This is, you know, really recent information. I said, can we get any more? Because I, this is really exciting now. Now we know the actual story of this mm. gemstone. Can we get more? It would be huge on Gemporia. Yeah. Very successful. And he said, I'm sorry, that's all I've got. My dad bought it. There is no mining in this area anymore. This is the material I'm going to show you now. This is what Oh, wow. Okay, this is the only location it's ever existed. Okay, that sold for $6,875 in 2016, by the way. Um, ruby and kyanite bowl. Okay, look, listen to the lot details for this. Mysore, India. Okay, this is the location. From a new source in the mountains of India. This is back in 2016. This highly unusual bowl has richly contrasting colors of purplish red ruby and teal blue kyanite. Given the hardness of ruby on the mauve scale of 9, 10, carving a bowl is a particularly difficult task. The present bowl is an impressive due to its heft, large size, well-carved, slightly conical shape and depth. Now, it's, it's difficult because we know... In comparison, kyanite has dual hardness. Yeah. Ruby is extremely hard. So you're, you're dealing with two completely unfathomable minerals. You're using different equipment to carve That's that bowl. That's a really good and point. It's, but it's the same with what we have here. I mean, you've got heart shapes, you've got teardrop shapes, you've yeah. got facets. All of this is extremely difficult to do. And it's only ever been, been available, really, in the likes of, of the auction houses. And a lot, of, uh, you know, a lot of this material, when I spoke to the gentleman, finally got to the bottom of it, his dad bought a lot of this material at the beginning of the, the early 2000s. And a lot of it, they literally removed the rubies from the kyanite. Because wow. the kyanite's soft in comparison. They literally clip out the rubies. Mysore ruby, like I said, the actual ruby deposit in Mysore, although that's a new locality in a hill there, mm. the rubies from there have like a thousand year history. Wow. Some of them are they're, they're in the world famous Altani collection. Mm -hmm. The Marahajas got all their rubies from there. So a lot of them will be falsely certified as like East African rubies mm. because of the quality of them, like Madagascan or Tanzanian rubies. And you see there's another one here. This is in Fuchite. This was in 2006. This is when this deposit first started producing. And this is the, many of this material, they would just clip those rubies out. So there was like trapiche rubies, like flat rubies almost, yeah. without like a, a coulee on them. And they say, from a new source, again, in the mountains of India, the highly unusual bowl has richly contrasting colours of purplish red and green fuchsia at this time with white calcite. The material is particularly difficult to polish as the bowl due to the varying hardness of the softer calcite and the significantly harder ruby. And then they, um, they talk about how, how long you have to plan in the, in the lapidary to be able to do something like this. Yeah, because it's... it's they can't just approach it like, you, you know... I'm going to do one, a bowl. Yeah, it's, it's working with one... And, and the same with what you've got here. Yeah. Oh, we're going to do several hearts on a strand. This is truly for mineral collectors right now. It is beautiful. You can create jewellery out of it. But as, as, um, as, as a rarity, as an oddity, as a mm. curiosity, this, I'm talking just to mineral collectors right now. Yeah. There isn't a deposit like this that exists today. That's why I went back and went, it's not Brazil. It's not Sri Lanka. No matter what it says or what this gentleman thinks, we need to find out. I called him. We, we know him quite well. We work with him. And, and I said to him, this isn't right. You know, there is, you're, not, you're not getting rubies from Brazil. You're certainly not getting rubies in kyanite. Who bought it? I asked him directly, who bought it? You didn't buy it because you'd know. And he said, my father bought it, but he's retired. And I said, well, can you reach out to him? And we've had this for... So we need we've to had this material. We're going to change it. We've yeah. had this material in the building for a couple of months. Mm -hmm. And it's, I said, we're not going to bring it to your screens until we absolutely 100% categorically know what's going on with this material. Yeah. Finally, we got the word this week. And um, we are dealing with something that is extraordinary, you know, truly extraordinary. And you can see, this is when they would... You know, this is the world-famous rubies that we're talking about, by the way. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're it, talking about a carved ruby Ganesh. This is from Mysore in India. And what's interesting is, even though it's... This is in Bonhams, right? Which is, you know, we, we're... 
anal about the information that we need. We want to be right. We want to be, you know, we want to have that important information ready for everyone. And Bonhams even more so. And Bonhams are putting in this auction two contradicting statements. Okay, so they spoke to the vendor that is. This was last year, like you know, six months ago, seventh of December last year, in Los Angeles. They got this and they spoke to the vendor, the private seller who gave them this. And he said, look, it's from Mysore, India. But look, Mysore, India, you can see it at the top, yeah? Yeah. Now look at the second paragraph, accompanied by a Swiss report dated May 30th, 2014, stating that the 862 grams purple red ruby carving is from East Africa. The labs themselves, this material is so, the, the actual ruby itself is so high grade and they don't have any frames of reference because that's what labs do. So when, when labs get... Um, a stone sent to them for an origin report, particularly. Yeah. They can tell if it's been heated or not. That's never disputed. They have, they have spectrometry. Yeah. They have d different information for that. But when they're looking for a location, they have to have reference samples, okay? Because they're cross-sectioning cross those with inclusions. Mm -hmm. And so they'll have, in, I don't know, this Swiss lab, I'm sure they'll have hundreds of East African rubies in, in their vault. They'll have hundreds of Burmese rubies. Yep. They'll have hundreds of uh, Greenland rubies. And the reason they've got those hundreds, and they don't have to be gem quality, is, is for the frames of reference for the inclusions. Okay. okay? So then they can, when they get a sample in, they go, right, we know it's not heated. We know it's a ruby. They can tell it's corundum. They go, right, where's it from? And that's where the detective work comes in. And they go, well, it's got this inclusion. It's got that inclusion. I'm talking right, right, right. You, you might not even see it with the naked eye. They're going into the stone with mm. their equipment. And then they're cross-referencing that with the other ruby samples they have in their vault. Because this was such a rare deposit, there is no, there is no frames of reference. Many labs don't have Mysore ruby. A lot of it exists, like I said, in old collections that are like 500 years old, 300 years old. Not modern lapidary, not round brilliance. I'm talking old carvings wow. that sit in bejeweled uh, daggers, that, that sit in you know, the Ganesh carvings that are centuries old, that, that were of extreme importance. And then all of a sudden, you know, at the start of uh, the millennium, essentially, in the year 2000, this new locality in a mountain in the same area in Mysore, India, which is in South India, which is exactly where yours are from today, occurred in kyanite and fuchsia and calcite in different minerals. And many, many uh, gem merchants at the time would just remove the rubies. Now, they'd either remove them and they'd be small and they'd cut them into melee stones, or they'd remove large ones and, and carve them into wonderful carvings, intricate carvings. This is not Burmese ruby. This is not uh, East African ruby. This is a very important ruby that you've probably never been offered before. We're talking about the South Indian ruby of the, the Mysore deposit. And it's combined with an extremely rare mineral, which is a teal kyanite. Wow. And like I said, we have lots of collectors. There are collectors that want something pretty, collectors that want something valuable and expensive. And then there are collectors that are tuned in that solely want something rare. Absolutely. I mean, and this is one of the rarest occurrences that has ever existed, ever existed. And the, these, these uh, you know, beautiful pieces end up in the likes of the Bonhams auction houses. They are disputed by the labs. You have to do this detective work. Like I said, as soon as, soon as I, I showed that document from the vendor's father who said, no, no, these are South Indian, there's a lot of people right now, I don't wear an earpiece, that would be trying to get through on the phone lines. Mm -hmm. Once these are gone, these are gone. They're irreplaceable at any price because they just don't exist. I've never found a vendor that has it. There is one vendor that I know that has offered it us. Is the gentleman that I spoke to this week, and he's got no more. This is it. Even, even if we, you know, I said, look, now you can charge me a premium because we know it's a very important source historically. And he said, I'd love to, but I don't have any more. Like my dad bought that. I've never been offered it. He thought it was Brazilian. Wow. He thought it was Brazilian. He had no idea. You know, he has thousands of carats of all different gemstones in his vault. He's a cutting house. And he had to go and get his dad out of retirement to tell him where they acquired these from. And it was a South Indian deposit. And now today at the likes of the Bonhams Auction Houses. Now, this is extremely important. This was last year. Okay, now so they're selling single beads from this deposit because it has disappeared. It has disappeared. You can see there, just above the phone number, Mysore, India. So the ruby deposit uh, is, is no Everything's longer. Everything's gone. The ruby wow. deposit's gone. The kyanite deposit's gone. From this legendary South Indian location, this was 2021 in Hong Kong. Now it is so rare that they are selling beads. Just single bead. It's a drilled bead. Yeah. Not, not transparent. That's how it, and that's in Bonhams. One and I just want you to understand where yours is from. Here it is, ruby with kyanite, yeah, completely natural.
purplish red as we know the, the Mysore ruby is, yeah. in this wonderful kyanite from this legendary South Indian deposit, which is in Mysore. That's in the location. Incredible. Yeah, I, I mean, mean to the, fact, the fact that even your, uh, your actual laboratories yeah, have no point of reference. Swiss laboratories as well, the best in the world. They're like East African. And even Bonham's disputes that, I guess. It's Mysore, India, but there is a, it's reported with a lab result that yeah. says it's East African. This is just truly, truly... Often I bring you great deals, extremely rare gemstones, which is fantastic. Nothing, in terms of just rarity, this is rare as it gets. Do you know, you said it, something a few moments ago, Dave, and you said about people, some people buy for beauty, some yeah. people will buy for price and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Um, I often think, for example, this is just me being, uh, this is me being completely honest. I don't think Grand Didgerite is the most beautiful stone. No. However, we know its rarity and yeah. we know how valuable it is. But there, there's a gemstone called uh, Painite which is mm -hmm. probably the rarest gemstone in the world today. And it's like, aesthetically, it's not the most pretty. It's a tiny brown stone. Yeah. Um, it's, there's been, I think, one faceted gemstone that exists. That's wow. it. That's how rare it is. And because of the level of expense needed to, to find even just fastable stones, which the only one exists, it, would, it will never be prevalent. It will never be around. It is wow. ultra rare. This is it. This is what we're talking about. When you're talking about extreme rarity, there hasn't been a rare gemstone that I've dealt with. No. There's been gemstones that have a lot more demand. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's gemstones that don't have enough supply history. to meet demand. But this has an incredible history. It's like, you're right, though, jade goes back you know, some 4,000 years. But this has like a 1,000-year history of its own. A very different part of the world. Yeah. Um, in, 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 in South Asia, mm -hmm. in India, where it is the, the jewels of the Marahashas. You know, the Mysore yeah. ruby is the Burmese ruby of that part of the world. Incredible though, that, and you've, you've said about sort of faceting, um, how difficult it is. Ky we all know that kyanite is, is, is... It's a soft gemstone. A in, soft in re gemstone. Re re when we're talking relatively about gemstones. Yeah. This is a soft gemstone. So to have that formation yeah. with yeah. ruby... And then to work with it, and then to carve this period. Like I said, this gentleman, this is a cutting house that we did. Yeah. It's a cutting house. They are gem merchants as well, they're gem dealers. But it was his father that... You know, bought this in South India um, almost 20 years ago now. Almost wow. 20 years ago now. And it doesn't sound that long ago, the year 2000, but it is, you know, 22 years yeah. ago. And this is when that material is. And it kind of disappeared in about 2006. It's just gone. You won't find this again. And that's the level of, of, of detail we've gone into to find out how important this is. It's not Brazilian. So that is going to be changed. It's not Sri Lankan. It's not, it's not East African. This is that South Indian Mysore ruby with kyanite, and it's like a teal kyanite that you're getting today. Very limited, I'm going to do some incredible deals. And, wow. and I cannot get this again. Uh, I can't get it at a higher price, I can't question. get it at a lower price. I can't get it again because the only gentleman that, that ever bought this is retired, and that material just simply doesn't exist. You look at Mysore Ruby, there's a reason what that these pieces are in the Bonhams auction houses. It's just not coming out of the ground. No. Um, so this is a one off It's just a one-time, very small showcase that we're doing for you. We've been holding this material in, in the UK for two months. It's come over from Jaipur, excited about it. And when I started doing some research into it, I was like, it's not, there's no way this is Brazilian. There's no way on earth. Yeah, just and so we reached out to them and, and uh, as, you know, he said, my dad's retired. He lives in a different part of the country now. And I said, I'll wait, I'll wait. I just want to know what we're dealing with. It's our only frame of reference for this material is that legendary location that existed um, at the turn of the millennium that, that you know, is in the Bonhams auction houses. This is for the true collectors right now. If you want Absolutely. something that no one else has, this is it. Take a look at this, these, these heart cuts that you just saw there. Oh my word. These are sublime. Now, they are heart cuts, but without the cleave. And the reason we haven't put the cleave in, we talked about it earlier, is because of the two different hardnesses in these gemstones. This is an, a beautiful gemstone an extraordinarily rare gemstone as well. Amazing. It's a cocktail composition. I'm going to give you one price on this today. Unbelievable. How, how many do we have of these, Neri? Now, there are... 50. Okay, there's just 50 of these guys. And once these 50 are gone, there won't be another 50 on your screens. There won't be another 100. 
It's so beautiful, cats. isn't it? The, the, I, I, like I said, I've never seen anything remotely close to no. uh, to how unique and collectible this and, is. And neither have we. Ne neither have we. We've seen ruby zoocyte from Tanzania, uh, but this is something entirely different and a, a, a very important ruby at that, the Mysore ruby. Now, there are just 50. 10% of the stock's already gone. I, yeah, I promise you I'm going to do you... How about this? I promise you I'm just going to do you an incredible deal. Because we got an incredible deal. Yeah. It's sold to us as like Brazilian, you know, interesting gemstone. It's ruby and kyanite. They sent it to a lab. Yeah, the lab came back and said it's ruby and kyanite. But when we've done our research, we've understood how extraordinary this is. So I'm confident you know, this could walk into bottoms tomorrow. Yeah, Walk absolutely. into bottoms tomorrow. We've seen the prices. I'm not talking, we're not talking jade prices. We're not talking a million dollars. We're not talking a hundred thousand dollars. But you know, one, two thousand dollars for something like this is absolutely within the realms of not just possibility, but probably in the realms of reality. So wait, wait, wait. Considering this is like literally a once in a lifetime opportunity, yes. you just try and make out that these are going to be affordable. So affordable. Really? So, so affordable. So, and, and the travesty is, I wanted you to understand how valuable these are. Now, that's not talking to the price that we're going to do for you today. I just thought, if this came in and Wayne looked at it, who's our sales manager, I went, oh, this is Brazilian ruby and kyanite. It's cool. It's interesting. Here you go. Here's the price. Now, I'm not changing that price. What Even I'm giving though. you is the legacy of knowing wow. what you've got. We are going to change that, obviously, so that all your documents. 100%. Like I said, it. that's the reason um, that I got this sent in and signed by the vendor um, that, that tells us that it is the South, the South Indian deposit because it's important for you guys to know. It's important for you guys to know. Um, there it is. There we go. Printed this off this morning for every single one of you. South India. South, oh, amazing. So you've got that history and you will have that certificate. Right. I'm yeah. going to do one price though, Al. It's one of those showcases. I see the names that are in. I know the kind of collectors immediately when we do deals like this, and we don't do deals like this very often. When we do do deals like this though, I know who we're buying for. You know, yeah. when we're buying jade, I know who we're buying for. When we're buying, you know, sapphires, I know who mm -hmm. we're buying for. Of course I do. We have a, a great idea of collectors. And when we buy something extraordinarily rare, yeah. extraordinarily rare, I know the collectors that want that material. How do you even price something like this? It's not my job to. It's none of our job to. You know, and that's the beauty of what we do here. We don't look at the market value, do we? We don't. We look at what we pay for something, and then we give you the deal. We don't and go, hey, guys, we've got this great deal. What's it worth? We, we never do that. We never do that. That's yeah, why you know, I'm, not, I'm not a jade expert, am I? So, you know, I don't need to know, what, what, you know how we're going to price jade. You know, now, also, as well, let's be honest, this is so rare that Bonhams don't know how to price this material, but they have the benefit of letting the market decide. Yeah, so true. what they do is they put it to the market and they go, what do you want to pay for it? What, what do you guys want to pay for this material? And then we see. And I said, I'm not going to tell you this is a million-dollar gemstone. It's far too rare for that. What I will tell you is, in the realms of reality, not possibility, but in reality... I'd say this is a one to two thousand dollar collection of, of ultra rare rubies and kyanites. So pieces like this, there's a place in Monte Carlo which is a, a, a mineral gallery that sells incredible minerals. I do see them in Tucson, right? They yeah. travel to Tucson and they showcase some of the world's finest mineral specimens. Yeah. This is where people, uh, things like this belong in a mineral gallery. Yes. Very absolutely. different to gemstones. It's all about the rarity there. Now, I'm, I'm going to give you two prices. Okay. okay, so I'll take a minute clock. Okay. I'm going to give you my first price, and then we're going to give you the deal. Uh, oh, 20% of the stock's gone now, so well done. Yeah, I mean, so familiar names, collectors, absolute collectors getting Absolutely. involved. And, and I said, as soon as we show that document, there are people that will be well aware of this deposit. There are collectors that we have here across the, the channels, the different channels, that do go to the Bonhams auction houses. Yeah. That do pay close attention to the Christie's auction houses. And that's the only... Uh, that's the only frame of reference you'll have for material like this. Bonhams. Bo yeah, Bonhams, absolutely. I showed you earlier, you know, um, a bowl, a carved bowl of this material. And, and it, was, it was more interesting was the lot details on that material. Yes. How they wax lyrical about it. They're like, this is from a new, exciting discovery, you know, in Mysore, India. This material with it growing in kyanite. It's, it's, it's remarkable. I'm going to give you one price that it's going to sell out at. Okay, then I'm going to give you the actual deal. Okay. And everyone's going to pay the final low price, but it will sell out at this price. Because like I said, 
one to two thousand dollars today 99 pounds wow okay 99 pounds is the price then i'm going to take a minute clock and i'm going to go again but oh. like i said it's going to sell out at this price but we're still going again i've committed yeah, to yeah. it that, that, this, we will never, no, in fact, I was about to say we're never going to have big quantities. We're never going to have this opportunity nope, again, right. are we? Start that clock. Here we go. Congratulations to all the collectors along the bottom. Yeah. I have six other incredible strands of this material to bring to you. I'm going to price it today so you can get involved in every single strand. That's amazing. It's not just heart cuts. It's briolettes as well. You know, and yeah. you can see how the light dances on that. The, 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 the domino effect of vitreous luster across the surface of this material. It's like a paparazzi flash. That's an ultra rare combination of gemstones there. South Indian ruby, completely natural, fluorescing ruby uh, in kyanite, in huge carrot, 120 carats. in kyanite, how amazing yeah. is that? Unbelievable. How amazing. To, I can't even comprehend the, what the natural occurrence to create something Absolutely. like Absolutely. Do this. we have a UV torch anywhere? Uh, yes, somewhere, hang on. We've got 15 seconds. Is that UV? I'm not sure, hang on. That's not UV. Is this one UV? Let's have a look. Yes. Yes. There you go. But can you, oh! Any chance we can dim the light? Probably not, is that? I don't know. I think Adam has the power. Right. Yeah. I don't know if this will come across. Oh my goodness. This is why... Oh my goodness. This is why this ruby is so important. It's like a Burmese ruby quality. That's what Mysore ruby is all about. Natural. And this is why they would cut it out of this material. I'm going to show you just one of them up close so you can really get a good picture. Oh my goodness, there's the ruby. In kyanite. Wrapped in beautiful kyanite. And then I'll show you the back. Oh, Dave, that's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Right. Ready? 49.99. Wow. Sorry, guys, thank you. 49.99 to get hold of one of the... Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Good luck. Do you know what? I'm happy to do the show in the dark because look at this. Only 50 of these existed. Oh, my God, look at that. Scarlet rubies running through every single one of these. Ultra rare gemstones. It's a natural no heat ruby from South India, a legendary deposit um, that, that, like I said, the Marahajas got their rubies from. It's existed for about a thousand years, maybe even longer, but just talking about the history that we know. And uh, when this came through and they said it's Brazilian, it's Sri Lankan, and there was this discrepancy, I said, look, go and speak to your father, like travel, speak to your dad who bought this material in the year 2000, and let me know what he says. And he said, this is South Indian. Amazing. You can get this home for £25. If you yeah. popped along to Bonham... And look, this, is, this was nice. always going to be the price, right? This was always going to be the price. Yeah. When we thought, when, when Wayne thought, hey, this is Brazilian material, isn't it interesting? Isn't it nice? Isn't it pretty? Yeah, it's all of those things. But let's get the history across. Let's get the legacy of this material across. Yeah. And that's my job here. That's what I do. Um, and we're not changing the price. It's not like we're going, OK, now we know that. It's £499. No, no except that's not what we're about, nope. is it? Like I said, we've got a great deal on this, but... The, the reason that I went to these lengths is for, I don't want you to think it's a 49.99 piece of jewellery, okay? It's not a 49 pound 99 piece of jewellery. No. Never ever think of it like that. And this is why we do what we do. You know, we treat this like the material that it is. It deserves its story, its legacy, its history. Amazing. We're giving these pieces that. Amazingly, because like I said, uh, you know, to find, um, for the ruby alone. Well, the ruby the is ruby usually alone. cut out of material like this, and it'll be cut into melee, melee stones, and then put into clusters, collated over like decades. Yeah. That's what they do. Mysore ruby is, is, is probably the most important ruby in the world outside of the commercial deposits. Mm -hmm. The commercial deposits are Burmese, Montepuez yeah. in Mozambique, Madagascar. But in terms of just history and, and importance and legacy, my story is probably just behind the Siam and, and, and Burmese rubies. Well, that's the quantity that we actually have left of this opportunity. And just so we're all clear, for those of you that have just tuned in, we will never be able to repeat this. Never, yeah. No, we, I'm, I'm usually quite cautious to be so... so this material was last, last, uh, well, last in the mine in about 2006. Wow. Yeah. That's it. And, and uh, you know, it's strange, isn't it? Because 2006, when we just say it, it doesn't seem that long ago. No. It doesn't to me anyway. But, you know, it is. It's a long, long time ago. And, and this deposit is completely played out.
It's completely gone. And, and for any, any gemstone that just disappears is important. But this had like an, a, th a thousand year history. Incredible. And, and, you know, even when it was producing, it was walking straight into Bonhams as these in incredible objects of the art. You know, the, the, these bowls, these Ganesh carvings, you know, wonderful pieces. It, it, it is incredibly distinctive as well, isn't it? The fact that even, I mean, we're looking at it under UV light right now, but even without that, such a distinctive fusion. Yeah. The kyanite alone has that wonderful uh, teal. But that, oh, that Janice, brilliant. Beautiful she says, ruby. this is a, a dream for me. Kyanite is my favourite gem. Uh, and to have ruby in it is amazing. Absolutely. I completely agree with you. So you've got all of those wonderful things right now. Well done. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Stay where you are on those You've got multi-buyers, Gabrielle in West Midlands. Congratulations. Um, Janice, yeah, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. Oh, wait, I can't believe this is actually Look, happening. We've got six out. other incredible strands, and I said we've priced them so that you can get one of everything today. Do you know, if, if, this, if this parcel, if it was decided upon, and like, it very, this could have happened, if this was decided upon to go on to gems, I guess then it would, they would have been more one of a kind pieces. Uh, well, this, for instance, the, the rounds would be very workable. You'd, you'd set those, as you can imagine, drop earrings, bezel set rings, probably yeah. in 9K gold. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an ex exquisite collection that we're talking about. Amazing. Well, you can do that, can't you, with a little bit of your bezel stripping? Just one. Yeah, it's, I mean, this is, we are offering you parcels today. It's very pomolato, um, and you've seen what they've done with Ruby Zoocyte. This is far rarer. Look at that. Yeah. Shall we do the rounds? Yeah, again, we're going to do you another absolutely incredible deal. Very limited. Want to remind you how limited we are in these collections. Again, we're at 120 carats. Just, just how many of these do we have? 49. Okay. I knew the reaction on the phone lines would be, uh, you know, as it is, because this is so, so workable. Straight away, £99. We're going to go again, so don't worry. We're going to show you that fluorescence as well in a moment. They're huge, though. Please uh, look at the size. 14 you, to 18 millimetres. <gasps> and there's that fluorescence. Yeah. Look, there's a love heart in that one. Oh, yeah. There's that wonderful fluorescence. All occurs yeah. completely natural. Look at that. They're, there's pools of ruby, yeah, it's isn't a, there? It's a polka dot ruby, isn't it? Of fluorescence Amazing. in these incredible gemstones. Pools of ruby yeah. running through. Let me just put oh, that the back. Next Hang one's on. going to blow your mind. Look at that. Oh, wow. A another from my collection. I can't believe another new gem. Thank you, Dave. Thank you to our collector in the city of Bristol. This is a special moment that you're getting. Just that alone on Gemporia in 9K gold with the history of the yeah. Mysore ruby deposit. That is lying in a bed of kyanite. A thousand year deposit. Fluorescent, no heat rubies from that legendary location. I'm going to give you a minute clock to get involved. Again, 10% of the stock has disappeared. Uh, and the rest of this material is going to go exactly the same way. Gabrielle, uh, Maker, yeah. Devon, Greater London, Surrey, uh, Greater London, Isle of Wight. You're all on the phone lines. You're all getting involved. You're going to want to multi-buy on this. There are seven individual solitaires on this opportunity. Yeah. I mean, wow. Seven solitaires. It's, a, it's a special. It's a very special collection that I'm offering to you guys. Um, the rounds, one of my favourite shapes as yeah. well. Mine too. Mine too. Uh, and, and like I said, even if you, as a collector, this, this showcase is really going to appeal to... Uh, yes, obviously, as jewellery makers, we love gemstones. We love the story behind the gemstones as well. But this is going to really appeal to uh, those people that it's not just about the beauty of the stone. It is, you know, the story and the... Got, so, collector's got three of these. Well done. Congratulations. Well, this is it. These, are, these, these are people that want to have want to have the excitement to own something basically that no other collector possibly or very few collectors i should say actually have in their own personal collection already isle of white's got three well done suzanne hazel claire gabrielle new customer devon london amy joanne janice we've got people with it still in their baskets as well you you won't see this showcase again this is a one-time deal, opportunity. Okay, um, pretty much half the stock's gone. I don't want to keep you waiting. Going to do something special. Same carrot weight, 
really usable shape, my favorite shape aesthetically. I think when we talk about these kind of gemstones, you've seen the, the myriad, the multitude of yeah. ruby that is crystallized, literally crystallized, no heat micelle ruby in each of these garnets. 44.99 on this, 44.99. And, and for me, I'd get two of these. I'm, I know I've got collectors buying threes and fives. Yeah. I'd, I'd have them suspended on a necklace. You know, like an Elsa Peretti. Absolutely. Right? I'd have that, that rarity by the yard. Oh. And then I'd have and then I'd use the other one to create a pair of earrings yeah. and a ring and whatever else you guys can come up with. But I think just, you know, with those beautiful spaces in between on the, neck, on the neckline, just floating rarity like this is is absolutely off the chain. Uh, £22.49 on a split pay. Like I said, thank God I don't I don't have to value this material. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not a you know, I'm not a mineral dealer, I'm not a mineral collector. Uh, I know the market for, for minerals, I've seen it, I've seen the, the unbelievable exuberant prices that people pay. Mm. And, and right then, it's just based on rarity. Yeah. You know, for, for, for collectors that are, that are um, kind of obsessed with, with getting the rarest collection, that's what it's about. They're chasing material like this. And of course, this, this is down to the fact that Mother Nature, to form one gemstone is amazing, yeah. but for Mother Nature to then form another gemstone Absolutely. in and, and around. And, and what you've got, obviously, with... Kyanites, 90% of the world's kyanites come from uh, the Himalayas because of the way that, this, that the Indian landmass went in when Pangaea was there and created the Himalayas, essentially. And that, you know, you need nine miles of pressure to create kyanite. Wow. And, and so you get... Nine the, miles? Yeah, that's what they say in terms of the compression. If you underneath the earth, wow. that's what you need. And the heat and, and all of that generated, essentially, this kyanite gem. I've been in the Himalayas. I've seen the world's finest kyanite. And then, you know, re really, if you look at it in, in the scale of Pangaea, a stone's throw away yeah. in South India, which is that landmass that created kyanite, you've yeah. got this wonderful teal kyanite. Wow. And there's this... this thank you, uh, guys. And then you've got the ruby forming here. Probably the, one of the world's most important, historically, yeah. ruby deposits in the world. I mean, these are the rubies that were traded with the Romans. Yeah. yeah th th that's what happened. They would, you know, they would voyage from the Mediterranean down the Nile, around Sri Lanka. They would be buying up carnelian, they'd be buying up garnets. And of course, these legendary rubies would have been traded in Sri Lanka or Ceylon and taken back to the Mediterranean. You'd see the Greeks, the Etruscans, you'd see the Egyptians, you'd see, you see why the Romans. They're... Absolutely. I wonder, if they, I wonder if they knew it did this. I, I wonder. Mean, I wouldn't be surprised. They were very, very clever. Yeah. But, oh. I mean, the beauty of it is they don't need a, a UV black light. You know, you, the greatest source of, 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 of UV, UV light is the sun. Exactly. And what we're showing you here is a condensed, you know, over-dramatised version of what, how these glow in yeah, daylight. Yeah, because you've got to remember there's not a single, a single ounce of, uh, of light source here other, nope. than, uh, other than our floodlights above. So Absolutely. this is what it's going to naturally do when it's uh, sort of in, in daylight. Now, we've literally got three of these left. Well done. Congratulations. Wow. Okay. Wow. Um, well, a third of the showcase gone, pretty much. Yeah, that's... I mean, that's it. That's and and it. we look, these, these... As you can see, we haven't changed the pricing structure. You know, this is just an incredible showcase that we're doing. Mm -hmm. But I want you to understand... This is the legacy that gemstones like this deserve. You need to get to the bottom of it. You need to understand what you're getting. You want the rarity. You want that incredible material. And that's the journey we've been on with this incredible deposit. And now you get to use the ovals. And you mix these in with the rounds. Or you mix these in with the hearts. You create these wonderful collections. Oh, and this will wow. be almost a halfway point. Again, this incredible I'm, showcase. I'm thinking... Um, yeah, these again on, on, on precious metal, just yep. all about the kyanite ruby. You, uh, this showcase is... It's about rarity today. Yeah, and, and it, they are flying out the door. Yeah, and uh, look, I wish we had more. I wish we had the 100, 200 quantities, but unfortunately we don't. It's not going to happen, is it? No. Yeah, um, it's, it, yeah it's not going to happen. And so much so, we're not going to be able to repeat an auction like this. And how many of these do we have? We have, I think, about the same quantity. Yeah, about 50 of these. About 50 opportunities. Oh, wow. Here it is, ovals. I'm so pleased that, you, they, 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 that when you, the cutting... It takes a very skilled lapidary to be able to do this, you know? Yeah, to be able to actually yeah, cut absolutely. these. But also very, very workable. Yeah in terms of your jewellery uh, jewelry making, but it's not even about that. I mean, how often will I ever say a showcase isn't about your jewellery making? Um, <laughs> well, look, look it's how many about people are on the, the phone lines already. I'm going to do one price on these guys. One price, that's it. 
Not okay. two prices, one. Uh, I take a minute clock. It's going to be a fast one. I can tell you're already there for these. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give you a great there. deal. I'm going to give you an unbelievable deal on these. That on its own there looks like Mother Nature's very own Fabergé egg, you know, in terms of its rarity oh, with its yeah. fluorescence. Uh, the, those sashes of red that cascade across this gem. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, in 41 seconds. Janice, Ludmilla, Maker, Gabrielle, Maker, Greater London, Merseyside, Hazel, Chantal in Suffolk, Wendy in Lincolnshire. Well done. And to those of you multi buying, this is going to be the best price you've seen so far on this wonderful material. I just find it absolutely fascinating, Dave, that yeah. firstly, Ruby, I don't know which, which came first, but firstly, Ruby was formed yes. under the exact scientific gemological conditions with, yeah. the, with, the, with those present chemicals. Absolutely. And then again, and, and this is why you're getting teal kyanite because the chromium in the ruby there is chromium present actually... and that is giving you this this wonderful teal oh, color. Wow. Right, thirty nine ninety nine. I can't believe I'm saying it, and and I can't believe I'm saying it now knowing what I know. You know, had this just been uh, a great jewelry maker product, a beautiful collection, yeah. great great price. But knowing that we're dealing with something that many of the world's leading mineral dealers are chasing. They want this material, whether they want the big carvings, whether they want the actual crystals, the rough specimens, where you get yeah. the, the two forming together and you can see the different mm. crystal structures, whatever it may be, you have got um, this combined rarity, which proves to be greater than the sum of its parts. And kyanite is rare. Yeah. Ruby still, you know, natural right. ruby, unheated, is, is rarer still. To get them together in this single location, that's why, I had so many questions when I was looking at it. I was like, this doesn't happen in Brazil. This doesn't happen mm. in Sri Lanka. Mm. Uh, let's reach out to the guy. Let's see what's going on. What's um, going we, on we'll is... We'll get your documents all updated for that, really, because it's really important, I think, uh, um, that you have that um, in, in, in black and white. How absolutely amazing. Uh, guys, are you going to miss out on this? Because this isn't something we can repeat. You know, we can bring you other showcases yeah, yeah, yeah. of Aquapraise, bring you other showcases of, of, of Grand Didierai, yep. of Burmese Sapphires, yep. Burmese Rubies if you want. Yep. But you're never going to see a showcase of the, the Mysore South Indian Ruby growing with inside Kainat again, um, you know, teal Kainat. You're never going to see Mysore Ruby again, the South Indian Rubies on your screens. This is £20 on split pay. It's, it's 115 it's carats. absolute madness. And obviously, it goes without saying, you're not going to be able to actually go, oh, let me just have, do a little, a little bit of price comparing, because oh. you're not going to find it. I have no idea the price on this. It's not about price. Look, we're giving you incredible deals. Um, yeah. But I'm, I'm saying to you right now, the only examples I've seen of this, this material is, is at bottoms, yeah. And it's very different. It's a carved bowl yeah. or just the ruby from Mysore, which is the, the carved Ganesh, mm -hmm. which is like a three or four inch statue. But here you have this in 115 carats, which means you can be the first people to actually create jewellery out of this material. That's amazing, isn't but, it? Yeah, How because had, had a mineral house got hold of this material, as many did back then in 2000, yeah. and created the bowls and created those wonderful things, great. But a gem cutting house got hold of this material. And they yeah. looked at it and they went, oh, this is interesting. We're going to carve this. We're going to create these um, for, for, for you know, potential jewellery buyers. Mm. And finally, you know, 22 years later, it ends up on your screen. And we do this quid. crazy price. 20 pounds on 20 your split pounds pay. pay. Interest free. A, a once in a lifetime opportunity. And that's not an overstatement nope. at all. Um, I think, Dave, mm -hmm. oh, every, when, when we all admired this showcase yeah. prior to the show, Every I know what you're going to say. You're going to say the cubes, us, aren't you? Yeah, loved the cubes. Yeah, I know. You can see the actual rubies in the cubes here. Oh, they're fabulous. On all four sides. Now, when we say we have a slightly larger quantity... Yeah, you still don't have 100, do you? No. No. In I'm fact, I'd be exact. You've got 77 opportunities here. That's um, it. I think this is going to be the fastest selling. Okay. Because, um, well, they're so workable. Right, let's do a 60-second clock to the yeah. graphics. You, you, you know the jewelry maker audience way better than I do, and you're saying I, I this is going to be... I think sell out super fast. Well, that's cool. You've got 55 seconds before the phone lines open. Everyone gets the same you know, starting line. Everyone gets the same opportunity um, to get involved. And, and everybody's got that opportunity. You might be thinking, I'm not, oh, I'm not a connoisseur. I'm not a collector. Well, you are if you've got Oh, 100%. This. And we're not pricing it. So there's a, 
you know, a kind of gate to entry. We're saying, look, you can all own it. You jewelry maker, but look at that ruby. Look at that. L literally. That's a crystallized, and this is the material that many, many cutters would cut out of the kind of, create melee stones out of, because it's no heat. South Indian Mysore ruby. Look at that. You've yeah. literally, literally the got whole a portion of ruby. Yeah, a pool. It's a huge pool of yeah. ruby. No heat. Completely natural ruby. That that in itself. Oh god, yeah. In five seconds, the graphics are going to appear, and I think this is going to be the fastest selling. Good luck. Seventy-seven opportunities. Love it on this material. Absolutely love it. Can you imagine? And I, this is what I always consider. Uh, and the stories, obviously, the story, the the, the gemological. Uh, um, information that goes alongside gemstones but actually actually learning um that okay well what what if 10 years from time two years yeah. from now that um all of a sudden there's a big write-up on i don't know something like the gia yeah absolutely or, yeah, yeah, it's not beyond the rounds talking of possible. about this there was renewed interest in this deposit they actually tried to get it going again in in 2017 because of the altani collections world tour because a lot of those rubies were, this is mesmerizing, a lot of these rubies were in that collection. Oh my word. This is the real deal. Look at that. This is the real deal. It's like a Rubik's cube of ruby. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that one there, they've made all the colors the same, haven't they? It's all red. This is sublime. Look at the quality, the amount that of minute ruby. clock. We did a minute clock to open, you're all on the phone lines. Now we're gonna do a minute clock to your deal. Wow. I mean, you guys know what you can do with this. There's a collector, how apt is this, called Ruby, who's bought three of these on the phone lines right now. Amazing. Uh, 95 carats. The graphics are there. That's your call to action. Yeah. I don't think Dave's all of a sudden going to throw a curveball at, curve at you and, and dramatically increase the price tag. That's not what you're about, no, Dave. No, this it? is going to be a, a remarkable deal. And the, the only reason we've gone to these lengths is because I'm saying to you, you need to know that mm. this isn't just your standard jewelry maker interest in gemstone. Yeah. Even though that's the price, this isn't just your hematite or your Laramar. No. Okay, this is a special historical chemical composition, a once in, in you know, four billion year occurrence that just so happened to, to happen in, in South India. It has a thousand year history of it being known and it's on your screens on Jewelry Maker right now. And we're going to do a, a crazy price. Crazy price. $39.99. Wow. You said it would be the most popular. I think you're right, Al. There's a yep. lot of you on the phone lines. Um, there's, there's so much ruby that is contained here. Natural, no heat rubies, yeah. Natural, natural. This is the only strand that Good we look. have. Good luck. Gabrielle, Alison, Denise, Janet, Hilda, Maker, Anonymous Collector, you've got four. Uh, Kim, City of Bristol, Kerry in Dorset, Joan in Carmarnshire, uh, Pat in Lincolnshire, Amy in Surrey, Devon, you've got two. Janice, Greater London, mm. Gwyneth, you've got three. Uh, Maker, Greater London, Cheryl Ann in Merseyside. There's a lot of you on the phone lines, a lot of you getting involved on this. We have 77 opportunities on this material. Do, do right, you, give me a minute clock. What, what, what are you doing? I'm going again. I'm going again. We're going to do something crazy right now. I mean, do you know, I quite often have conversations with certainly my family and, and, and friends if, the, if I ever get the opportunity to bend their ear about gemstones. Yeah. And, and, you know, I say, all oh, I've got, I've got this. You know, if they're asking, oh, I've got some grand digerite from showcases. I've yeah. got some jadeite from showcases. You've got those that. pearls. I've got those naturally colored pearls. Yeah, it's exciting to be able to talk about the gemstones that you have. Absolutely. And then, but this is a, eclipsing all of that. Absolutely, and they, they will have frames of reference for pearls, sure. They might yeah. know about jade. Yeah. Uh, you know, if they read Forbes or have seen the, the kind of Daily Mail and BBC articles, they'll have known about Grand Idira possibly. Yep. This is just In terms too of rarity. Rare. Too, it's too rare. Look, I'm going again in 17 seconds. I'm going again. Even though that this, I do think, is going to be, well, maybe because this is going to be the most popular. Right, it's, it's sure as hell is going to be the most popular in a moment. I'll tell you that. When I give you this price. Okay. It's already, t I mean, 39.99. Yeah, 29.99. Oh. Yeah, twenty nine nine nine. We're going to do it, and and then we move through the other beautiful strands that we have for you. It's a special, we, special moment. We are officially halfway through yes. the showcase. Yeah, just over, I think. Uh, it's not an even. I've still got yeah. I've still got three strands. Yes. So, so this, this is, is just past the halfway point. Just beyond halfway. And you're. Forty ninety nine. Yeah, I mean we're pricing it like we're at Claire's accessories right now. 
And this is I get Ruby Zoosite. A Ruby Kyanite, forgive me. on split pay. From South India. Oh, my word. And my these word, are like the kind word. of prices that, you know, you find in Matalan for some like Hello Kitty oh. uh, earrings, like three or four pairs on that bit of cardboard. Do you, do you, do you, yeah. Do you know what? Funny you should say that. Uh, yeah, I was in the shop the other day and Willow's like, she's like, oh, mummy, I need to get these bracelets from a friend. They're plastic, basically. They say BFF and you get five of them because of school, bring yeah, up yeah, school yeah, and yeah. whatnot. And I was like, no, I refuse to spend £25 yeah. pounds on plastic. 100%. Twenty-five. I'll make them. I said I'll make them, so yeah. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kids, no, the kids I are knocking that. about that first girl right now. The rubies, uh, ruby kyanite bracelet, <laughs> the rarest gemstone occurrence in a BFF. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I'm not going to include this. Can you imagine the party yeah. bags at Willow's uh, birthday party. <laughs> what was party. this? Oh my god. <laughs> Got some Larimar. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> but my point is, Dave, twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's it is, but we got an amazing deal. Wow. Not only do, do we not know how to ascertain the value of this, you know, this this gem merchant that his father had bought it, you know, 20, 22 years prior, had this material, we was interested by it, did us an incredible deal. And not sold Still it himself in that time. Didn't realize. Wanted we're to gonna, we're gonna leave this one with you. There's a lot of you on the phone. Stay holding uh, for this one. Like Al said, we are over the halfway point of the show right now. Oh my goodness me. Absolutely. Can you imagine? Have you got I'm just thinking, if you've got if you've got some ruby in your stash. Oh yeah. Can you imagine creating I'm visualizing a showcase that I know you did the other day with Lynn, I think it was. Not of this. But in Garnet, I think it was, but there was this really lovely estate necklace that kind of graduated. Oh, across. yes. Can you imagine this with some rubies? But that was uh, the Patiala collection, which yes. is based on the, the Maraharsha's jewels that Cartier worked with. So, so it had that Indian kind of uh, aesthetic. Just imagine that inspiration. Yeah. How many of these do we have, Neri? 50. Okay. Again, we are down to that quantity. Um, I'm going to do your crazy deal with 110 carats. 110 carats? Yeah. And you can just, uh, the ruby is just permeating this kind of teal oh, colored kind. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah. Wait until you see this. I could see. Oh, my God. I could see it before. Hold on, hold on. Before we show it, can you start off dark and then hit it? So when the first day, yeah. Yep. Watch this. It's going to be a dark screen. Sorry, guys. But I just want them to see. Look at this. Oh my gosh, thank you, Adam. That oh is incredible. My word. That's incredible. It really is, isn't it? Right, minute clock. We're gonna do a minute clock. That's on every single piece. In yeah, yeah, yeah. Room. We're focusing on one right now, but you know, there are, I can see, by the way, I'm about 12 foot, 15 foot away from it, and I can see it from here. Yeah, exactly. I can see how prominent that fluorescence is from here, which is can a metric that we use to kind of grade the quality of rubies. So oh when you go to Bonhams or, or Christie's or Sotheby's, if they have an important Burmese ruby, they show this picture of it as well. So they don't just show it like on the right there, they'll show it <gasps> under black light as well, because that just showcases. Oh, this, that, this is it, not even dim the lights here. We haven't dimmed the lights and yet you can still see. You can still see the fluorescence. 50 of these, this is gonna be gone in a heartbeat. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, this is the only drops that we have available. Yes. It's a really elegant, quite an elongated drop. They're a solid It's like pairs. a teardrop, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's a jewel, I think, when you see it like this. Absolutely beautiful. But yeah, I'm visualising. Maybe you've got some lovely uh, ruby rounds in, yeah. your, in your stash already. Just Right, guys. Oh. 50 of these. We know every time we brought you something like this, it's sold out. We don't have 100 or 200, and we no. never will have. 29.99 and you get your split pay so it makes it accessible makes it affordable we want you to get uh, one of each of these if you can or one of a few so you can create this multitude of looks because you won't be able to shop with us going forward in the future trying to get hold of material well, like th this. this is a once in a lifetime experience 15 pound on split pay maker Alison Sandy Linda Tessa Lorraine Gabrielle Elaine Greater London Kathmanshire uh, Gwynedd uh, Lincolnshire Janice mm -hmm. I mean a lot of you multi buying and why not you know, you know, it's a, it's, it's one of those opportunities that I, be, I bet gemologists would literally crawl over one another to get Absolutely. hold of. Absolutely, this is like the holy grail for gemologists. Yeah. Um, 
Liz has said, I thought I'd finish shopping today, but sorry, I just have to get these. Thank you, JM. Much appreciated from Liz. Uh, thank you for messaging in. Um, if you want to have stopped shopping, <laughs> you might. I would switch off because we've got something incredible coming up in the next Oh, minutes. my goodness, we have, Liz. It's, uh, it's out of this world. It's absolutely out of this world. Look 13 left. Yeah, I knew, again, knew it, was gonna, it was one of those popular shapes, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's the um, very, very usable, if that is the word. You know, you can imagine the, the multitude of designs that you can create with something like this. You know, the, the pendants, the necklaces, the earrings. It lends itself perfectly to something like this. Um, oh, my word. The fact, you know, I'm just, I'm just... You can use, what, split pay? Right, why do you say that? Is somebody asking? Somebody's asking, does the split pay work only on the phone? No, you can get it on the website as well. So, uh, yeah, not a problem. There is an option there too. Make sure you check them out. Seven of these left, that's it. Just so you know, well for those people that have just tuned in, Dave, this opportunity is irreplaceable. Absolutely. Irreplaceable, and it's not about price. It's not saying, well, Dave, what if we give you double the money? It's just not out there. It's not in the market. Yeah, it's just extreme rarity. And we've got um, two left. Yeah, penultimate one coming up right now, which is the <gasps> Marquis. So you wait, wait, wait. Can we just take a couple of steps back? Because you said, and it's logical, two different gemstones, two different hardnesses, yeah, two different refractive indexes, yeah. To cut it would be challenging. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then here we are doing a Marquise. Marquise, extraordinarily wasteful, as you can imagine. We didn't ask for this. This was offered to us. You know, this cutting house made this decision, I don't know, 15, 18 years ago. We fell in oh. love with it. We saw this. As you can see, you can see why. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, just that the large, it's graduated as well, but the largest one on the end, just as a pendant. 70 of these, just so you know, I want to manage expectations. Again, you know, ruby raindrops cascading down each of these wonderful kind of marquee shapes. Look at that. Speckled with rarity. Flecks of no heat, South Indian Mysore ruby. Fluorescence. Now, this isn't some trick. No. Okay, so if you was to get another gemstone up here and to hit it with that blue light, it doesn't fluoresce. It doesn't do that. You know, it only does it when it hits, it interacts with sort of chromium. And it does it with the, the finest rubies. You know, the better the fluorescence, mm -hmm. the finer the ruby is essentially the old trick. Can I let you into a secret? I'm actually not even speaking to everyone at home. I'm talking to Neri, who's our producer, because he has no idea. One, he's filling in for Ross. And yeah. if Ross was in there, he wouldn't so have it's not meant to be, he's not, hang on a minute, is, 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 that, is that who I think it is in the gallery? Oh no, it's, uh, it's our MD, Scott, um, and uh, he doesn't look happy. Uh, <laughs> Scott, stay there, I'm going to ruin your day, you ready? <laughs> I'm going to ruin your day! I'm going to ruin your day, I'm going to make your day at home, okay? You guys are tuned in, we've got 70 of these, one of the second biggest quantity of the showcase so far. I'm going to go to the lowest price of the showcase. On the most the wasteful cut. Yeah, the, the most marquees. wasteful cut. Maker in Isle you've got three. I'm going to do one price. On the marquees, and we always say about the marquees. We, we look, imagine, well, you think about a marquee. Right? Yeah, exactly. So you're cutting a lot of waste away. Someone has to pay for that waste, don't they? So and the reality is it should be the most expensive cut. Totally. Not because it's the most the hardest to do, it's much harder cuts to do, but because we're wasting so much material. They can't be used again. No. It should be the most expensive cut. Not here, not today. We're crazy. Um, we're going to do, <laughs> do a minute clock, please, uh, Adam. We're going to do a minute clock. Ruby, you are in. You've got two. Uh, Isle of Wight, you've oh, got Ruby, three. Oh, Ruby, you needed this. Yeah. You definitely needed this. Because you, you know what? We can offer you uh, Ruby from Gwyneth. Um, we can offer you Ruby from Thailand. We can oh, my God. I thought you were saying Ruby from Gwyneth. I was like... We can't offer you Ruby from Gwyneth. I don't think there's any. I don't think there's a <laughs> mine there. Unless there's you mine know, Ruby. that could be our big showcase Can you coming imagine? up. Yeah, yeah. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Welsh Ruby. Welsh Ruby. Amazing. That would be good. Um, but we can offer you those places, can't we? We yeah. cannot repeat this opportunity. No, it's it's irrepeatable. I mean, like I said, it's been mined out since about 2006. Discovered in the turn of the millennium, so year 2000, 22 years ago. 
had what a uh, six year run yeah um, and it's gone it's gone it's and this is what happens these occurrences come and go and you know mineral collectors gem collectors gemologists want to own those ultra rare historical finds mm -hmm. you know, especially when they're single occurrences yeah they want to say i got the only combination of kyanite with ruby uh You said the lowest of the showcase. Uh, 24.99. Sorry. Oh. Scott's still in there. Oh, he's just gone. You're all oh right. God. You're all right. Although Neary did a... <coughs> oh, you're not ill as well, are you? No, oh, literally okay. just, just, got, just, just a little uh, cough and a splutter. No problem. Ooh, oh, my word. Yeah. I mean, At that price point, you know what? Like I said, this is the level of detail that we go through on these pieces. Yeah. You know, it's a 24.99, but look at the, the, the kind of work that's gone into just uh, uh, you know, going through to the origin, finding out where this material is from, finding out its history, because we're not treating this like a 24 pound 99 piece of jewelry, and neither should you. It's very, very special. We were fortunate enough to get a really special deal, and we're just passing it on to you. We're not saying, mm -hmm. hey guys, look, it's actually mice or ruby, so let's double the price. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Any, any reasonable, businessmen might do that but we're not we're just we're, not we're excited about putting these in your collection <laughs> we're excited about you guys um understanding the significance of of this gemstone uh, and getting to work with it using it you know pamela you've got two alison you've got three uh, margaret patricia pam Twelve. you've got two gabrielle you've got three uh, ruby you've got two uh, greater london you've got two it's, Dave, it's twelve pound fifty on it's split. Twelve pound fifty on split. It's ridiculous. Um, there was a question asking how many on a strand. I've got six. By the way, yeah. next door, just so you know, yeah. the fact. This is an actual fact. This is how ludicrous we are. We sold candles for more than this. Yeah. So, in fact, last week we sold a candle. I think it was a three wick or a four wick, I don't know, whatever, for twice this price. Yeah. Twice this price. Yeah. And you and, and you burn that. Yeah. Here is something you hopefully are going to work with. You're going to pass down through generations. Congratulations. You've just, yeah, sourced one of the rarest discoveries mm -hmm. and occurrences. Absolutely. Now... Our final deal. Oh, uh, don't... I'm going to let you know, Al. I'm going to... And you, a lot of you have probably missed out on every single auction, right? Because we have been extremely limited. This last piece, these are like the tablets of Ruby in, in uh, Kaino. <gasps> There's 200 of these. 200. Is there? Yeah. This is my favourite strand. Well, lucky for you, this is... No, extraordinary. Seriously? Yeah. Mass biggest carrot weight of the show. Yeah. Look at that. These are tablets. And I would use these sparingly, maybe one in a piece of jewellery. Because they are, the ruby is ex extremely prominent. The surface area is huge. I love the geometric shapes on these. Oh, my word. 200 and they're all going today. This is where we say, uh, or, or sorry, this is where we say ordinarily, you know, we here at Jewelry Maker, because these are the unconventional cuts, but that's where they're cut for their own individual beauty rather than being dictated maybe by calibration. Absolutely. So, and with something like this, it's perfect. It's all about the showcasing the, the rarity here. Showcasing and showcasing that ruby, ruby. Showcasing the colours. Now, it's a canvas, isn't it? That's why I say use one in a piece of jewellery. Use them really sparingly. It's a huge service oh, area. I right, know. now look. This is the biggest carrot weight of the show. Yeah. Biggest carrot weight of the whole entire show. Yeah. And I'm going to do the lowest price of the show. It makes zero sense. There's not another jeweller in the world that would say, oh, you want the biggest carrot weight? Well, that's going to be our lowest price. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't happen. No. But because we've got the biggest quantity, I'm going to do this. I need a, a minute clock, please, uh, Adam. And we're going to see 200 people join Did us. Did you actually say moment. there's 200 of these? Yeah, there's 200. 200. Which is why I'm about to do what I'm about to do. do uh, my only advice to those of you that actually get through on the phone, and there is a queue, is to just get two. Or if you're using the web or the app or whatever, whichever way you're getting involved, just get two of these because we are going to do, categorically, the lowest price of the show. Oh, I love it. And, and the colour is, so, look at that. It is, it is that definite Vibrant, teal. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Definite teal with those wonderful pools of Half a minute ruby. to get on the phone lines, guys. There's, there was 200. Uh, you know, you guys know at home how fast 200 can disappear when the deal's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm promising you the deal's going to be that good. I promise you this is going to be the lowest price of the hour. The whole hour has been extremely uh, reasonable. 
the gemstone on offer is something we can't get again. Um, you've, you've heard that the, the journey we've been on to ascertain exactly where this material is from. And uh, you've got three seconds to make your decision. I, I've just got in my head, you know, you've done prices like, what, 29 yeah, you, Al, for this, 130 carats, biggest carat weight, not by a little bit, by 10 carats, clearly the biggest, and the biggest individual stones in this attractive design. Like I said, one long line pendant. Just, this is the way to work with this material, I think. Because each of these is a landmark canvas of rarity. £19.99. pence. It's crazy. And we, this is your deal. And then we move on. I've got something really, really special for you coming up. But I've just gone to £19.99. and pence. I promised you, um, if you trust me, I said to you at the start, look, of this auction, I said it's going to be the lowest price for the biggest carat weight, for probably the most attractive look. And I've oh, said... It's a tenor. And I've said to every single one of you, my advice is just to get two. I'm you know, trying to give you as much of an indication as I can of how low I was prepared to go on this. I've gone to £19.99 for something this rare. That's this irreplaceable. Exotic, single occurrence. Dave, it's disappeared. We do, we do strands of, 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 I don't know, mookite yes. for that price. Too. Oh, yeah. 100%. We do oh, we used to, next boxes. door over the years, we've done like strands of uh, Australian opal, right? Which you can barely see the colour play in for like 99 99 And here you've got a strand of the fluorescent Mysore yeah. South Indian ruby in this glowing teal kyanite from a single exhausted deposit that has graced the auction houses you know? of Bonhams and mineral collections from Geneva and Monte Carlo. And I said to you, I'm going to go to the lowest price and the biggest carat weight. Wow. Put some more on, it makes zero sense. And I said multi-buy. I'm, I'm trying to be as kind as I can to you guys, trying to give you as much um, you know, of a heads up as I can. I can't believe that I'm staring at the screen right now and looking back at me as a £20. <laughs> you did. You said that. You literally said that. Um, oh, my word. It, do you know, it has got... When you mentioned in Opal, you think about things like Boulder Opal or Matrix Opal, where, yeah. like you said, you have dustings. It's like it's literally been sprinkled over yeah, the absolutely. top. Tiny, tiny, tiny little speckles of colour. Mm -hmm. These aren't speckles. No. It's not, I'm not comparing the stones, but this is... It's because it has that darker body colour. This has got an entire pool of The world's of most expensive ruby. gemstone is natural ruby, right? Yes. That's it. And it's here, here. right now in a kyanite. Yeah, that, that I mean, is, yes. It's here. It's, it's just, and it's natural. And it's also on split pay, yeah. Well, no, that's because it should be a lot higher in terms of price. I think you're aware of that. Even by our standards today, what should we be looking at? 79.99? which would be a ludicrous deal. I think it'd sell out of that deal. We've gone to £19.99 because we've kept it to the final piece of the show because it's the biggest quantity. Unbelievable. Not another jeweler in the world. I mean, you, no one gives you the biggest carat weight diamonds for the lowest price. Uh, no. No, absolutely. Or the, re the most expensive variety of gemstone yeah. encased in another rare gemstone. Absolutely. And you can pay just, what, one orange note today. Yeah. Uh, uh, £10 on your split pay. There were 200, the call screens have gone nuts completely. And why wouldn't you at the end of the day? I did say, look, you're going to be in a queue. Um, and I said, if you can, if you can multi-buy, then do it. Well over half the stock has gone and we got loads of you actually multi-buying. Is there a bit of a queue on the phone lines? Um, there is a queue. Please do bear with our um, uh, with our call centre on this one. But look, you all there. Janet's got two. London's got two. Jenny, you've got two. Christine, have got two. Just to recap, this is not something we can ever do again, ever. We can say that about most gemstones, though, can we? We can say we will be able to bring. Um, we'll be able to bring you rubies. We'll be able to bring you sapphires. I tell you what, I've got diamonds. something. I said to you, the, you know, if, half an hour ago. I've got something really special coming up after this collection, and uh, we are going to bring it to you. It's, a, it's a one incredible piece of jewellery, or, or one incredible parcel. And uh, when that's gone, that's gone. You want to talk about irreplaceable. You want to talk about value. Oh, it's beautiful. It's coming up in a moment's time, and it's extremely important. And you've seen that there's hundreds of you on the phone lines. Please stay holding. Try and get that while you can. I'm going to let you know right now that this deal coming up, there isn't enough to go around and you haven't seen anything like it before. Um, I think we're gonna close this auction and leave it with you, and then Elle's just seen it. We're not gonna show it to you just yet. Oh, wow. um, thank you, Adam. It is incredible. It is a wonderful parcel, a huge carrot weight. 
um, and it's coming up um, after this auction. And then we're going to go to a quick break to let the phone line simmer down. Um, thank you, Dave. Such a crazy price for a stunning gemstone from Janet. Thank you, Janet. Really appreciate you messaging in. Um, any of you that don't, don't want to get anything else, switch off your TVs now because what's coming up is, is going to be a fight to see who can get it. Thank you so much, Liz. Really appreciate it. Um, so we're going to leave this with you guys. I think there's about 30 left. Yeah. Stay holding. You can be successful. If 15 people before you multi-buy, then it's gone. But I'd stay holding and see if you can get it. Amazing. Don't go anywhere. It's all happening after this. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hi, guest designer Alison Sari here. Just to give you the heads up of what's coming up on this Saturday, we've got in the nine o'clock hour, going back to my roots, we've got some cabochons and wire. I can't wait, it's gonna be fabulous. Tune in and see what I do. And then in the 12 o'clock, we've got some pearls and the most amazing clasp. So tune in on Saturday to see what I make. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. I've just been introduced to this strand for the very first time. Oh my word! Yeah, so this uh, this is something that myself and Jake saw in uh, Tucson, um, uh, February. You were there. Yeah. We didn't let you know. We went to different shows. Um, I'm going to bring it to you. It's a one-time deal. It's an absolute closeout. The price I got on this is phenomenal. Really? You you guys are going to save more than you're spending when I tell you what you're about to get. 
Um, when we saw this gemstone, we fell in love. We thought this has to be Sri Lankan material because it's only heated. So there's no other treatment that has gone with this material, which is so commonplace in the industry. Um, it is, of course, Padparaja Sapphire. <sighs> when we saw it, it is the textbook colours of Sri Lanka. Next door, I don't know about here, but next door we've only ever bought our collectors, Madagascan right. um, uh, Padparaja, which is very, very pink. It's borderline pink sapphire, bit of, bit of Padparaja is Padparaja. And then we have bought another uh, kind of variety of sapphire next door, which has a treatment, which means it can't be called Padparaja sapphire. They can only call it Padparaja color sapphire. Right, okay. When we saw this material, because it's not the washed out pink color of Madagascar, mm -hmm. We thought it was from Sri Lanka, which is the original source yep. of Padparaja of sapphire. In fact, some people argue only uh, Sri Lankan uh, pink orange sapphires can be Padparachas. But gemology and gemologists agree that it actually can be a number of different localities. This is a closeout. This material was mined again over 15 years ago. This is Tanzanian, which is where your Songhia sapphires, your Windsor rubies come from, Padparaja sapphire. I've never seen. Tanzanian Padparacha. And do you know the only person, the, the first, I saw it at Tucson, um, I couldn't believe the price. We bought a parcel of just over a thousand carats. We decided to have it, bring it to you guys on strands. Each strand is over nine carats. That's, in, that's which incredible. Is impossible. It's a nine carat parcel of Tanzanian Padparacha sapphire. And I rang Rudy Wabita actually to speak about this because uh, I know he's dealt with the, the Tanzanian deposits before. In fact, he told me of a Tanzanian ruby that he was offered. And the gentleman that had it in Tanzania took a picture of it and said, do you want you and me to go halves on this mm -hmm. rough ruby? It was only small, rough ruby. Mm -hmm. And because Rudy couldn't tell, you know, the quality over WhatsApp, he was like, no, no, no. And the guy said, well, you cut it. I'll pay you to cut it. He's like, okay. He sent it to him about three or four days later from Tanzania to Ontario, Canada, small. It produced a one carat cushion and I think a five carat round. Both of them sold for five figures. And he was like, the Tanzanian material, whether it's sapphire or ruby, the top quality material is next level. Wow. And we have the Tanzanian pad parachus here. Like I said, it was an absolute steal. I'll be honest, we got an incredible deal. It was a closeout. There's just over a thousand carats. So there's about a hundred opportunities today because we've divided it into nine carat strands. You can do whatever you want with this material. It shows you the full color palette of the oranges and the pinks. Um, and, and you know, when we were offered it, it was a thousand carats in sort of like a, a, an envelope, like a paper wrap, that's how it's acquired. I'm gonna show you what yours looks like in that paper wrap. You know, when we divvied it up, this is the material we're talking about. This is Tanzanian Padparacha Sapphire. Take a look at this before we even open up the opportunity. Oh, my word. There you go, 9.4 <coughs> Tanzania. A grade. Uh, and I want to take you to the Natural Sapphire Company, who at this moment in time, they do offer Tanzanian Padparachas, but they only have one on their entire inventory, on their entire website. Wow. And they say Padparacha Sapphire is the only sapphire that is given its own name. They say the word is derived from the Sanskrit or Sinhalese word, uh, Padmaraga, that, that uh, denotes the color of the lotus flower. Often described as a mix between a lotus flower and a sunset, Padparacha sapphires range in hue from pinkish orange to orangey pink, and the name Padparacha is only given when those two colors are relatively balanced mix. Can you show the strand now, Adam, so we can just show that wonderful mix? Uh. This is what we're talking about. It's insane. It is do you, know, insane. do you know, it's funny. It made me smile a few moments ago because, uh, Dave, I heard um, Tom Neary, our producer today, who's covering Ross because he's not, uh, unfortunately not very well. He said, this is the only reason he's not on a golf course right now. Oh, well, there you go. There um, you go. So when, when you can drag Tom Neary away from a golf course, you know yeah, it's special. Yeah, so that's the only reason I'm not on a golf course right now is because Absolutely. he saw this Papadacha Sapphire. And you guys have just seen it as well, so you can imagine the anticipation. Mm. Uh, I said there's just over 100 opportunities. We're going to do an incredible deal. Now, the finest of Padparacha sapphires historically have come from Sri Lanka. That's where they first come from, mm -hmm. in, in kind of river-worn pebbles, in ancient rivers. And many purists believe that Sri Lanka is the only source of true Padparacha sapphires. Though the historical source of Padparacha is in Sri Lanka, sapphires that fit the description of orangey pink, pinkish orange, have been discovered in both Madagascar and the Umba River Valley of Tanzania. So there's only three locations that the Natural Sapphire Company says you can get pad from. That is, you know, the original source of Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. Madagascar, which tend to be very pink, 
and of course the Umber Valley of Tanzania, which you just don't get pad practice from anymore. Now, Julia Lloyd George, who's a jeweler we saw exhibiting at the JCK in Las Vegas, she does a similar design to this, but without the pad pressure. So she has all the colors of sapphire. It's like this, it's just over a thousand uh, pounds. Wow. A uh, multicolored sapphire bead necklace with gradu graduating size beads. And she's got, you know, the array of colors from navy, blue, olive green, pale pink, yellow, and rose pink. She doesn't have the pad pressure. No, no. And uh, the price I'm going to do for you guys today, I would multi-buy and create your own strand of just exclusive Tanzanian pad paracha sapphire. You can create uh, pretty much a 20, if you buy two of these, you can create essentially a 20 carat strand of glittering, glowing, transparent Tanzanian pad paracha sapphires. And I found one of the vendor with this material, um, bead pad paracha sapphires, heated again, hand cut, fasted rondelles. You know, this material, is in the market in very small supply. And we at Jewelry Maker are proud to offer you something that we picked up in Tucson at the end of February. And it is on your screens right now. And it is nearly 10 carats. I'm going to do a minute clock wow. to open the graphics. There, there is just around about 100 opportunities here. You've seen 200 ruby and kyanites disappear. You've seen 50s, 70s disappear all morning. You're about to get your hands on this exquisite parcel of Tanzanian pad paracha. And, and it is literally textbook colour, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, orange and pink. Orange and pink, yeah, fusion. Do you know, when I first started presenting here at Gemporia, never in my wildest dreams did I imagine. It I was the dream, wasn't gemstone. it? It yeah, was it the was dream always, I want to have pad paracha. And, and like I said, next door, um, they've never had the chance to own Tanzanian pad paracha. They've had the Madagascar material, which is very pink, yeah. and they've had pad paracha coloured. Oh, beautiful, yeah. A sapphire, which isn't true pad paracha. <sighs> We've got a collector here, Gloria, says, wow, like hot embers, beautiful strand. Isn't Thank you it? so much, Gloria. Um, I hope you are one of the collectors that is lucky enough in the next four seconds to get this. Do you know, I, 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 yeah, well, look, I'm noticing on that parcel. Um, Graphics are now it's a, it, It's what, A grade on that parcel, in that paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A it is, grade. It's transparent. It's transparent. Oh, wow. It's written there. You can see it there. Carrot weight, and then you can 9. see grade A. And, and look, you know, even here in the studio, when you see it, you see that incredible transparency. You see those, that's, that's lotus flower colour. It's stunning, Dave, absolutely stunning. And you know, next door, if we had a nine carat pad paracha <laughs> opportunity, it'd be about two grand. It'd be about 2,000 pounds. I'll be honest. Would. I you know, of course, it would have like an 18 carat gold clasp. Mm -hmm. They've never seen anything like that. Yeah. So, so straight away, let's go, let's beat that and do 1,500 pounds. Yeah, um, Mary, OMG, I promise I you. This. The deal I will do for you on this, like Joanne and Kavmana has just done, you can multi-buy. And, and, and Joanne has done that. Oh, my word. I've never Don't seen Papadatra with such can a colour. Yeah, and, and I know the final deal I'm going to give everyone this. Really? I know the kind of deal I'm going to do. So I'm just going to say to, to those of you that want this, I would, I would buy it now, check it out now, and if you don't like my final deal, which I know I'm going to do, I'm only doing this for you because I know we only have this one opportunity. It's not the matching piece or any other piece. No, nope, this it's is it. It's the closeout deal. I've never seen Pad Paracha this cheap. Genuinely, I've never been offered it at this great of a price, especially a nine carat parcel. This is your chance. I'm going to tell you, you want to check it out now because when the final price comes in, you're going to miss out. If you don't like my price, cancel your order. I don't care. I just don't want you to miss out. I do not want you to miss out. I will, I will probably, in all the years I've worked in, in uh, buying gemstones for Gemporia, I've never been offered Pad Paracha Sapphires at the great value deal. Do you mind, can you imagine this? And I'll this? never get a deal this good again, and I know that, because I know, <coughs> and so do you, and so does everyone else, we know the price for Pad Paracha. It's the most expensive of the sapphires. We know it is extremely expensive. When you're dealing with transparent material, mm -hmm. when you're dealing with matched material, when you're dealing with true Tanzanian Pad Paracha and, and nearly double figures carat weight, you don't get it for less than four figures. Today you're gonna. Today I, you're going to. I've just come up with an idea um, that I think would possibly be the most beautiful piece of jewelry anybody could make. Yeah. Imagine this with natural papaya pearls. My God. Can you imagine I mean, literally just dotted in between? Absolutely. The, you know, the, the multitude of ideas that you can do with this is for you to decide, but you have to make a decision now 
because there won't be another showcase of true pad paracha like this. You might have the pink pad parachas, and you know the price, they'll be hundreds, if not thousands. This is special. Now, can I have a, a 30 second clock? Can we do 30 seconds? I'm gonna give you one price. I think so, yeah. And then I'm gonna give you a deal price. And I, I have made you, I've warned you as much as I can. I can give you as much forewarning as I can. So in, um, in 22 seconds, I'm gonna give you a price that's not your final deal. Paparazzi Sapphire was always, uh, and is, no, not, not past tense, is always, mm -hmm. The most expensive, would you say? Yeah, Certainly. except like your cashmere sapphires, possibly. Yeah. Well, what a stunning strand. The orange and pinky red tones will look amazing with the ghost onyx from last week. Lovely. Yeah, oh, it would really allow those colours to pop. Right, Mary, oh. first price. It's going to be nowhere near your deal price. Take a thousand pounds off that deal. Take a thousand pounds. It's, it's going not straight into triple figures, yeah. It's not a triple figure gemstone. This is not a triple nope, figure gemstone. Not at this carat ever. Weight, surely not. Yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, I don't know, a 20 point off. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You might get it to uh, a triple figures. Nine and a half carats, just shy. To get, get Paparaccia Sapphire home yep. for £125 on split pay. Absolutely. Now, I've, I've promised you an incredible deal. I've told you to secure it now and cancel it if my deal's not good enough for you. Okay but I'm giving you as much heads up as I can without screaming the price that you are going to be able to afford 9.4 carats of true Tanzanian orange pink Pad Paracha Sapphire. And you have to ask yourself, will you ever get this opportunity again? Because I've never been offered this opportunity. I when I saw it in Tucson and uh, I, I heard the price, I took everything this gentleman had. Now, Pad Paracha has never been you know, a commercial mining uh, entity. So no. you know, to get like 1,000 carats, He's crazy. Yeah. And we were like, we'll take everything you've got, which is just over a thousand. Do you think that at that moment he would have gone, oh, no. Yeah, probably. I've underpriced it. Oh, 100 percent. But he knew that. And, uh, you know, a lot of people will offer us incredible deals because they want to work with us. Right. I'm going to give you a minute clock now. I've given you as much warning as I can. OK. I've talked to you about this opportunity. I've showcased you these incredible pad parachas. They do. They talk for themselves. Oh, my word. This is legitimate. Tanzanian Umber Valley Pad Paracha Sapphire with those delicate lotus flower sunset colours. And in 44 seconds, you're going to be one of 100 people on the phone lines that is going to be clamouring to get this. And already, Joanne's got three, Caroline's got two, Michelle's got two, London's got two. A lot of you are multi-buying on this. You've got half a minute to decide if you want to secure this now or, or you know, wait and see if you're successful in the, the flurry of calls. Oh, I'm 100% I'm, I'm getting involved with this, Dave, and I'm 100% thinking about with some of the high-end pills, something like South Sea or Akoya, mm -hmm. all of the above. Oh, my word. Uh, Michelle, you're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. Thank now you for trusting me this morning. I'm going to a bracelet to go with my other pieces of jewellery I got from Gems. Oh, my word. You ready? This is when it gets crazy. This is when there's going to be 100 people on the phone lines, and there's not 100 to go around now. Uh, 79.99 oh, no. for your Tanzanian Pad Paracha orange pink sapphire. Uh, and Tom went ultra squeak, yeah, squeaky then in the Absolutely. gallery. 79.99 79 is your opportunity right now. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I said to you, secure it. If you're not happy with my deal, cancel it. It's nearly double figure carrot weight of Pad Paracha Sapphire right now. Angela, Linda, How Karen, many? Maker, Jackie, Emma, Elaine, 20. Susan, Susan, Sandy, Gabrielle, Maker and Devon. There was a hundred, just over a hundred of these. Oh my goodness me. Um, if I, it would be entirely unprofessional and I'm not gonna do this, but I desperately wanna run out of the studio just to go and get my phone and get this. Cause I've I mean, I would understand I if you did. I would understand if you did. I think our, our collectors at home would understand everyone is in the same boat right now. Now that's the real price. 20 pounds on, on split, split pay. pay. You're never gonna get a deal like this. Pad Paracha Sapphires. Pad Paracha Sapphires. You know, you said a sentence earlier on, Dave, you were like, I'm gonna make nine carats of Pad Paracha Sapphire affordable. Yeah. And I so, so desperately wanted to interrupt you and say, said no one ever. That's true, Because it's not an affordable gemstone. No, it's not. It's, it's by its definition, by its own characterization, uh, uh, 
an investment gemstone. Yes. You know, it's a, you know, it's a royal gemstone. It's an engagement ring gemstone. But oh. to be able to create jewellery like this, legacy jewellery. Look at the colour. Look at the fusion, the perfect balance of orange. Uh, uh, producer Tommy says, this is the only reason I'm here. It's because of this strand. I love, sure. not because of his love for me or anything like that. No, or Adam or you, Dave. No, no and he's Abbas, here for the Pad Pratcher. He's here for the Pad Pratcher. Well, I can't compete with Pad Pratcher. I don't mind. Uh, um, we've got um, £19.19. Oh, my word. Interest-free split pay. Look at the collectors getting twos and threes. So wait Look a second. at the collector on Great London getting four. Four? Oh, yeah. F four. Yeah, that's casual. nearly 40 carats. 40 Pad carats Pratcher's of Pad Pratcher's Pratcher. Crazy. Um, and again, anybody that's got some of Dave's wonderful pearls, how awesome would Or they even be? the Branca Onyx that we talked about, you know, like yeah, someone said. beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That, I mean, that's madness. You won't ever get an opportunity to purchase Paparaccia Sapphire at these kind of prices again, particularly from this locality. Right, give me a minute, clock. What are you doing? I'm going to give you a mad deal. Yeah, we'll just go again. There's, what, 20 or 30 left? Black jadeite. Everyone pays the final low price. We have a black jadeite coming up. Imagine this with black jadeite. Absolutely. Oh. White Absolutely. Jadeite. You know, any of the jadeite varieties, any of the Branca Onyx, whatever gemstone you think. Oh, my goodness, I can't believe you're going lower. I can't believe I'm going lower. It's nine carats. It's Paparaccia Sapphire. Certified. I can't even believe we're in a double figure price tag, to be truthful. No. This is the rarest colour of all sapphires. For sure. For sure. And there's only three locations on earth that it can come from, as per the Natural Sapphire Company. And one of them is Tanzania, one of them is Madagascar, and one of them is this incredible, um, the, the original Sri Lankan deposit as well. Oh. My. Goodness. I'm holding my breath. Right, so I apologise, this is crazy. I can't, I should not, the only place I should be going is up. But for you guys right now, that, that have trusted me, that wanted to get involved, this is completely off the cuff, 59 99 Crazy, I don't, I don't, crazy, don't, crazy don't. deal. G Jeannie, you've got two. Christine, you've got two. Pam, you've got two. Great London, you've got four. Devon, you've got three. West Midlands, you've got two. You're at 59 of 50, 59.99, £14.99 on split pay. Amy, you've got two, well done. Hertfordshire, you've got two. Gloucestershire, you've got two. County Antrim. Why, why, why wouldn't you buy the quantities that we're seeing? The reality is, you know, when, when have you ever in a million years heard of Paparaccia Sapphire at 59.99? Yeah. It, well, like I said, this material when we were offered it, it was so cheap we couldn't turn it down and that's exactly what's translating on your screen right now it was cheap it, another yeah. word that never goes cheap and with pad sapphire. sapphire true pad paracha sapphire um tom's, Sandy, tom's saying like you know what it passes the eye test and what he means by that is his mommy says has no knowledge of gemstones but she'd look at this and go gosh that's beautiful yeah you I'll tell you what the other thing that the other thing that you get with that is you look at something like this and you go god that's expensive yeah you can just tell with the eye there's yeah. something you know some kind of innate ability when you see something of this colour palette that you just know that it is special. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And so much potential. But here's a gemstone that we could probably count on one hand, Dave, the amount of opportunities that we do, not just here at JM, but across, across the, the group, entire yeah, partnership. 100%. 100%. Like I said, we've only ever bought a Madagascar material next door, which is yeah. pink. And we've also bought Pad Paracha Colour Sapphire, yeah. which is... Uh, you're subject to a treatment that doesn't qualify it to be gemologically graded as Pad Paracha Sapphire. Amazing, absolutely amazing. I mean, it's so beautiful that treatments have been developed to transform quartzes, for example. 100%. It's that beautiful, but this is not any of those. It is, it is genuine Paparaccia Sapphire from the Tanzania deposit, one of three. Oh, my word, Dave. It's, I, I was not expecting you no, to do that. No, it's, it's unbelievable. It's an amazing opportunity for all those that are, that are getting involved. For those of you multi-buying, I think it's extremely smart. You know, we talked about the potential of using this gemstone. Well, you know, imagine the potential of having three or four of these locked away in a drawer ready for future projects. Yeah. You, know, you have to jump on these opportunities when they arise because they're seldom ever seen in the marketplace and even rarer still is seeing prices like this attached to true Pad Paracha Sapphire. 
Amazing. F 15 pounds on split pay. Ridiculous. Split pay. Um, now, we're going to... I'm going to leave that with you because there's only a couple of them left. So I've got one incredible deal for you before I leave. And then I know Earl has some other incredible deals for you right now. Just to manage expectations, just to manage expectations straight off the bat. Um, we've seen 200 quantity. We've seen 100 quantity. There's six of these. That's six. how rare it is. There's six. It is a type A, but you know what's coming. Black jadeite bangle. Oh, rarest color of jade. Oh, my goodness. So this is beyond... Um, you know, imperial green. Okay, it's over imperialized green jadeite. So essentially, at one point in time, this was in the ground and it was the color of imperial jade. And then it went through the whole process and it went over saturated. And the, 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 essentially, the, the higher in tone it gets, like 90%, 95% tonal black, mm -hmm. the rarer and more valuable it becomes. This is type A, untreated, natural. That's incredible. I, mean, there, I have never seen a bangle like this for, for less than five figures, personally. No. And this is really the ultimate in the jadeite world, isn't it? This, it's, you know, it's this the, is what everybody wants. 100%. It is the ultimate. It's the landmark piece to get you know, a type A bangle and then to get it in the rarest colour. It's um, sublime. The graphics are in. It's 170 carats. Carat weight is irrelevant. It is all about this being carved from one single yeah. black jadeite. And I want you to understand, the last time black jadeite was seen in the marketplace was 2018. Wow. They can't find it in the ground. It is the, the, most, the, the, the rarest colour. And uh, like I said, it's far rarer than even your imperial green. At one time or another, it was imperial green. Kent, you're in. Um, like I said, there's only six of these available. It, it, it's absolutely stunning, isn't it? And with black jadeite, it's... It's that silkiness when you get top quality. Yeah. I mean, the polish on this, which is done with wet bamboo, is sublime. This is as good as it gets. And like I said, the last time it was in the market was 2018. And I want you to understand that in 2018, five kilograms of black jadeite had a reserve price of 168,000 euros. Wow. That's the reality for this material. Wow. And they go out looking for this material. They cannot find it. And they dye material. They will coat material to make it appear like this. Mm -hmm. To find that elusive, and like I said, it's what, five years ago now, four years ago, that elusive boulder that has black jadeite within it is out of this world. So it's far rarer than even an imperial green jadeite bangle. Amazing. Rarer than imperial green jadeite bangle. I'm not saying it's more valuable, but it is certainly rarer. I'll give you a one-minute clock, and I'm going to give you one farewell Six. deal. Six of these, that's it. Six of these left. That's it. That's literally it. It's my, it, it's my favourite colour of jadeite. There you go. I, I'm just, I love black jadeite. I think it's got this real class, this real elegance. Absolutely. And, you, know, you have to remember, what, when, we, when we talk about this material, the wastage that we're talking about is on a different level. Mm -hmm. Everything from the center of that is gone, it's wasted. Yeah. And you go to Secrets of the Gem Trade and you look at jadeite, the chapter on jadeite, and they call it the enigmatic gem. Yeah. You know, that's the archetypal color we expect, that green. You can see it right there. Can, can we show that? There you go. And then, you know, as you go through it, they have this very small chapter on black jade. And they say what we call black jade is generally speaking an extremely dark, which is 95% toned green. Most black jade jewellery is an F right. This is jadeite. Which it's is a the, rare the, the, Yeah, and, and more valuable of the two. And then when they talk about saturation and tone, they say tonally black jade, which is what this is, is 90% plus green. It is fair to say that the higher the tonal value, the closer the hue gets to 100% tone, i.e. pure black, the better. You're on the phone lines. There's enough people on the phone lines for it to sell out. I would confirm right now, because the price that I'm doing for you on a type A natural black jadeite bangle is 299. That's mad. It's, it is crazy, but this is what we can do with the connections we have, with yeah. the relationships we have built up, with being able to get hold of this material. Remember, I was in Myanmar, I was in Kachin State, I was at the jadeite markets, and I picked up a jadeite bangle. It wasn't a black bangle, it was a, an opaque kind of a murky green color. Yeah, I've seen that and video, it was I think. $15,000. 15 grand, yeah.
And you can get this today for £74 and 75 pence on Split Bay. Hertfordshire, you're on the phone lines. You've actually confirmed. We've got Newport, we've got Norfolk, we've got Vermont, Mindy, Ye May in Greater London. We've got an anonymous collector as well. Um, there's a lot of you that, that are trying to get on the phone lines. We are at the introductory deal of 299 right now. This is your price for a Type A 170 carat black jadeite bangle. Unbelievable, uh, amazing. Um, I know that a, a few of you, well, I was with you when you actually launched this yeah. and they absolutely flew out. For whatever reason, we had a couple bounce back into stock. 100%. You know you know what? They're too special to be in our vault, aren't they? This is, yeah, this look, is, this is the ultimate in it. Well, it's either going to be in our vault, which we're offering you that deal right now, or in our museum. Yeah, yeah This is, we're hoping to put together um, a jade eye exhibit, which is going to have the different colors of jade eye bangles around the outer edge. Um, and the deals that we're doing for you guys means if you want to collate or collect or curate the, the colors of jade in the different bangles, you can actually do it. We're going to have it under lock and key behind glass in the centerpiece of a museum because of the, the incredible journey we've been on with jade that is unfortunately going to come to an end at some point. There's yeah, only two obviously. remaining now. Well done to every single collector who's got this in the initial launch yeah, and is joining us today two, for the final. Two piece. left. It could be you, Teresa. It could be you, Susan. Um, it could be you, uh, you Mandy, uh, you May, and new customer. I've got, again, names that I can't quite see. That's it. That's it. Uh, is this irreplaceable? I mean, yeah. I mean, right now, in 2022, because the markets are reopening, we've seen what's happening in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely irreplaceable, this material going forward. What we have, we have, and you will see over the next coming weeks. But then once these are gone, unless you want type C jade out, which is dyed material. Yeah. You know, we had um, an incredible opportunity to get hold of this um, since the, the global pandemic. But now, with the markets resuming again, it means that we are once again priced out, frozen out of the market. Yeah, well, well, th this is the thing. And that's what, it should be an expensive One so. left, and we have Vermont. One left. Oh, it's gone. Or an anonymous gone. maker on the finance. Congratulations. Well, well done. done. Well done to our collectors who have managed to get hold of that opportunity. Dave, once again, can I thank you oh, for joining thank you, me? It's, it's been wonderful. It's always wonderful. And I know you've still got some incredible pieces to bring to the collectors. Um, I've got to jump out now. But amazing to see you and the team as well. Uh, and I'll see you again very soon. Oh, Dave Troth, everyone, always bringing you the best possible deals for the most amazing discoveries. Now, still so much more to bring you here at Jewelry Maker because we've got, of course, your masterclass with lovely Gemma Crow, um, who's got uh, some wonderful sterling silver items to showcase and uh, teach you, plus more amazing gemstone deals. So do not go anywhere. We'll be back after this. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hi, guest designer Alison Sarri here. 
just to give you the heads up of what's coming up on this Saturday, we've got in the nine o'clock hour, going back to my roots, we've got some cabochons and wire. I can't wait, it's gonna be fabulous. Tune in and see what I do. And then in the 12 o'clock, we've got some pearls and the most amazing clasp. So tune in on Saturday to see what I make. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back, lovely jewelry makers. You've got little old me for a little while until our lovely Gemma gets back from her meeting. Um, and we thought, right, well, let's bring you um, a couple of other rare opportunities, of course. Um, but in between now and your masterclass. And in fact, given the opportunity, so basically Tom came out and said, all right, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this, you can do some Kotan mutton fat. I was like, stop right there. Absolutely, let's do that. Because it is widely documented that, yes, imperial green is the most expensive. There's no, no denying that. However, saying that, what went to auction recently, the most expensive carving of jadeite was not imperial green. It wasn't black. It wasn't red. It wasn't lavender. It was white. White mutton fat jade now whilst i know it's not the most beautifully romantic way of describing a gemstone mutton fat it is in terms of its aesthetics it's very factual in actual fact because take jadeite one of the world's rarest gemstones in the top 10 hands down certainly one of the most historic and we know that we've learned this from Dave, you know, that the, if a boulder is found, the majority of that boulder will have green, not necessarily imperial green, but will have maybe an apple green color. Just around the outside, so what we call the skin of the boulder, that's where you start seeing your fancy colors, your black, 
your red, your lavenders, your dove blue, your white. The more pure, the brighter, the colour, the higher the value. But remember when it comes to jadeite, you're not looking at the C's, the four C's, like you would do within the diamond world. You're not looking for carrot weight, clarity, uh, cut and colour. With jadeite, it is all about colour, texture, and also translucency. And I will show you that translucency in a few moments' time. Now, I'm going to start with the 10 mil. I had the privilege and pleasure of launching these alongside Dave a, a, you know, a good while ago. And this is the last remaining opportunity. We can bring you certain varieties of jade, but we cannot repeat others. This is the latter. Let's start with the 10 mil. Totally and utterly natural. There's no, no treatment. These aren't, these aren't dyed. They're not bleached. These are completely and utterly natural certified type a you know we said earlier on dave was saying this is the future sotheby's this is the future bonhams this is the future christie's this is the now you know if you were to get these home lovely jewelry maker customers and i encourage you to do this i really do and i know it's quite a scary and daunting thing to do but when you make if i don't want you to put anything i'm going to say something quite out there don't put silver with this don't put silver if you must, if you want to put a clasp, go gold. If you must, just use silk. Have an over the top of the head necklace. And approach those jewellery houses. Because this is absolutely the, ty the type of quality of gemstone that can be expected at those establishments. Here we go. Let's flick through some of these. That's interesting. Carvings. Mutton fat jade. Lovely. And of course, look, you can see 18th, 19th century. Um, you can see different dynasties there. Uh, the, the, the Queen Long dynasty, different. So they're older carvings. But look at that rare imperial green. That's precisely what you are looking at right now. It's not as pure a white color. Icy heart in a jade pot, a flawless imperial teapot and cover. Straight away, immediately, I can actually see. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I'm not denying that. But do you notice how it's not pure white? It's wonderful. Pristine white stone of the most, uh, um, uh, the highest quality with elegant rounded forms and exquisite polish. But it's not pure white, is it? Whereas this is totally natural, pure white. During the Qing Dynasty, uh, jade handlers developed a very rich array of forms and the quality of their material improved uh, uh, markedly compared to any previous period. They come in white, green and emerald, but the former two colours uh, predominated over others. Jade, made for the, uh, the, made for the court, mostly used high quality white jade. It's the pinnacle. It's the pinnacle and the rarest and most expensive variety that you can currently get, uh, that you can get hold of in many cases. Look, pop along to Dior, £5,500. And I have to say that is pure white. Would we all agree? Pure white jade. If you look at the, the bangle, pure white jade. If you look at this bangle, can we show that? Fit? There you go. It's stunning. There's some lovely lavender fusion uh, running through. But what do they fo focus on? Do they describe that as a lavender jade? Or do they describe it as icy white? They focus on the white, don't they? Look at the value as well. I'm starting here. There are literally a couple of these available within our entire vault, and that's it. Shall we do a 60-second clock? I've also got from the exact same parcel, the six mil. So for those of you that, I bought this ram when we launched it. I haven't done anything to it as of yet. Um, do you know, it's the kind of, it's the kind, I, I, could, I could sell this on and I, I know I could make a profit. But you know what? I'm 
sorry. Um, 100% going to keep hold of this because this is something for the girls, for the future. Hello to you, Elizabeth. I have these, Elle, and I'm keeping these as heirloom jewellery. Uh, absolutely. Me too, Liz. I would recommend anyone to buy them. Aren't they incredible? Thank you so much for messaging in, Liz. I totally, wholeheartedly agree, and I've got exactly the same um, idea with mine as well. I bought them from the launch. I'm going to be bringing you the six in a few moments' time. Right now, it's about the 10 mil. Look how pure that colour is. Totally and utterly natural, white, coat uh, uh, of mutton fat, jade. Not nephrite, jade. It's madness. It's, this is madness. It is heirloom. Liz, like you, I'm doing exactly the same. <coughs> I'm keeping hold of this to give to my girls. Here we are. Look at that. Against the skin. Look, look. Literally, yeah. This, maybe with your six mil strand that's coming in a few moments' time, can you imagine knotting it and then creating that graduated necklace? You can get this home today for $49.99, but how many did I have? Yeah, I, I mean, I've got just over 10. Left in the, uh, left at 11. 11 within the vault, that's it. Once they've gone, they've absolutely gone. This is irreplaceable. Um, I might actually, I'm tempted to join you again on this opportunity because I only got the one strand. Um, and hindsight is a wonderful thing, isn't it? I was like, you know what, I should have probably got two because then I can actually do that knotted over the head necklace. Um, but they sold out. For whatever reason, we've got, what, a single, uh, a single quantity left. Heather, Eileen, new customer, Yi Mei. Hello to you, Susan. Sit back and enjoy. Look at that pure, it's such an innocent white, isn't it? Um, in a second, I'm going to ask for someone's mobile phone. Has anyone got their mobile on them? Mobile phone. Can I borrow it? I promise I'm not going to go through your messages. Neary, no. No. I'm not going to buy one on your phone, I promise. I just want your torch. Because I want to show you the translucency. Dan knows what I'm up to. Here you go. It's not the craziest thing in the world. It doesn't matter. We're not going to be looking at your phone. Don't worry. We're going to look at this. That's the translucency. Remember, colour, translucency and texture. Translucency is absolutely key and these literally light up because they are so pure and translucent. Natural colour. It's, it's honestly, it's, it, and here was you doubting me, Tom. What are you doing with my phone? What are you going to do with my phone? This is all. That's all I was going to do. Showcase our lovely translucency and the quality. Oh, did you think I was going to use your phone to buy? It's tempting, but no, I wouldn't do that. $49.99. Susan, well done. Hillary, well done. I've literally got five left within the vault. Um, and guest designer Susie's got involved again on this opportunity. Well done, Susie. They are amazing, aren't they? Um, I might, if there's any left, I'll be adding another one to my order. Now, one more strand, and then our lovely uh, Gemma will be stepping back into the studio. Always, regardless of the gem, whether it's jadeite, whether it's grand digerite, whether it's jaspers, whether it's... Uh, regardless of the gemstones, six mils are always your most popular. You love them. And I get it because they're very versatile, aren't they? Very, very, very wearable. You can turn them, you can use them for your earrings, you could use them for your bracelets, you can use them around the neckline. Now, <clears throat> team that alongside the rarity and colour of pure Kotan mutton fat white jade. Look at that against the skin. Imagine the 10 mils and then th these. No, do you know what? These would be either side. If I had the 10 mils, they would sit here and then I would have half the strand here and half the strand there. Do you get where I'm coming from? So I had to create that graduation. And they'd be knotted with something like black. What do you think? Black silk or maybe a Siam red, something wonderful. Well, you've got Susie tomorrow. Lovely Susie's going to be joining me in the studio. So if you've got this... And I know you've got some awesome deals and wonderful kits tomorrow. If you've got this on their way, she'll provide loads and loads and loads of inspiration. 
I only have a handful of these available. Again, look at that amazing translucency. 15 of these are within the vault. Um, it, I, I can't quite believe we're about to take this to the price that we are. Something that's completely and utterly irreplaceable um, as, as we stand right now. Um, many people will actually believe, and I could, I could talk about the history. To be honest, I'm going to leave that um, till tomorrow when we've got more time to talk about your, uh, your jadeite, etc. But at the moment, as it stands, of course, Imperial Green has got the history. But at the moment, many gemologists, many uh, jadeite specialists will actually discuss the fact that they personally believe that your, uh, um, that your, your, Pure whites will actually overtake the green colours um, in terms of their overall value. Here is that beautiful translucency that I was just referencing. Look at that. They literally light up. Literally light up. Susan, well done. Multi-buying on this opportunity. Liz, um, and guest designer Susie. There's only 15 available. Let's do a 30-second clock. I'm going to promise you... We're going to break a milestone. Jadeite, even with us, very rarely is... We don't really... Especially the pure whites. We don't go under £100, do we? Is that what you're going to do? It's not a gemstone that has a double-figured price tag. That's what we're going to do for the final few. Look at that. Haunting purity. $24.99 on your split pay for hands down one of the rarest colours. Look at the quantity, absolutely fly. Um, we've got literally eight left. It could be you, Samantha, Angela, Anthony in Pembrokeshire, Jennifer, Hillary, and I've also got a maker who wants to have five. If you want those five, you definitely need to check out and you need to do it ASAP um, because there are five within the vault. That's it. That is it. Totally natural coat and mutton fat jade in your six mil round. Again, just knotting and over the top of the head. Now, um, the final four, I'm going to leave that with you just because the clock is ticking. And I also, um, and also she's here. She's back in the room. Lovely Gemma Crow. She's going to set herself up, get herself comfortable, and we'll be back with you. Your masterclass is after this. bit in your eerie bit yeah i took <laughs> it in out the way I, i'm back you talk now. back yeah that's the way i like it eerie bit My eerie that bit. could stick <laughs> that could stick there you go i can hear people um, now. oh Gemma, look look bring them over let's show everybody over. these because uh, would you are these quick makes yes i i mean this i've been talking about these for about a week uh, now online <laughs> every time i um do something online i'm going 
these are amazing this new it's called an s setting and they're just it's just so simple it's like it's it's so simple it's oh, ridiculous <laughs> so, wow so yeah this is this is great i mean we had i had some lovely simple ones the other day we just clicked the stones in but these look you know like they're prong set they're just so pretty um, i've just heard something in my ear because i'll be honest in your absence yeah near uh near who's my producer uh, who stepped into the studio and he was like, they've got to be dyed turquoise. They're beautiful. They're not, they're natural sleeping yeah. beauty. Yeah. Can I just say, we have massively underpriced this kit again. <laughs> I, I stood on the sleep, uh, on one of the, um, one of the many sleeping beauty turquoise uh, stands over in Tucson, the, what, you know, this of Arizona, uh, Tucson, Arizona, where this gemstone is actually mined mm -hmm. and saw Cabochons like this, bearing in mind that this is at trade, cabochons of this quality, $55 each. Wow. And that's at trade. Sorry. I got... <laughs> they're natural, they're not dyed. So we questioned. Mm. We questioned that. We thought, no, they're so good, they have to have undergone treatment. Yeah, but that's not the case. Mm. Go back to talking about this lovely setting, because this is something brand new. We've never yeah. done it before. This is new and it looks very sort of traditional, doesn't it? It looks like a very traditional setting. But that little S shape that sort of goes in between each of those settings mm. helps sort of hug the sides of the gemstone. It's that, isn't it? it? Sort of, yeah, it just sort of cups them either side. So they're, they're supported from those two sides. So then as soon as you close just two prongs over each gem, they're, they're set and, you know, and secure. Oh, yes, so, they, aren't they discreet, though? You don't see yeah. the prongs. So, but it, it, just, it just makes it really simple. I think they're five millimetre, aren't they, um, gemstone. And so, you know, you can use what, what's here or you can, you know, probably got some calibrated gemstones to sort of change it up a little bit if you want to. Well, yeah, again, I mean, why, would you, why wouldn't you want to, uh, mm. why would you want to sort of, mix it up because mm. because frankly look how perfectly color matched those natural this sleeping beauty turquoise are now we're going to start with this we might as well i've been raving about the quality of the stones um you've got one and three quarter yeah i'm not surprised susie uh coat and mutton fat jade had to get both i don't blame mm -hmm. you i don't blame you she's with me tomorrow yes um right firstly one and three quarter carrots of natural, natural mm. sleeping beauty, perfectly colour matched. Then you've got this wonderful amount of sterling silver. Uh, it, literally, it's like a cuddle, isn't it, of yeah. precious metal around yeah. the stones. And I love this kit. This kit's wicked. And you've also got 1.5 millimetres of your 925 sterling silver. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. So, I mean, look at that. There it is. Let me show you. That's the one with the, on the on the more bangle sort of style setting. Look, look at how awesome that is, Gemma. That's that's incredible. It's just lovely. Isn't so, it? could I yeah. use things like soldering as well? Uh, yeah, yeah. If you if you wanted to, but you know that there really isn't much need. I mean, you can you could be as elaborate as you wanted with that with that um, one point five wire. You can. You know, you could um, solder it together, but there's, there's no need. You know, you, no, it's very you can... simple. This is a very simple sort of technique. Now, obviously, off the wrist, it's, it, it feels sort of flimsy, but as soon as you put it on... Well, let's do you that. You know, and it's, you know, I've done it so that it's easy to put on with one hand so that, you, you know, you don't have to fiddle with it. Look at that. But, yeah. Gemma, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this design. And they could... Um, again, I think this is... We've actually priced this incorrectly surely for the fact that they are natural sleeping beauty turquoise which are literally ident identical in terms of uh, the color saturation now um remind me um uh, mr neary how many we actually have of these available 99 mm. if i've never done any gemstone setting before easy peasy is it easy peasy? Because there's literally two prongs. Two prongs to push over and they're opposite one another, which means you can literally just go over the top of your pliers and pinch and that's it. It's really simple. <laughs> Cuddle and prong. pinch. Cuddle and pinch. <laughs> Cuddle and pinch. <laughs> that's what we should call it, a cuddle and pinch, cuddle and pinch setting. setting. I think that would better. look so much better. <laughs> um, again, I saw these in trade, those individual cabochons. Mm. 
And I think we've shown you VTs in the past of myself chatting to a, a, an incredible turquoise supplier. And he was saying, yeah, you, you know, for grade like this, premium grade like this, you are talking probably, I don't know, 55, 65, 75 dollars per cabochon. Yeah. Hello to you, sorry, beautiful. Can I ask, would the settings also work with faceted, e.g. round brilliant stones? Well, wow. funny you should ask. <laughs> Have a little look at this. Sorry. Yes. Yes, is the answer is yes. Yeah. Is that so, harder? No. No, I'd say it's probably simpler because it's a flatter stone. You have to work not even as hard to get the prongs over. Um, is it just me? Have I, have, I, have I blanked out the price that this kit was going to? Oh, madness. Can I, if, if we've got a gram weight on these connectors, because like, that is a serious um, amount of um, Of gramage. precious metal. And also with the wire as well, then it's really, you know, that's a significant chunk of silver, isn't it? That, no, of course that. I've not got batteries in mine. Um, we can find that out, no problem. It's, uh, right, in the wire, five grams. Yeah. Definitely. Five grams of 925 sterling silver. No, there's more than two grams yeah, there. Definitely. It's got to be more than two grams. Definitely. I mean, it's so weighty. <laughs> Sorry, not to doubt you at near but that's a, that's a plus. It's, it's a huge <laughs> amount of 925 sterling silver. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look, uh, either way, it is a massive, massive deal. <laughs> the Sleeping Beauty turquoise should not be at 49.99. That's ten pounds. No, yeah, ten pounds of turquoise and all that sterling silver for another tenner. Mm. If we were stopping there, but we're not. So I've never done gemstone setting before. You can, can I do it? Yes. Okay. You, so you I'm... actually only need a pair of pliers. Okay. That's it. So I've never made a single piece of jewelry before. Can I do it? Yeah. Yeah. Am I starting with luxury jewelry? Yeah, I will yes, have a go. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll have a go. Yeah. Definitely. I love a make along. I yeah. love a make along. Let me get you another pair of pliers. I, I haven't got two Don't pairs. Don't worry, I'll get them off the wall. Okay. You're it's on. fine. We'll do it We're together. going even lower, Gem. Are we? Okay. We're going even lower. Oh, There's a quantity of these which is 100, just under 100. 99. Oh, well, we did have 99. Mm. For, for, for what? Let's say, let's say, what, seven? Over seven grams of sterling silver, which is definitely over that. A natural Sleeping Beauty turquoise. You do every, all of our regular viewers. I mean, there's familiar names on the phone line uh, on the screens right now. You know that this mine closed over a decade ago. It, it literally. We're actually about to celebrate the tenth anniversary. So it's just under ten years ago of the closure of the Sleeping Beauty mine, and yet it still has. It's still that pinnacle, isn't it? It's still that. You know, people think, say turquoise, most of us will think of Sleeping Beauty. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. of this, it's that, the quality that you see. That's the colour you go to, isn't it? That's the colour in your mind. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's that, I'm looking at your ring straight yeah. away, but that's Sleeping Beauty turquoise. It is turquoise. Sleeping Beauty turquoise. It is. Amazing. <laughs> Susan in Derbyshire. Uh, Beverly, well done to you. Sorry, getting multiples. Well done to you. Nicolette, you've got yours multi buying. Linda in Cambridgeshire, Wiltshire multi buying. Liz, new customer, Elaine. Uh, hello to you, Midlands. Jan, Louise, well done to you. Joyce, uh, Cambridgeshire. We should not be anywhere near £29.99. You've got over seven grams of sterling silver. Can we just actually applaud our lovely Alice today? Because she's, yeah. she's done some awesome kits and some awesome deals. Yeah, I've just spoken to her upstairs. And she, was, and she said they did really well, didn't they? Awesome! Oh, they were amazing. I, yeah. Did you did you tell her about I, me? Uh... I did. I said you were outed, so so. <laughs> and she said last when um, you did that before, she actually thought she was in trouble. <laughs> oh bless her! I'm gonna go give her a cuddle <laughs> afterwards. No, Alice. If I say it, you know what? That you were given those slider bracelets for free, effectively. So that's a really big positive. And right now you're delivering on the best sterling silver and Sleeping Beauty mm. turquoise deal for thirty quid. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, if you love that, but you want a slightly different version, mm. how about four round, brilliant cut? 
top quality natural gemstones. Mm, these are gorgeous. A lovely combination of colours as well. It's not necessarily a combination that I might have automatically put together, but I just, I love, I love the colours together. I think they're gorgeous. Aren't they? There's that cuddle and pinch setting. Yeah. So... There's the sterling silver slider bracelet that makes this amazing piece of mm. jewellery. <laughs> Tom's just Tom's <laughs> just clocked our early bird deal as well. Yeah, what do you mean the sapphires? I know. I know. Have you seen what we did for the colourless topaz as well? Mm. They said it's a, I, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to talk about it either. It was amazing. Look at that, though, Gem. I mean, mm. you can make that, and let's be honest, you can make that for in less than 10 minutes. Yeah, you, you can. You can set that in about, yeah, around that time. And, and how long? Uh, so how much would you sell it for? Oh, that's what that's going to be, what, at least? It depends where, obviously. You have to, you know, change the prices, depend where you are. But I, I'm going to say about 80, 70, 80 pounds, perhaps. Maybe a bit more. Really? Maybe a bit more. Depends, it's going to be depends over that three where. figure. Just dep it depends where. No, it's got to be a triple figure piece, obviously. Look at the amount of sterling yeah. silver. Yeah. And let's just let's just tell you the gemstones that you've got within here. I think most of you can recognise it. You've got amethyst, you've got peridot, you've got beautiful blue topaz and colourless topaz, all in one amazing piece. Shall we do something really... Oh, ceramite, I beg your pardon. So you've got the plush diamond in here as well. You see that slightly pinkish colour at the bottom? That natural. Yeah, I launched it on what was our USA channel. Mm. Tiffany's and Co. sold uh, Serenite um, as the plush diamond because mm. it is so reminiscent of a diamond. It's actually a very, very, very rare feldspar mm. um, that's got these wonderful little tiny microscopic platelets within. Hello to you, Liz, saying that's gorgeous. Mm. What about putting the turqu uh, turquoise... Uh, turquoise? Turquoise with the paparazzi sapphire out of this world. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's a yeah. lovely combination. <clears throat> Just looked up from my work computer. What, what a beautiful setting, isn't it? Is. It? it is really, really pretty, Cuddle isn't it? And a pinch. Cuddle and pinch. Cuddle and a pinch. Nineteen ninety nine. I know. Sorry. Oh, I said that out loud. Oh, I never. <laughs> ah, I ruined it. Yeah, oh yeah, my I goodness. Know. Sorry, that was That's too good right. to hold in, wasn't it? But know that we have been very mischievous on this price tag again. Alice is in the building today. Alice, sorry. He did it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> he did it. Look at him. Oh. That's twenty pounds for the gram weight yeah. of silver. Shouldn't it? Shouldn't be twenty pounds. It no. is a steal of a deal. Absolutely. And again, any this is what an opportunity to get involved in gemstone setting. Yeah, this is it. I mean, it does make it so accessible, doesn't it? Yeah. And and you know, we've put these into bracelets, but there's nothing to say that these can't be. You know, pendants. You can suspend them from the, you know, the connector point at the top, and then mm -hmm. have something suspended from the connector point at the bottom. You can even, because it's sterling silver, take off that connector on one end. So just have oh, it. Oh, wear it as a pendant. Nice idea. Yeah, because of course you can, you can solder it. with it as well, can't you? You can solder it onto something. Yeah, you have to do that before you put your gems in. Obviously, solder yep. it into into a, a different design. But, you know, there's so many options with it. We've set them with bangles. They work perfectly as bangle connectors because it's a lovely place for them to sit on the wrist there. But, Look at that. You know, you don't have to be limited by, you know, what, what, the, what they've been put with. No. You can use them. Um, I can't way. believe we've just done that at £20. Pounds. It's fantastic, isn't it? Well, you know what to do. Um, what are the quantity on the, on the multi-gemstone bracelet kit? Uh, we're straight down. Uh, we've got... Is it 50 We've got less than 50 remaining now, mm. so again, make sure you do check them out, everybody. Um, yeah, of course they have flown. £20. That's twenty pound Under £20 would be a base metal price point for a kit, wouldn't yeah. it? Not sterling silver, yeah. not that grand weight of it's it. Just, the it's, slider bracelet. Yeah, I mean, this is this is what you see in the jeweller's window, this sort yeah. of this sort of jewellery and this sort of setting, isn't it? I can see people buying four, and I, I wondered myself about 
um, perhaps doing one that is all um, sky blue topaz or all amethyst nice. and all serenite or all peridot. That would be lovely too. Yeah, because if you, you get know. four, you can do that, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. You could do that. Not, they don't, yeah, you could literally have the exclusive gemstone. Yeah. How lovely. Um, just... Take away, take it right. away. Right, I've got right. to get up because I need to get my pliers. I need these. Oh, oh yes, are you going to do? I'll do a make along, whichever one you want me to do. Um, I'm going to say you do these ones. They're slightly, slightly simpler, slightly easier. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I like um, the fact that she's, but, she's gauging my skills. <laughs> but, they, but they are just you know if you've never done it before the, this is the easier one to do because because what we're going to do is we're going to put the prongs over the yeah over the um what do you call that the tape not the table the uh, uh gir the, the uh, girdle it's got to go over the girdle and onto the crown. crown okay so that's really easy on that shape gem but when you're talking about something that's sort of curved, curved yeah. you have to work a bit harder to get those prongs to go up to the narrower point of the, of the yeah gem. yeah no that, so I'm fine just, with that so it's just they're both they're both easy this is easier hello okay. Jackson love these connectors can we please have more so excited to get mine and make for my cousin's birthday ah oh, oh, lovely what a great nice. idea what a nice gift that is um oh sneeze <laughs> amazing 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 right uh right. let me go and get my pliers let me get my pliers whilst uh, Gemma. Oh, what are these? This are slidey oh, pliers. The, yeah, they're oh, the like, diamond how ones. How do I undo these? <laughs> I know. Do you need that? Yeah, is that all right? Okay. You can have them after. I'm just going to pop my right. stone in first. No, you're the priority. Go on. Have you got pliers? Don't you worry about me. Okay. You carry on. Right, let's do this then. So, here it is. This is going to be how um, simple this is. I'm going to pick up one of my turquoise and you don't even need you don't even need um tweezers right that flipped over so the trickiest part of this whole process is getting the stone to sit down into the setting now sometimes <laughs> sometimes you might want to just pry those prongs open slightly so when i say slightly i really do mean slightly so you want to get the tip of your chain those pliers onto the prong and literally th did you see the minutest little um, turn outwards, very tiny turn outwards. Okay, so really tiny. I'm gonna do it all the way along because I, I remember doing this all the way along um, the first time I did this. Okay, so very slightly turned out. And I'm just gonna do one at a time, okay? I'm not gonna try and put them all in because you wanna be able to pick it up and hold it you know, close so that you can find um, the best place for it. So there you go. That's just sat in there. You can see how nicely that sits into the setting. I don't know if you can see that from the side. It's just snuggled in. Um, those S's sort of hugging it from either side. Okay, so that's half the work done for you because it's not going to slide around now from this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back down oh, without dropping it. Okay, so drop that back in like that. So... <laughs> Elle's taking health and safety a little bit too no, seriously I just assumed there. I needed all this <laughs> No, you don't need any of that, Al. Yeah, no, you can put all that down <laughs> You don't need the, uh, the loop <laughs> Which I don't want it is. <laughs> Just pliers Tweezers help, but you can do this bit with pliers too Ooh, so. There's tweezers attached to that I might steal the tweezers in this No, I won't <laughs> Here we carry okay. on um, and then what I'm going to do is take my pliers again and I'm going to go either side. So when we prong set, usually we say about having equal and opposite pressure so that we're pushing the gemstone. Um, when we push it from one way, we're not pushing it over. So what we do is go equal and opposite. Okay, so it's held steady by the S on that side. And then we just take, I'm just going to take my pliers and just squeeze those prongs in. Okay, so that's halfway there. So then what we do, it's kind of kind of secure now, not fully, but if we then, I then sort of lift it up, eye line, you can take a prong pusher and, and then continue to push these over. But if you don't have that, I'm going to take my pliers sort of at an angle across, across the setting. So if I sort of give that a wiggle around, can you see the angle that my pliers are at? They're sort of getting under this, under um, the back of the setting there and across the, um, across the prong, I'm just going to give it another little pinch, turn it round, do the same from the other side. And the, the, the tip with this is just take your time, just do a bit one side, then a bit the other, a bit the other, a bit the other. Keep going alternately until that's set in. Now, if I turn that upside down, I can rub that and it's not coming out. OK, 
Okay, so that's it. That's as simple as that is. So let's go ahead and do the rest. How are you getting on, Al? All right. You're right. You're not wrong. This is actually pretty easy. It is pretty easy. Okay, so make sure they're snuggled in. She says before she finishes. <laughs> it's famous last words, isn't it? Okay, so I reckon I'd struggle more to actually do the wrap loop to put it uh, put this on the slider bracelet. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Oh. oh, sorry, I'm leaning for it. You, you know, it's the sort of thing you do want to get nice and close to it when you're at home. Um, so just making sure that these sit in. in a, there you go. So it's that one of the easiest mounts I've ever done in terms of gemstone setting. Yeah, it is really simple, right? Now I can see that that one fits better into that slot. So you will find that you'll have um, some, you know, they're, they're gemstones, they're hand cards. So you'll find that you've got some that fit better into a setting than others. So just choose the oh, right one. no, don't go into magnification. You can see that I've got a wonky serenite. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look. I'm getting there, though. It's good. It is, nice. it, that one's a bit wonky. The nice, the nice thing as well is, you know, the sterling silver is really forgiving. So you can sort of undo it slightly if you need to um, and come back to it. Okay, so I'm halfway with this one now. So again, lift Lift it once you've got it part way set and then continue to push those prongs over from each side until you're happy that it's secure. Okay, I'm gonna put the next one in. So you can see the only tool I'm using here are my, are my um, chain nose pliers. So, you know, if you, you don't have to. <laughs> 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 to be fair, I got the easy gig, haven't I? Haven't I? <laughs> I'm just right. going to try and correct my serenite. All right. So, you know, it just sometimes it's it's done, and you think, hey, yeah, is that actually done? It was so easy and so quick. Is that actually done? Yes, it is. It's done. So let's get that last one in. Flip it over. You know, and the nice thing is knowing that these settings will take cabochons or. Because um, a lot of prong setting um, designs are, are not made for cabochons. They're made for, you know, the brilliant cuts or, you know, uh, and things like that. And so it's nice to know that you can use your cabochon cuts in this setting to, to you know, to a good effect. So pinch those prongs over. Okay, Al sat there. Fingers on lips. <laughs> when you finished, <laughs> did you ever do that at school? No. If you finished your work, sit. Fingers on lips. <laughs> <laughs> so Al's done. So yeah, Al's um, very speedy at this. Yeah, but like I said, it is. You're right. I agree. The round brilliant cuts is much easier. Yeah. Well, we should have swapped halfway through to compare. But yeah, it's it's it is quite easy to do there. Um, so. Mine's not perfect there, so don't get too close. <laughs> don't get Just, too close. Look at. I mean, I'd be really happy with that. As, that's a not perfect piece. <laughs> it looks great. I saw a 20 pounds that kit was. Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? Awesome. And you can make it in what, less than five minutes? Yeah. Well, definitely less than five minutes. I mean, I was talking you through my one and doing it slowly and that, you know, that yeah. didn't take long at all, did it? Okay. So then if you want to make the um, bangle sort of to go mm -hmm. with it, the bangle setting. There we go. That one. Um, I've forgotten the measurements. But you, you take, take your measurements. So if you want, you could, obviously this is about an inch and a half long. So you want to deduct that from your measurements. So that's going to sit on the top of my wrist. Um, and then we want a piece of wire to come sort of halfway around the wrist and join at the back. So this distance here that you want, you want to then add about an inch and a half to that, to that distance, okay? Because we're going to incorporate a loop and a hook. And now, because it's a 1.5 millimeter wire, it takes more wire to go in a loop than it would, say, with a 1 mil or a 0.8 mil. Okay, so we want to take this measurement here to the back of the wrist, then add an inch and a half. Okay, so whatever that is, I think that's going to be about um, about four inches, I believe. Okay, so I'm going to go go with that. I'm going to cut the same from each side. So. You can cut this with your standard cutters um, or you can saw it if you want a nicer finish um, and you can file the ends down um, which I will show you show you how simple that is. I'll get my file out ready. There we go. OK. 
Okay, so I've got two, two pieces um, the same. You can see you're going to have quite a significant amount left as well. So there's plenty left to play with. And then this end, we're going to make a, um, a simple loop on. In fact, I'm going to use this end because it's the flat cut. So I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to have to work, you can't work right at the tip of your pliers with the wire as sort of thick as this. So you want to work a little bit further down your wire. And what you want to try to do is make sure you've got no wire protruding from the inside of your tools so that we get a nice curve, curved edge rather than a straight end on, a, on the circle. And we're going to hold it nice and tight and then turn it around to make a small as possible loop, okay? So now it looks this shape, and we want to make it more, so it's like a, a bit of a, a P shape. We want to make it more like a lollipop. So we want to turn this um, slightly um, upwards. So what I'm going to do is going to put my round nose pliers back in to where that join is. Okay, so there's the join uh, where it's looped around. I'm going to put my pliers in there and then just push it back with my thumb so that the loop sits more centrally. Okay, and then you can refine that and close it up a bit more by just going back in and giving it some, a few adjustments to make the, that end line up with the curve on, on your wire. Okay, so then we're gonna come to this one and do the same. So I'm gonna do a loop on the end of this one as well. Don't worry if your pliers slip off. The beauty of um, sterling silver wire is that you can polish out any blemishes that you accidentally put in if you, if you do. So, you know, you can take, um, you know, a, a filing cloth or something like that and just buff out any of those issues. Okay, so we're just going to flatten, flatten this um, down to make sure that it's, you know, that you haven't twisted the wire as you've gone and it sits nice and flat. This is where we're going to attach. We're going to attach these eventually to either side of our connector. Okay, so now we want to look at making the clasp end. So what I'm going to do here is two hooks that interlock. So I'm going to show you this example that I've got here. So can you see these, these two little hooks? They interlock, which means really easy to put on by yourself. And what we do is do this little, this little curve technique, which allows them to sort of click in rather than be too loose. Okay, So they sort of click into place, but they're easy to do up and um, but not easy to fall off okay so that's what we're going to do and we need to create these two hooks we need them at a jaunty angle to each other so we're just at gonna, a funny angle yeah just so that they click into one another you know so we're going to start by just putting the hooks in and then we're going to manage the angle after okay <laughs> <laughs> i said funny <laughs> so so what i'm going to do you can use that hammer and block for doing this um, but I'm just, I'm just. Um, if you if you don't have the, you know, all the tools, then you, it, just showing you it's not completely necessary to to achieve this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pliers to help me flatten and harden the end of this piece of wire. So I'm going to take my pliers and to get the most pressure, you want to be working into the deeper part of the jaw because that gives you've got you know you've got more pressure for less effort down there. Okay, and then I'm just going to start pinching. The wire and it flattens it out. Okay, so I'm so going to tapering it almost. Yeah, I'm just going to taper it, and all this is going to do is give me a bit of strength in that hook, um, and also I think it looks quite nice having that that tapered edge mm. on. So just bite down on it, keep it straight by straightening it every now and again. And what we want to do is just keep biting down until we've flattened out the edge a bit. Okay like so and then once we've got it sort of tapered and flattened we can then go in with our pliers at this angle okay so that we're putting it in because actually that is tapered so it's closing heavier here and open here so if I go in now and press nice and firmly there that's sort of flattening everything out for me okay so do the same on the other side so into the deeper part of the jaws of the pliers you have to work um, less hard if you do go into there and I'm biting down, flattening out that edge. Of course, you know, hammer and block, um, this is probably um, a simpler way of doing that if you're used to using those, but if you don't have them, I just want you to see that you can do this without. Okay, so we're just pinching down all the way along, and then that final pinch is directly into the jaws of the pliers, taking advantage of that natural taper you've got in there. Give it a good old pinch to finish 
finish it off and it also smooths it a bit. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just gonna file those ends so that they're smoother, no, no scratchy bits. So I'm just gonna take a needle file and give that a file. Now, if you um, are not used to working with sterling silver, then you probably wanna get yourself some separate tools for working with sterling silver. Uh, it's only really important if you plan on getting your pieces hallmarked because the little um, fibers, the little filings get caught in the teeth and you can accidentally transfer copper into the silver, which then reduces its quantity. So it'll okay. take it from 95 to maybe 924.9, okay. but it won't get that 95 stamp. So um, it's best to have separate tools, separate files for what would you, what would you no, like? No, after you. You want the file? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to make you a pendant. Oh, yeah. Oh. To match my bracelet. To match your bracelet. Yay. Have you cut off the loop? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Just getting very ambitious now. I am, aren't I? <laughs> Building confidence. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Right. Okay, so now I've got these. So what I'm going to do now is shape them both into little hooks. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the end and I'm going to tilt it um, away from me. Okay, so I'm going to use a smaller part of my pliers hold the end and tilt that slightly, oops, tilt that slightly away. So you have worked hard on that wire by, um, by pinching it so it gets a little bit tougher, but don't worry if it slips, well, actually what that's doing is all, almost burnishing the end for you, the metal sort of gliding over. So don't worry about that, let it slip over. Okay, so we've got that little upturned section there. And then we're gonna come back in and we're gonna come down from that about a centimeter and hold on a little bit further into the jaws of the pliers now. So we've got a wider, wider circumference to go around and then we're going to turn that all the way back until it almost touches. And what we want here is a slightly smaller space in there than the 1.5 diameter of the wire because we want it to click in. We don't want it to slide in easily. We want it to click in. Okay, so I'm just going to push that until we've got that little gap there, we can double check if you want, just if that clicks in with a bit of resistance, that's what you're looking for. Okay, so we're gonna do now the same on the other side. So first things first, into the narrower part of the jaws of the pliers, tip the wire away, so you get that little upturn, a bit like the front of a ski. And then take your pliers a bit further down the jaw there and go back the other way until it's nearly touching. Okay, so again, you can check that there's a little bit of resistance when you take the wire through. Okay, so with these are gonna hook into one another like this. Okay, with a bit of resistance. So we wanna hold them like that so that they, and then just try and make sure, so one's at one angle, that's happened by accident, okay? So I've accidentally got that perfectly spot on. So <laughs> that might not happen, so I'll show you how to get it if it doesn't happen like that for you. Um, but first off, I'm just going to connect this into this. Now, because the wire is 1.5 mil, it's too thick to go straight through the connector point, okay? So what we want to do is have it this way. And so we're gonna need a little jump ring to attach that together. So you can make your own, or hopefully, you know, maybe in your stash, you've got some, you've got some jump rings. But I would recommend using a one millimeter wire for this to get the maximum strength. Um, and probably around a four or five millimeter jump ring. So I'm gonna make some here with my bail making pliers. Just going to turn and turn and turn and make a little coil of wire. And then I'm gonna snip them off individually so that I've got them to use. So just gonna snip these now. So remember when you're snipping, when you're making jump rings, you use the flat side of your pliers to cut so that you get a flush cut. So again, twisting to get a flush cut and then back, there you go. So I've got two. I'm gonna just use these now to attach, to attach my connector. So one jump ring in there, pop that on there and close it up. I'm gonna do the same the other side. Open it up it through the loop, put the other side on. OK, 
Okay. So it's like this. And then I'm going to shape, shape this around. So if you want to, you can use a bangle mandrel. But I find if I just sort of use my fingers to push against the wire until it sort of creates the curve that I want, and I can keep um, doing that. The wire's fairly soft. It's not so soft that it's going to bend out of shape, but it's soft enough for you to manipulate. You can harden it after. Um, so bending it into, into shape. And then once you've got your shape, we can check that these slot in. Oh, and they do. They slot in nicely. If they didn't, let's just say this was the wrong way around, all you do is take your pliers flat across the hook and twist the whole thing to change the okay. angle. Okay, change your direction. So to change the angle so that they slot into one another nice and easily. And that's it. That. Just one quick thing just to show you how to work hard on those sides to keep that bangle shape once you've got it perfect. Again, just take your pliers and nibble all the way round. Um, 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 um. And uh, if you want to use um, a hammer to do that, you can. Or nylon jaw pliers, just do the repeat the action many times to get that hardened. Okay, that's um, it. Um, 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 um. You've got that nice sound system. going on um, in nom, the back nom, of uh, yeah. Nom 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 nom. 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 Yeah. Um, Gem, absolutely beautiful piece of jewelry. Look, there's your pendant. Oh, thank you. There go. Oh, look. I filed it down. So Al's filed that, taken the little connector off of that end and just filed it down with a needle file. Brilliant. There you go. And I've got a pendant as well. Turned into a pendant. Lovely. It'd probably file a bit longer. There's a little, little, just a little, 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 little lump at the bottom. Oh, it's hardly noticeable though. That's great. There you go. Thank you very much. There you are. Yeah. Made Gemma a piece of jewellery. Yeah. Now, look at this lovely book. All about stone setting as well, the wonderful art form that it is. Um, written by uh, Scott McIntyre. Now, I know we haven't got many of these available. Let's just flip it round. So, price is already on your screens. We haven't messed around because the clock is a ticking. Um, but let's read the details on the back. We're going to have to zoom in a bit, though, because I can't read it from there. Mm -hmm. uh, master the art of stone uh, of the stone setter and make stunning jewellery with confidence. Stone setting uh, can often appear mysterious and impossible. Mm -hmm. Um, an ancient craft used to hold beautiful gems uh, secure in the most elegant of designs. This uh, practical book explains the techniques of the master stone setter in an accessible and encouraging style. Uh, written by Scott McIntyre, um, it explains the complex word, uh, world sorry, of setting uh, with step-by-step -step instructions supported uh, by informative illustrations and excellent examples of finished pieces. Uh, it's a manual that shines with inspiration and practical advice. Do you know, do, uh, people learn in different ways, don't they? You mm. know, it's the kind of thing that you can reference every so often. Par mm. Look, it goes into great detail. So, mm. Parve setting, £10. How awesome is that? Can I have a look? Yeah, of course you can. Um, okay, what should we do now? Should we do a jump ring deal? I'm going to pass this to you as well, because there's sterling silver there. Don't want to just... Yeah. Oh, I'll was it? Touch it. It's about oh. somewhere. There it is. Oof. There you go. Um, right. Sterling silver jump rings, pack of 100 across two different sizes. So, um, are these, yeah, clo they're closed jump rings. We were discussing this the other day. If you had to choose um, an open jump ring or a closed jump ring, which would you choose? Exactly, yeah. Yeah. A closed because you can soon open it, can't you? Just you can. with your snips. Yeah. Um, and and uh, like I say, I'm not as an accomplished jewellery maker as you probably you guys at home and certainly Gemma. Um, literally, th thread or silk can work through an open jump ring, can't yeah, you? Yeah, that's it. That's the yeah, definitely. Well, it's not going to with a closed one. No, and also if you you know you get your jewellery tug, like say you've got young children, to you know how easy it is, you know. It's you know they're gonna pull open if they get that sort of pressure. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. Whereas with a closed jump ring, <coughs> none of that. Um, Forty nine ninety nine to get hold of these. Oh, there's one hundred. It is precious metal. So this is gonna work for those of you that do your knotting of your gemstones. If you uh, literally go direct onto and uh, put your, your silk directly onto this, you've got how many grams? Nine and a half grams of sterling silver. Um, things like your macrame. I know that Mark's done some macrame designs where he literally macrame is direct from the actual jump ring, turning that into a bit of a, um, a, a feature. Um, you can obviously use these to attach, attach things like your clasps and your charms, if you like. 
Um, but for me, really, a closed jump ring is about the silk or thread not working yeah. out. Yeah, and, uh, you know, um, yeah, just it not opening. 99 or... Yeah. yeah. Twenty nine ninety nine for nine and a half grams sterling silver. Yeah. If we had to choose, which you don't, you can get closed mm. uh, open jump rings as well, but I would go with a closed jump ring all day long. Yeah. The other thing is, like, if you want to slide them on, like, a sweetie style or something like that, or use them as charm carriers, mm. you can do a wrapped loop with a bead onto a closed jump ring and yeah. have it as a charm carrier so yeah it's it's always i i do like it i have a mixture of both i think there's mm -hmm. pros and cons to it to each but any like endings for necklaces particularly taking cords through like you said it's important i went out on um on on sunday uh literally finished work here and then sort of quick change and went, went to meet the family because mm -hmm. it was my mother-in-law's birthday um literally so quick change put my pearl and uh, 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 put the pearl necklace on that i saw a photograph yeah, yeah, that per I made that pearl necklace. Did you? I made that, yeah. Like mine but little magnetic clasp at the back. Guess what? My thread worked out. My jump ring. Oh no. Yeah, it's okay. It's easily. I, yeah. I caught them all. It's not a problem. But yeah. it needs restranding. I need some closed jump rings yeah. for it because yeah, literally the the, the 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 thread worked through, and obviously couldn't wear it then. Twenty nine ninety nine to get hold of the two different sizes, and that's really. Is it down to a sort of aesthetics really of the size of your jump ring? Um, I think sometimes, but also depends what material you're taking through. If I was taking leather cord through, for mm. example, then I want a bigger jump ring. Yeah. Um, but, you know, beading thread. Yeah, and I think scale, proportionate to the piece you're making. It's important yeah. to have I mean, if you've got the finest, sizes. most delicate bracelet, you're not going to use a whopping exactly. jump ring, are you? Exactly. Yeah. You want something discreet. Yeah. So. Totally agree with you. Well done. Um, Joyce, Janice, Amanda, Angela, Liz, Karen, Nicola, Amy, Michelle, you've done it. Well done to you. Kathleen in Manchester, nine and a half grams of sterling silver. I'll leave that with you. Try and squeeze in a few more. Um, if as as you've got us in the mood for for lovely bracelets, oh, yeah. I I think I'm the oh, only please. person that's brought these to air. You know, I've been a bit oh, spoilt with you. these. They are they are genuine leather. They look a little bow. Yeah. Oh, Let me move that nice. out of the way. There you go. Genuine leather. You've got nine two five sterling silver. Yeah, it's nine two five. Here we go. 925 sterling silver oh, and you've got another which Gemma's just ogling at the moment sorry oh you're all it's right like a pale gold, don't have works, to apologize actually. and you've got your culture pearls these when I first launched these literally I think it was 250 something like that sold out that's how popular they've mm. been so on trends so you've got this lovely almost like a soft gold isn't it yeah yeah black and then um, sort of a creamy colour, 925 sterling silver. Again, it's a twist on the slider bracelet, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's lovely. Um, yeah, Tom hasn't seen these before. It's only been my... Uh, um, yeah, I know. I know, I know you can make 925 sterling silver, pill and leather slider bracelets. Three of them. That's lo that lovely, aren't they? Very contemporary, nice. Like that. How about if I told you you could make these for less than four pounds each? Yeah, that's pretty good. Four <laughs> pounds. That's amazing. Per um, bracelet. Yeah, and, and there's a difference as well. Like we're saying, you can make these for four pounds. So I could buy leather cord and pearls, but it would take me over an hour to create those three. Don't forget the sterling silver. Yeah, but even just thinking about the time I would spend. So yep. you can actually make these for four pounds each because it's not going to take you any time. So you're not using your, mm -mm. you don't have to price in your time. Oh, yes. No, you definitely I mean? not. So for four pounds, it's not just the materials you're gaining there. It's the time that you're going to get back as well. Oh, there's 10 left, so I'll leave it with you. Well done. Um, oh, let's do let's do one finale deal, shall we, Gem? Did you just say tassel? I did say tassel. Well, I didn't. Tom did. Oh, have tassel, you seen it? Tassel topper, is it? Tassel topper. Oh, I love these. Me too. Okay, just can't have enough of them. What is it about a tassel topper that you love? I just love a tassel, and it's nice to finish it nicely, isn't it? I do love a tassel. <laughs> I do too. You were talking oh, about that, that chain. Stuff, <laughs> chain earlier. This is perfect. Oh, it really is. And let me show yeah. you all the way around because this is super easy to work with as well. Oh, that's lovely. 360 parve set with your, with your cubic zirconia. And then, Gem, parve set on the bale. Yeah. And look at this. That's beautiful. 
Oh, and it's got the cross inside. Which, so all you need to do is feed it through. Yeah, so you can make your tassel and then attach that into. You don't need to use. You don't need to glue it in. You can just sort of. Oh, it's fantastic. Look out! Look at all that sterling silver. Parve set all the way around with cubic zirconia, with the bale, which is also consequently also parve. Mm, that's beautiful. Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence only. Yeah, tassels are everywhere. I mean, these come yeah. beautiful earrings. I mean, yeah. Can you imagine? And you imagine the tassels with tiny seed pearls on the end for like a oh. bridal pair of earrings. You know, real feature. Oh, I need to make those. Yeah. That sounds, that sounds lush. That's Susan, I would buy that quantity as well. Yeah. Susan's got six, Gail's got two, Marion's got two, Nicolette's in there, hello to Elaine, Liz, Dorset, Linda, Marion, Julie. They're lush, aren't they? Can I, can you just humour me for a second? Just look how lovely that's going to look. And then with like a, a really gorgeous cascade. Yeah, I like the mm. idea of pearls. Yeah. Some little, some little seed pearls, yeah. Yeah, tiny lengths of chain and then tiny seed pearls or even rosary linked seed pearls, Ooh. you know, um, draping down. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Do you know, some uh, if, on my PowerPoints, I don't know if you've got the time. We haven't got the time today, but I've certainly shown them in the past. Tassel earrings like that, where they've actually got, I think, some kind of parrot across the surface, but it's on, um, it, it's a ruby power, a PowerPoint. It doesn't matter. I've shown you in the past and it's literally beaded, beaded ruby in a tassel mm. and the tassel top looks exactly like this. Yeah. Okay, it's diamonds. Yeah, this is it, this is it, there it is, down, down. No, there, up, one more. Oh yeah. Oh, it is a parrot. It is a parrot, but all right, it's not a parrot in the tassel top, but no, you get but the inspiration. You get the inspiration, that's what I'm thinking, but with pearls, I don't oh. know. I, mean, I mean, you could do it with anything. I'm thinking emeralds now as well. It's actually making me think of, um, um, who does the panther? Uh, Cartier. Cartier, yeah. Very Cartier looking. Oh, we're running out of time, Gem. Thank oh. you so much, my darling. I've really oh, enjoyed it's today. It's been lovely today, yeah. It's been lovely. Actually, when are you back with us, do you know? Um, not next Wednesday, the Wednesday after. I think it's the 20th. That's me. Is it you again? Yay! Yay! Thank you and have a wonderful afternoon. Make sure you look after yourselves and drink lots during the sunshine, of course, because it is stinking up. Of water. Lots of water, yeah. Lots of water. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Have a lovely afternoon.